stand by for a chance.
We're back! May 1997! Everyone, what's up? Oh my god, it's Sunday again! So good to see all of you! So good to be here. It's the first stream of 2021. We all made it. According to the internet, we're all good now. Everything's fine. It's 2021. Everyone, don't worry. You're all fine. Everyone, just go back to normal. Totally normal. Johnny, favorite. It's my favorite, Johnny. Don't mess around. All right, you're not messing around. He's deadly serious right now. Deadly serious. I'm deadly serious about just how happy I am to be back, man. Feel, it always feels like it's been months since I did a Sunday stream. Every Sunday, it's like all brand new. You know what I look forward to? I get the I get the butterflies before I man when that music starts. And man, I get going. Oh Jesus! All right, I had to do some burpees and I did some jumpy jacks and I did some push-ups. Everyone, I'm veining out from head to toe. The blood is flowing. It's just coursing through my veins. May 1997, 2021. According to me, we're 21 years in the future right now. What the frick? Oh my God! I don't know how or why, but Idiot Brigade is continuing the gift sub they got from Clad and Shadows. I don't know if that's from way back in the day. I don't know what that means, but I'm certainly glad you did. I don't know if that's from, I don't know how these work. Twitch, Twitch, you done goof. But you know what? Either way, Twitch is telling me, and now I have no choice. The hero has arrived, everyone. Oh God, perfect timing for the song. Yeah! It's from just now, because I just did it. Well, what the hell? Where are my alerts? Twitch. I'm going to send Fred over to Twitch headquarters. And you know what we're going to find? We're going to find the maintenance man. He's not going to open the door. Oh, Frick, it's Fred. Oh, Frick. Ah, oh, Briggs, I appreciate that. That's rad. You got that from Clad? That's wicked. It's all just intermingled. All right. We got we to gotta get to work here, everyone. May is not waiting around, all right? <laughs> it's your kids, Marty. Doc. We have a time machine. We can take all the time we want. All right, we're talking uh, Warriors of Virtue tonight. Did that come out? Did that come out this month? I never saw it, and I didn't see it in the list. F 
frick? Was that the one with Antonio Banderas? Or was that the 13th Warrior? Warriors of Virtue. God damn, was that like Ninja Turtles but with kangaroos? I can't remember that one, Nick. Nicholas! I don't remember. Ah, oh, frick. We're gonna find out though what 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 my research did uh, unveil. Hopefully I get it right. Ah, oh, Jesus. Now I'm all questioning everything. God, these tunes, Jesus. But before we do, I don't know if Desi's is here. It's Desi's segment. Maybe we'll get Desi in the archive. Kangaroo Foo. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess we missed that one. Shoot! Alright. Well, we'll give it a special shout out in the pop culture refresher. Guys, you know what we gotta do? I mean, before anything. Okay, Desi might be here. I don't know if Desi's here. We just got we got 12 people watching. Then what we gotta do before you guys. We're gonna play some games from GamePro May 1997. Guys, May 97. 97. Before we do that, we're gonna look at uh, the cover of the magazine. Before we start talking about the movies and the music that came out this month, which is the first segment, we gotta show you the, the magazine. We gotta, because there's something special on it. Does this issue of GamePro Magazine feature Mortal Kombat? There's only one way to find out. Oh, man! We did it, everyone. We've come full circle. Woo! We got some special, special announcements. Mortal Kombat 4 is, is being talked about in this issue, and we get to play it. Are you guys ready? We freaking did it. We did it, GamePro Magazine, we did it! That's for you, and you! Oh, we did it! Yeah! Always does. All right, that's a special celebration. It's time to celebrate. And I can't think of a possible better way to celebrate than with an ice-cold glass of Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. Because we're gonna be going to bed at a reasonable time tonight. As hyped as this show is, as hyped as I am right now, just veining out of my mind from all those uh, jumping jacks I did. Loudest song in the frickin' universe. What are we doing here? All right. I need to go to bed at a reasonable time. That's why I always get refreshed with Diet Pepsi Caffeine Free. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna seek them out on LinkedIn. I'm gonna get sponsored. Mark my words. Veiled Nomad, mark my words. I'm the only one. They're like, man, we're gonna have to cancel it. No one's buying it. Everyone, go to the store and get yourself some Diet Caffeine Free Pepsi. Just do it right now. If you wanna look like this, okay? All right, now let's get refreshed. Guys, we've, we've messed around enough, all right? It's time to get frickin' refreshed. Aw frickin' refreshed, Veil No Man. I'm gonna get aw frickin' refreshed right now. But first, uh, we need Fred. Fred is giving me double thumbs up. He's 100% ready to rock. Uh, we have a camera, him and I. I was looking at my monitor, and that was him in the dancing. It's a, it's a, you guys wouldn't understand how technical the show is, but it's very technical. We have cameras and mirrors everywhere, so I can see him from anywhere in this whole, Studio. Everyone's dancing backstage. All right, that's the main stage. Everyone's just loving it. They can't get enough of these tunes, and they are chanting for more. You know what they need? You know what I need? I can show Montana Sports Talk Football too. You know what that means, everyone? It's time for the pop culture refresher. Let's get refreshed. We gotta do. What we gotta do. Oh man. Oh, welcome back, everyone. Oh man, it's so refreshing in here. This is, of course, the magazine we'll be reading, uh, but we don't need that at the moment. We need to know about the movies and the music that came out in May 1997. We need to do this because it really helps to align. This is for the people in the archive. All you regulars, you know. You all know. I try to do it a little different every every week. Because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, here he goes again with this freaking thing. It's a good song. All right. Uh, what we need to do is we need to figure out what movies came out this month, especially movies. Music, I'm doing for you guys. I don't know much about the music in the 90s. It's actually just a nice refresher. Literally a refresher, because I don't remember this stuff. It's just gone. You're like, man, what happened in May 1997? I don't know. But you know what we're also doing? We're putting all this stuff in chronological order. You're like, oh, guess what came out this month? I know it was in 97. I don't really know when. Stable Tables, get the F in here. Fred Couples up in the chat. Boom. Welcome to the Pop Culture Refresher. Let's get this off the screen. We, uh, we're not yet reading the magazine. We are starting with movies from May 1997, and you know what? We're starting with one that was almost right there. Almost my pick of the month, and I was like, no, we can't do that one. I watched it, actually, my wife and I watched it. We like to do our research. This movie came out. Oh, Fred, look at those swivel hips. That's so smooth. The gradient on his ability to swivel, it's machine-like. Unreal. The crowd loves it. They're not even looking at the lights. They're looking at Fred. Holy Fred, 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 Fred. Dingle down. Welcome. Spin spots. Welcome in. 
Oh god, Namachuke. The Pennant Race. Alright, the first movie of this month. You guys might have forgotten about it. You might have forgotten about it, everyone. I always forgot the name of this movie. Conveniently, it is exactly when you're like, hey, what's that movie where Kurt Russell's car breaks down? Oh, you mean, uh, not that one. Trial and error, no. You mean breakdown. Okay, first of all, let me just say, movie covers in the 90s, they looked better. This is an enticing cover. I'm like, man, I want to know what's going on in that movie. The colors, Cyan and Fuchsia. Fred loves the cover of this. Not but you guys, Johnny. We, we never mess around, Johnny. Okay, so uh, Kurt Russell, maybe for the first time in his life, playing a like a genuine yuppie. A yuppie? He plays like a, just a yuppie. He's not a tough guy. This is the one where uh, their car breaks down on the side of the road. Oh, no. And then... Uh, uh, the man takes his wife to town to call from the payphone in his truck, and then he never sees her again. Damn! I don't want to spoil it, man. I can't even spoil this movie for you, because I remember when I first saw it. I will say the scene in the bank. I was like, sweating bullets, man. What's gonna happen, oh, frick? The trailer gives away everything. Don't watch the trailer for this. Just go ahead and watch the movie. Um, upon watching it, though, I realized, ah. Oh, it's just not not pick of the month worthy. If if it was just up to me and I wanted to do like a nice weird pick, I'd be like, everyone check this one out. It'll blow you away. Um, you know what? I, I think I'm sitting a little low here. Can I get up a little higher? Yeah. Yeah, that feels better. My my chair was just a little small. Guys, check this out. Kurt Russell, always a pleasure. I've never seen this lady in anything else. Uh, yeah. uh, Basil Holdurius did the music. I thought that was a nice touch. All right, now I already spoiled it. Guys, trial and error. This is one you definitely forgot about. You definitely forgot about it. Well, you know who didn't forget about it? Me, because I saw it in the theater with my friend Kevin. It was not very funny. Uh, Michael Richards, his funniest bit was at the very beginning of the movie, like during the credits almost, where he's doing like an audition for a, he's supposed to be an actor, but he's doing aud an audition where he gets beat up by a bunch of mobsters, but he's alone on the stage. Sells it. Looks like he's actually getting beaten up. It's actually pretty good. Just watch that on YouTube if you can find that, and then call it a day. Um, <laughs> I, I can't even remember the quotes from this movie. It's not very good. That was an instant regret when you go see that in the theater. Charlie's Theron, though. I think this was her next movie after Two Days in the Valley. That's a weird start, eh? You start with Two Days in the Valley, then you just jump straight into Trial and Error. Pretty attractive lady. All right, this is also coming out this month. It's a TV show, everyone. TV show, not the same. Johnny saying breakdown was pretty damn good. I'm agreeing with you, Johnny, 100%. Not as good as I remembered it. I remember it being like, no way, but it was pretty good. I was like, damn, don't forget, don't forget about breakdown, everyone. Don't forget about it. It's not pick of the month. Not with the bangers we got this month. Holy frick. Especially Warriors of Virtue, which I forgot. Uh, Grungy Nick catching me up on one that came out that I don't have on my list. All right, that lady got them high-waisted mom jeans. Oh, damn, did I miss? I'm going back. Oh, those aren't high jeans. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mom jeans. That's a mom butt right there. Long and love. It's a quote from Workaholic. It's a great show. All right. After 2020, hearing Namachuke in 2021 restores my faith in humanity. We did it, everyone. We restored faith in humanity. Mission accomplished. That was, you know, all I set out to do. We'll just wrap it up here. I mean, you want to end on a high note. Fred has put on his pleated pants and said, get the F in here. Breeze and sky. Oh, man, it's so breezy in here. Is there, a, is there a window open here? Because this draft feels amazing. I feel so refreshed right now. Welcome to the show. Keep watching. You don't have to chat, but if you want to chat, feel free. Otherwise, just enjoy the show. Enjoy the show, everyone. We're talking about movies. 1997. May. 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 97. 97. 97. Before we play the games from May 1997, of course. All right, now, guys, this is a TV show, but damn, if that wasn't, like, at the time, super good. It's kind of cringy now. You go back and watch this, it's kind of cringy. But Keith David, is that his name? Goliath? Is it Keith David or is that David Hader? I always get the two mixed up. I think it's Keith David. Made Marion. Oh, damn, he's getting right in the chat. Yo, hey, guys. He says, hey, guys. Keith David, right on. Briggs, thank you. You know, it's a sanity check right now. If you guys just leave that dingling, I'm going to have a schizoid embolism on, on screen. I don't want that. You guys don't want that. All right. Uh, is this before the live action movie? It must have been. Doesn't that seem weird? I mean, that's what the internet was telling me. Yeah, no, it, it has to be. Because the live action movie, I remember on the news, they talked about it on the news, and they said, Spawn has the most special effects of any movie that's ever been created. 85. Well, they were talking about CG stuff. 85? 
first time watcher, welcome in. I don't know if you know the whole concept here, but we like to talk about the movies and the music from May 1997 just before we play the games because it helps align your memory. Because man, when you go chronologically through this, you're like, that game came out the same time that movie came out? It, it can't be possible. Oh, it's possible. All right, uh, yeah, a little cringy now. A little too, uh, attitude, you know, so much attitude. All right. Just giving a nice wave to Johnny Favorite. Oh man, that's nice. You, you like to see that. I don't even know, if, I've never even heard of this movie. I like Dennis Leary before he got on that Fireman show. I think he was really good before that. I don't know if he's still good. I, don't, I just haven't followed him since then. I like The Ref. I like Dennis Leary, No Cure for Cancer. Uh, Dennis Leary, Judgment Night. Oh man, that's good. This one, I don't know. That Joe Montaigne, that, that's kind of a red flag right there. I don't know about that. Um, I watched the trailer. Don't even remember this one. Pretty sure this went to the theater. Don't even remember this one. Does anyone remember this one? I don't know. That, that's why it gets an easy out. In and out. You're done. All right, here's a big one. Lost World Jurassic Park came out this month. What? You know what's weird? I've never seen this movie. Never. I've never even seen this movie. Got and someone's cheering because of that. Or no, Dingle Dude just said, "Hey, Breeze." Already. Welcome aboard. If you're gonna come in and chat right away, Dingle Dude says, get the F in here, and you know what else you get? Oh, this is too tiny. Fred's here. Fred is here. He's the producer of the show. Former PGA Tour champion, now producer of this show, and my personal mentor and, uh, life coach? Oh, God, Fred. Oh, he's digging these tunes. I'm digging these tunes. Fred, of course, the DJ of this show as well. Uh, he wrote the song you're currently listening to. Frick. Um... Obviously, this is the newest of emotes. Twitch is uh, Twitch is just going to become the Fred Couples channel eventually. Once they see this emote, they're just going to be like, we got to just change change where we're going. It's going to become fredcouples.tv. Okay? Mark my words. All right, Dingle. That's super generous of you, bruh. All right, all right. Uh, Lost World has Vince Vaughn in it. What the frick? How when did that happen? All right. I love Lost World. Forget the critics. Vince Vaughn is in it. Yeah, and Vince Vaughn is gold. And that was gold Vince Vaughn. I think he just did Swingers. Maybe Psycho, and then this. Not, uh, not actually sure the timeline on that, but Vince Vaughn in this era can do no wrong. Even Vince Vaughn now, really. He's doing pretty... He was... He went kind of wrong in, like, the late 2000s. Like, Wedding Crashers... I was kind of getting... It was too much. It's just too much. And that was the time... Okay, here's the other thing they did. Oh, Will Ferrell, he's really good at improv. Oh, Vince Vaughn, really good at improv. Don't give him a script. Just let him improv. Like, give the guy something to work with here. Give him a good script. They're just... They're riffing. They're riffing for their lives. Like, oh, please, just Jesus, give me a good storyline. Hot off swingers. Okay. Uh, old, or, uh, what is it? Was it old school? Yeah, old school was good. That was legit. I gotta check this one out. I really do. And it's got a lot of, uh, Jeff Goldblum as well. Uh, a virus. All right. Lost World. I don't even think I saw the third one either. Wasn't William H. Macy in it? Now, we were just talking last week about how Joe Pesci quit after this film. The, the film he did last month and then this one. Dunn crushed his will to be in movies. Ah, oh, frick. Guys, oh. Ah, oh, frick. Ah, oh, frick. 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 Oh, we got new tunes today. Frick, man. International Superstar Soccer 64. What the frick? Joe Pesci, come back to us, buddy. This looked like a hard one. This looked like a hard one to do. That's a bad one to go out on. I know he's, he's done a little bit since then, but... Grungy Nick is saying he recently rewatched this, and it's so frickin' weird. Yeah. It's a weird, these guys are two, like, 48 or 50 year old dudes in a buddy comedy that were not comedians. That's a little weird. Alright. Couldn't get through 40 minutes though. Oh no! So it's not even good. Oh, Jesus. It's a turn offer. Frick. Ah, oh, frick. Alright, uh, you know if Rutger Hauer's doing a movie, I'm gonna talk about it. Getting special shout out at the bottom. Blast. With Andrew Divoff. But Rutger Hauer, you see that down there? Rutger Hauer. R.I.P. Guys, that is a wholesome... That's a Fred Couples. R.I.P. Rutger Hauer. One of the best in the biz. Unbelievable. If he's doing a movie, I'm talking about it. Alright, Terror has no limits. Alright, Joe Pesci, uh... Should do another Home Alone movie. <laughs> like a 70 year old man breaking into your house. I'd watch it. He, <laughs> it writes itself. Breaks back into Kevin McAllister's house now that Kevin McAllister is Macaulay Culkin as a 38-year-old or something. Right here. The snowball starts here. You push it, gets the momentum, 
All right, how are they gonna stop it once it gets to their house? Big as a house, Snowball just bowls them over. Yes. I mean, I could always go for some more uh, Daniel Stern as well. Freaking Daniel Stern, come back to us, buddy. All right, uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, I never saw this one either, but American Werewolf in London, pretty good cult classic. I don't know if it's worth watching. I don't know if this one's worth watching. I just remember this one being advertised a lot. And instead, I think my brother and I watched American Werewolf in London instead. We didn't even care about this one. Uh, no, no thanks. Briggs is saying, oh, this movie. Oh, oh this movie. Now, yeah, you're talking. Briggs, do tell. It would be great if 40-year-old Kevin is under house arrest. He can't get out, man. <laughs> Joe Pesci finds him. He's, he's just finished his term. He probably just finished his 25-year term in jail. <laughs> Go straight to Kevin McAllister's house. Oh, it writes itself. God damn it. You can call him the gummy bandit because you get gum on your beard. His dentures? Yeah. The jokes write themselves. All right. No, I'm not late because uh, no Discord notice. Ah, frick me. There could be some little rascals on the Discord right now. I'm like, is Rad going on tonight? What the frick? All right, we're going to solve that right now. Everyone, show's going on now. Forgot to announce here. My B. My B. All right, that's a good heads up. Oh, man, true Raffy Pappy. Yo, true Raffy Pappy. Is there a fake Raffy Pappy? Because there, if there is, he's getting one of those. All right, Fred has just put on his pleated pants and his future shirt and says, Art C.J. Ellie. Or Le I, uh, art. I'll call you Art Say. We already have an Art that watches the show, but now you're Art Say. Oh, man, we're getting just raided galore. Raiders, get the F in here. It's getting crazy in here. All right, true Raffy. Let me know. Let me know if fake Raffy's giving you any trouble. I'm giving him one of those. I'm going to give him an elbow drop from the third floor. Cosmic elbow drops all day. All right. All right, I missed the raid announcement. I don't know who raided me, but whoever you are, you're a special person in my book. High tech dude. That'll fly. No low tech dudes here. This is a high tech show. High tech program. You see any low tech dudes? They get one of those. All right. All right. We gotta we gotta keep going. We gotta keep the flow going. I'm gonna all oh, that energy, man. All that momentum. That energy. That'll play. He says for frick's sake. Doodle pooch. Get in here. All right. Let. Here, yeah, poochie, poochie, pooch. Doodle pooch. All right, man. Freaking baselines galore. All right. That's. Thanks for following everyone. We're gonna kick some A tonight. With that energy, we're gonna kick some A. Anyone comes in here, I'm kicking their A. In real life, all right, we've got this whole studio sealed. Any one of those rascals back there comes in, dances their way in there, they're getting one of those. That's just, that's the tone tonight, all right? All right, Seabeard Raid, oh, thanks Seabeard, I appreciate that. Seabeard, one of the best in the biz, god damn. You guys, give Seabeard, if you're following right now and you're not following Seabeard, turn around, go back around, follow Seabeard, don't mess around. You're messing around. If I catch anyone messing around in this club right now, they're gone. Okay? Don't let these cheerful tunes uh, distract you. I got my finger hovering over that band button right freaking now. All right, let's get going. We're, guys, what we're doing, we're just talking about the movies and the music that came out in May 1997 real quick before we play the games from May 1997. It's going to be a good time. Buckle up. That'll play. All right, that'll play, he says. DJ Home Slice. Frick, man, I want to go to that guy's concert. Just spinning those beats, man. That sounds like a great concert. All right, guys. This this could have also been someone's pick of the month. They could have said, God damn it, you know, if you're going to pick one movie this month, oh my God, you know what it's got to be? Almost. I almost say Austin Powers. Almost. Frick. That's a funny movie. And God damn, Elizabeth Hurley. She fine. Whoa. Remember her also in Bedazzled? Just like rolling with the momentum off this. Wasn't there a scene with her in a bikini? I was like, I can't handle it, man. No, Brendan Fraser, don't. She's the devil. All right. Oh, behave, says Subash. We'll try and behave. That is a very yellow cover. Man, this this movie goes for it. I like it. I like that it's going for it. I need to give this one a rewatch. Instead of rewatching this, I chose to rewatch Breakdown. So shoot me. Honestly, who throws a shoe? And it's funny because that's at the end of the movie. But in the trailer, it makes it look like it's going to be at the beginning of the movie. All right, you can remind us that Seabeard is built different. Oh, way different. No expense was spared in the building of Seabeard, all right? You guys find out anyone was sparing expenses while they built him? Let me know. What are their names? I want them. All right, these happy tunes do not represent my inner demeanor. All right? 
Okay. We spared no expense. Alright, guys, what in the hell? We gotta go. The pick of the month. The movie that you should go see this month. If you're like, man, I only got $15 on me? I wanna go see a movie this month? What's it gonna be? Oh, you knew it. You knew it was coming. Fifth Element. It's gotta be. This is one of the most watchable movies. Total Recall. If it's ever on TV, if it's ever on in a room, Deer in Headlights. I'll watch the whole thing. Wherever it is, I'll watch it till it's completed. Fifth Element is like maybe the next one or the next couple down on the rung. It's high up there. Really high up there. Subash says, love this movie. Haven't seen it since he was a kid though. Oh man, you're in for a treat. It holds up well and it has 97 flavor just written all over. But the good thing is, the special effects look amazing. They still look really good. Give me the cash, says Grungy Nick. <laughs> Smoke you! I don't remember where that is in it, but... Lilu Dallas Multipass. Chicken. That's a great movie. And Mila Jovovich. Whoa. Whoa. That's a heck of a debut. I know she was in a couple of things. She was in, uh, you guys remember her in Married with Children? She played like the super hussy. She out hussied Kelly Bundy. Whoa. That's a, that's a special role. If you're going to out hussy Kelly Bundy, you got to be going for it. Anyways. I was just classing it up here, still stark ass naked for a majority of the movie, which I'm not too uh, offended by. That'll In fact, I'm, I'm personally, I'd be offended if she didn't. Oh, Seabeard just subscribed. Oh, man. Play. You, you're playing with fire here, Seabeard. I'm gonna sub you back. Don't mess with me. Fred right now saying, get the F in here, Seabeard. Now you got, you got full access to the Fred couples and your own Fricks. Frick! Ah, oh, Frick. Fred is digging it. Fred is just dancing up a you guys can't see him. He's backstage there, just and he's swinging his arms around, knocking people left, right, and center, and they're cheering for it. It's crazy. All right, so uh, you know how I was saying I like the movie covers in 1997. Look at this movie cover. That's a good movie cover. Movies nowadays would just have uh, Bradley Cooper in a white background and him just smiling like this. I'll go see that. It's a Bradley Cooper movie. No, 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 no. Tell me something about the movie. Come on, what the frick? Oh, Grungy is just bringing the, the two frick emotes together. We're gonna, together, we're just gonna frick the frick out of this frickin' frick, all right? Frick couples. Frick is not always uh, a bad word, all right? On this stream, sometimes it's a good word. Ah, frick. All right, guys, I also wanted to show you, while they were at it, they're like, hey, we didn't just stop with one good cover. We had another good cover. What? That's even a cool cover. Give me that cover. All right, I like Tiny Lister as the president of the universe. That was a good get. Uh, Chris Tucker as uh, Ruby Road or whatever. Killed it. Come on, come on, man. I got no fire. Sheesh. All right, guys, we're listening to some golf course so loud right now. The crowd, the crowd can't get enough. I can't get enough. Oh man, that'll play. And he says, guess what now? He says, space cowboy. Risto, we're talking about space movies right here. A lot of you didn't know this, but Space Cowboy Risto starred in this movie. He was in the background, in the action sequences. He was helping uh, pull the bodies out. They were in the way. Okay. It's hot trivia. I don't know. All right, let's go. Guys, music this month. Toad the wet, Toad the wet sprocket coil. All right, I got to open up my notes. I have some notes about this. Um, I tried to listen to all this, uh, all the albums last night because there's a lot of stuff I missed. Now, Toad the Wind's wrong here. Uh -huh. There's one good song uh, called Don't Fade. All right, Don't Fade. True story, he says. I mean, it's confirmed. Confirmed right there. I mean, you couldn't see it. Off screen, he was also knocking some fools, uh, just cracking skulls. Some of the bad guys. Unless he's an evil character. I don't know. I, I couldn't really tell. Maybe it was innocent people he was knocking out. I don't know. All right, so this is... Uh, this is a good track off the album. I always thought just by the name alone, this has to suck. This is gonna suck, but no, it's actually pretty good. Check it out if you're curious. And if you're in the archive, I don't know. I'll probably remember the link at some point. I don't know what the frick I'm doing. Uh, Grungy Nick saying his mom owned, owned this. <laughs> That's one mom point for rad, okay? That's rad one, Grungy Nick zero. Unless you listen to it with your mom. I'll give you that point. That is one rad buck. Rad bucks and rad points are transferable. Use some of those three mil rad. Oh no, you're you're out. I got a mail. Okay, special announcement. I haven't mailed anything out yet, but I sent. It took me like two hours to send out the codes. Everyone who watched my streams over the holidays got codes for the soundtracks I make for video games. Um, that took a really long time because I had to whisper them all one at a time. Ah, we did it. All right, told the wet sprocket, get out of here. 
A little better than I was thinking. You know what wasn't better than I was thinking? Sammy Hagar, Marching to Mars. I don't care what anyone says. I'm not a fan. Give me David Lee Roth. I don't even know much about David Lee Roth, but I know I like his vocals better than Sammy Hagar. I, there was a couple good riffs when I was testing this out, but it wasn't like, wasn't wowing me, man. Clad saying, yep, same, Diamond Dave, Sammy Hagar. All right, all right. I don't know why, I don't know why Sammy Hagar is even a name in my head. I'm so unlearned about music from 1997. This is actually good for me to refresh. Like, here's the thing, a lot of the music I'm about to show you guys, I'm aware of, I just have never heard in my life. Uh, on my own terms. It was on the radio, it was, uh, I don't know. I could have heard a million Sammy Hagar songs in my life so far, I wouldn't have known it. Not unless someone said like, Brad, this is Sammy Hagar! Like, I don't freaking know. All right, guys, uh, this one's for my mom. My mom and my stepdad are some of the biggest uh, Paul McCartney fans in the universe. And so I did them a favor, and I was like, well, okay, well, Paul McCartney's got an album coming out this month. I'm going to just give it a quick test. What does it sound like? Not that bad. I would have thought, eh, no way, man. Uh, what is the name of this? There was, uh, I got a song off this I wanted to post, but I guess... Paul... Do I have, reminds me of, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. The song I was listening to off this album reminds me of Tangerine Dream and John Anderson from Legend. All right, so this is Paul McCartney. You don't have to check these out. This is just for the, if you're watching this in VODs or if you're doing, if you're having a good time or if you're really bored, you got two monitors. If you can concentrate uh, while someone's yapping over music. Sounds like, boom. All right, this Tangerine Dream song kicks some butt. And last night when I was listening to it, I don't even remember what the Paul McCartney song sounds like right now, but I was like, damn. Does this sound like the track off Legend? What the frick? All right, I can get down with that. I mean, maybe I really boned it up. This is this is last night Norrenrad talking, and current day Norrenrad has no idea what's going on. I feel like I've been up forever. Tangerine Dream is great, Subash. Yeah, that, that's why I was like, man, is Paul McCartney kind of getting the vibe here? No, no synth. Don't get don't get me wrong. It's all just like fingerstyle guitar. Um, but the the tone, the the chord progressions, the vocal tone. All right. There was one track we heard on repeat. Can't remember which one, Johnny. Okay, okay. You Paul McCartney track on repeat? All right, does it sound... It does have some Love by the Sun vibes. All right, Grungy Nick confirming. Last night, Norrin Rad thought so. I literally spent the whole night. As soon as my wife goes to bed at 9 at night, I'm like, all right. All the way until 6 in the morning, I was researching for the show. All right, and now I can't remember anything. Is it even worth it? All right, well, at least last night, someone thought that was worth it. All right, what the hell are we talking about here? Melvins, here's another one. Melvins Honky. Now the internet tells me that Melvins are something I should like. I've just never listened to it. Never listened to any Melvins. All right, I'm hanging out here and I was just sitting here for five hours, so I gotta eat and stretch. You gotta stretch those legs, Seabird. You don't wanna get any, what do they call it? Deep vein thrombosis. Mm -mm. Not here, damn it. You guys can't see, but under the table, I'm just like constantly like doing the, the bicycle. You guys think I'm just swiveling in my chair, but no, I'm keeping my legs fresh. Keep them fresh. Melvin's cool dudes. Original part of Deep Six for grunge. Really? Okay. Well, damn. All right. Subash has got to stretch. Uh, he's saying, got to stretch his sea legs. Yeah, you don't want to get those sea legs. Right? The sea legs, you want to maintain a regular healthy balance between sea and land legs. All right. Deep vein thrombosis is my poor name. I'd watch it. I mean, at least I'd get enticed enough to watch it. Then I'm like, oh, is that Briggs? Oh, no. Briggs, no. I can't. I can't. Briggs, whoa, whoa, what? The name. You got me in halfway. All right. Uh, they say the, the internet says this is their most uh, uh, experimental album. You know what? This is not a very experimental album cover. Because of that, get off my screen. All right. Do better, Melvins. All right. Synth heads on the internet will fight you if you don't say this is the greatest thing in the entire world. Guys, John Michael Jar. Oh, man. He's unbelievably good. Squatchers. Quit watching those squatchers. You gotta squat while watching. If you're just watching and you're not squatching, you're really blowing it bad, all right? Just like you would be if you said, John Michael Jar is the worst. I don't I wouldn't say he's the worst. Um, in, in like the synth community, just people hold to him at like the highest, the highest echelon that you can achieve of synth. Like, I don't know. He's pretty good. I was listening to it last night. I'm like, I'm on board. But man, the way people talk about him online is like, John Michael Jar is a musical genius. What? The? You know, <laughs> he's pretty good. Especially for 1997, he was like, you know what? I know there's a lot of pressure to use these romplers. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for it, everyone. I'm gonna keep the synth alive. Good for you, Jean Michael Jar. Jarre. Eh? All right, the man can work his fingy boards or fingy boys pretty well. That's 
That's Squatches. He said it there. Squatchers has nailed it. All right, uh, just because I have to. I never really listened to this band. Dimmu Borger? When I was a uh, grown up, this was one of the black metal bands where I'm like, that's for posers. That's poser black metal. I'll never listen to that. I only listen to hardcore black metal. This is for posers. And when I listen to it now, it's like, if this is commercial black metal, like, I don't know what the hell I was thinking. Like, that sounds as far from commercial as possible. Um, I still don't really like it. I don't know if I really like black metal, to tell you the truth. I like when black metal has something different going on for it. This seems very vanilla black metal, I'll tell you that. Like, this sounds like black metal. Dimu Borgir. Alright, Dimu. Well, aren't they just having a great time with their frickin' Finland... Is it Finnish? Sounds like something Finnish now. Dimu! Dimu. Enthroned, darkness, and triumphant. What? Who put the chip on their shoulder? Alright, I like to be some black metal. It just has to be some... It has to be unusual black metal. Now, everyone. Okay, computer. Big album, right? Huge album. Are you guys aware that I've never heard this album before? Ever? Unless it had a music video, which it did. You know what? I'll help you guys out. You're like, what was the song that they had? I believe you're thinking of Karma Police. And I only know that because I think that's the most popular song off the album. I'm just saying that. It might not even be. Karma Police. Okay, so when I was a kid, I thought, like, man, I hate these guys. And everyone was so into it. I was like, I can't like it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was like, you know, if there's a, a Venn diagram. If, there, if, if, if you're anywhere in that Venn diagram, I'm out. I'm gone. I'll go and listen to video game music for the next 10, year, 10 years. I don't even care. Everyone's so up their butts about this album. Grungy says, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'll say they have moments where I'm like, I've just turned it on. I'm like, I think this is going to be a rad song. And then, like, they hit... They start veering away from where I think it's supposed to go. Like, ah, oh, ah, oh. pyramid song, banger. Okay. Uh, my brother Dingle Dude in the chat says uh, this was the fave Radiohead album he had. Best song is called Letdown. Ah, oh, well, frick. I just wanted to go with the one that had a music video, but um, yeah, I'll say it's good. Long tracks, though. You know how I feel about long tracks. Now, okay, everyone. God damn it, you, you little rascals. Um, you little rascals in. Uh, Radiohead, you think you're all that, all right? I did it before, I'll do it again. Guys, here, I'm just loading my own chat with links. Italian band for 2004 called Verdina. It's like Radiohead, but they actually play the notes that I was hoping they'd play. Oh, man, hell yeah. All right, why is the best song let down? LOL! They messed up. Or they're trying to psych you out, like, oh, man, reverse psychology. I can't, it's the best song. All right, uh, good, good album. I was probably even, when I first heard some of those notes, I'm like, oh man, is this going to be album of the month? Is this going to be it? No, didn't come close. Um, here's the album Verdina, by the way. Guys, check it out. Don't sleep on Verdina. Frick me. It's all in Italian, though, which makes it better, because they could be singing about anything. You don't know. No pretension, because I don't know what they're talking about. That's the thing. If there's ever any pretension in music, Tetsuo! Welcome. If there's any sense of pretension, I'm out. I'm gone. That's why uh, I like listening to music that is so old that whatever they were pretentious about has died off. Dead. Oh, yeah, that's great. Music from the 70s and 80s, you're going to be as pretentious as you want. Like, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, we don't think those things are cool anymore, sir. But they end up being, like, almost cool by default. All right. Uh, also, what's up, Fred Nation? Tetsuo's back. Fred, are you getting any world records today? Are we getting world records today, Tetsuo? I want world records all day. We got world record holders in here. Do we? Almost? All right, he's in the running four. I thought this was fun. Remember when James Taylor was in Simpsons? When he was in the space episode? I don't know, I just thought that was fun. Uh, a little better than I was thinking. I thought it was gonna suck. I was able to listen to a couple tracks. I was like, all right, and guess what? You see it right here, best value. I'll just leave that with you. Okay, White Snake. Uh, pretty vanilla. If we're talking vanilla, yeah, pretty vanilla. Uh, and, uh, Itty Brigade, I missed it. He's saying commercial metal is basically Ghost. Yeah, everyone's all about Ghost, Halloween sound effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not... I wanted to like Ghost. I can't like Ghost. I'm just not on board with Ghost. There needs to be some edge, and it seems like they're missing the edge. Where... Guys, where's the edge? Where's Edge, the wrestler? All right, Briggs, glad you're here. I did this for you, Briggs. Begrudgingly. This is May 1997's worth of Ska. Mad Caddy, ska out of its mind. Uh, Briggs is a, a defender of Ska. I like that he will say, I like that he defends it. He's not, he's unashamed about his Ska, uh, fandom. 
And that makes me think, like, what am I missing here? Am I missing something about Scott? And he said last week, it's the energy. Okay. I will grant Scott that. Very energetic music. They are very energetic. But they're like the opposite of metal. They're like, they're like metal without any distortion. Which, on the surface, sounds actually really cool. So maybe that's a bad example. What are they like? I don't know. Ska is eternal, says Briggs. Um, okay, Briggs, is this a good Ska album? That's what I need to know. Is this good Ska? Is this like, man, if there were one Ska album to listen to from 1997, this is the one. What if I were to tell you, uh, 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 I went double deep, Briggs, I went double deep. All right, what do you choose? There's another Ska album from 1997. This month, this was, this month was ska out of his mind. People were skanking themselves to death. That's too much ska, they said. Never, ever again release two ska albums in one month. All right, he's saying Voodoo Glow Skulls takes the cake. All right, good to know. That's his pick. That's uh, Briggs' ska pick of the month. A new segment we're working on. All right, and uh, guys, maybe it was obvious. I don't know. The pick of the month. We got to go Foo Fighters. We got to go Foo Fighters because I almost cried listening to one of the songs. Uh, while I was uh, researching this. Oh, by the way, Briggs, before we go, before we even go on to Foo Fighters, Briggs! I think I found out what Ska's like. Ska's kind of like klezmer music. All right, now check this out. Klezmer music is like, like traditional Jewish instruments or tradu- traditional Jewish scales. I don't know, but this is a guy that basically is playing what I think Ska is, but just with Jewish instruments and Jewish traditional like concepts all aboard that klezmer music. All right, so Foo Fighters, man alive. We got a lot of talk about with this album here. Um, Monkey Wrench, obviously, I think, is like one of the... Just banging. Just a banger of a track. Monkey Wrench. Here we go. This is one that's universal. Like, everyone can get on board with Monkey Wrench. If you can't get on board with Monkey Wrench, there's like an imbalance in your brain or something. So there's Monkey Wrench, everyone. Um, Just good, good quality. It's kind of vanilla. This is like perfect vanilla, though. Like when you go to the ice cream shop and they're like, "What, what flavor do you want? And you're like... I think you guys are going to nail it. I want some vanilla. And they're like, we got the best vanilla in the world right here, right now. Oh, man, it tastes so good. But here's the other thing. Everlong. Holy frick. Uh, OK Computer and this a Foo Fighters album were my summer hits. It's such a banger of an album, says Seabird. Yes, it is. This is a banger of an album. And uh, Everlong, I think, takes the cake. This is the song. It almost made me cry. I was like, I was holding back the tears because there's a comment on one of these videos. It might even be this video. Uh, where some guy said, like, his brother passed away uh, in the hospital and he had his headphones on. He was listening to this song while he's passing away and, like, quoted one of the lyrics. And I'm his- I'm historically never listening to the lyrics, ever. That's why I listen to Italian music, because, like, I don't care what they're talking about. So I'm, I'm actually paying attention to the lyrics. I'm like, man, okay, if you're gonna- if you're gonna pass away in the hospital listening to that song, damn. Of course, the music video is ridiculous. I love that he just keeps growing a big hand for some reason. And he gets to keep slapping people with it that are, uh, in Evil Dead. All right, Monkey Wrench Guitar, oh man, it's so good. All right, uh, Monkey Wrench has really grown on me over the years. The chord progressions throughout it are so creative. Yeah, that's the thing I like about Foo Fighters is they were, uh, like Grungy said a couple weeks ago, they sound grunge adjacent, and that makes sense. As you know, the drummer of Nirvana is like, you know what, I don't want to be all Nirvana. I'm not just going to do Nirvana too. I got some other ideas, but I came from grunge. So I have grunge adjacent ideas. All right, so Asteroid Blue, is he saying, when it comes to Foo Fighters, the first album will always be my favorite. I don't remember what songs are off the first album, but I bet you it's good. I bet you it's rad. Great album, says Squatchers. Yeah, that's my pick of the month, guys. That's the pop culture refresher. We did it in record time this week. God damn. Um, I will say, though, not every track on this album was good. I want to say every track was good, but I can't say it. I got, you know, I can't just be, you can't get five across the board. Foo Fighters, this is like a 4.5 album for me. Some of the tracks, like, if you're going to make me almost cry, obviously you're a great album. You're a fantastic album. You're not doing anything wrong, but there's just a couple of riffs. I'm like... Is this borderline country right now? Is it just touching on country for a second? And not that that should be a bad thing, but it's just, uh, it kind of diverted my attention, like, uh, uh, and A couple of the songs, too, also start so slow, I skipped them, and I'm like, no, because they're trying to trick me, so then I had to go back and be like, oh, they get really rad later on. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm a picky guy. I, I listen to video game music for, like, 25 years straight, and now I have to go back and listen to music from the years that I grew up in. Not ideal, but when, a, when an album works, it works. This one works. Pick of the month. Check it out, you rascals. All right, it's time to play some GD frickin' games. What the frick? All right, we got to get reading, and we got to do it right now. Guys, that was the Pop Culture Refresher. I hope you were all insanely refreshed. Oh, man. Diet Pepsi caffeine-free. Goes down so smooth. 
and you'll be in bed before you know it, sleeping like a baby. Pepsi, hook me up. Don't make me come after you. Elbow drops from the third story, all right? I'm gonna be hitting re-entry speeds coming in if I don't get sponsored by Pepsi, all right? Hook me up, all right? I'm the last man standing in Diet Pepsi caffeine-free sponsorship. I'm all you got. Let's play some games. Let's play some games. Let's listen to some good tunes. It's freaking maintenance man out here. You guys don't realize, but the maintenance man on this show, he's trying to derail the whole thing. Trying to take away everything I've worked for my whole life. If you guys ever see him in the club, especially during working hours, let me know. He's not allowed to be here during working hours. The guy's such a rascal. He left the pipes on. The pipes are burst. They're raining down on my window here. The crowd is getting soaking wet. It's cold outside because he left the windows open everywhere. What the frick? And I can't get up there. It's union. I'm not allowed. He's using that against me. Oh, frick. More frickin' international superstar, superstar soccer. You know, I'm not a big fan of this. Whatever that sound is, there's a name for it. But you can't deny these riffs. I would never deny these riffs. The maintenance man would deny these riffs. And say, like, listen to that weird sound. I would never listen to that. No, you gotta look beyond it, maintenance man. All right, I gotta raise up a bit here. There we go. Slouching, everyone, you know? All right, now what are we reading? What the hell are we doing? All right, where the heck is the magazine? Boom. All right, here's what we're gonna be playing this week. All right, get big. We played a lot of these games. For those that are new, we played a lot of these games in past episodes. I don't like the double dip, but... Die Pepsi, I mean, as amazing as it tastes. It gives you the burps, what can you do? First up, I might have to double dip. Now, we played this game like eight weeks ago, way before we should have. GamePro had this tiny little blurb about it, saying like, Hey, guess what? Uh, Blast Corp's coming out. Oh, man. Or Blast Core, I don't know what you want to call it. Like, man, so we played it for like a split second, then I bolted off it, because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. International Superstar, Superstar Soccer on SNES was my jam back in the day, says Johnny Favorite. You got some good taste, Johnny. Should hit me with some suggestions on this one, all right? If you got more Namachuke, Rattling around in there. I need more Namachuke. All right, Blast Corpse. Actually, a really fun game. Confirm. Z Beard. Z Beard. It's the Germans and Z Beard. We're gonna play it. And we're gonna give it a good hearty go this time. And maybe get past the first level without blowing up the uh, rocket launcher. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I would never. I would never confirm or deny whether we're gonna do that. All right. One thing's first. Oh, by the way, I am also. I'm in 720p tonight. I don't know what the heck's going on. Maybe Twitch has just like said, hey, guess what? You're not getting 1080 anymore. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm recording in the background while I'm streaming. So far, so good. Might might rascal me later. I don't know. We'll see. If it starts just chopping, everything's getting crappy, I'll have to turn it off. But I only notice that because I got to go to studio mode for just one second. For just one goddamn second, everyone. Right, we don't need that open. We need that open. We need to... Lower it. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's play some goddamn games. Blast Core. Everyone's like getting out of their minds for Blast Core, and I don't blame them. Alright, turn these amazing tunes down. Alright, we gotta go. The club is calling for it, demanding for it. And you know what? I would never deny them that. Let's get to gameplay. Oh, we're not we're not getting refreshed. Everyone, don't get refreshed right now. It's the wrong transition. Goddamn. The crowd's loving it. Everyone, I gotta raise the screen. Raise the roof. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do it. Let's play some N64. Hopefully, uh, I don't turn on Golden Casino again. Golden Shower Casino. Oh, man. Feel the bass on that. That bass is getting out of hand. All right. So, we're still playing with an irregular PlayStation 4 controller, which is not ideal. And could it get any louder? God damn it. Time to, get Time to get moving, they say. Well, that's debatable. We're gonna go back to this level. I want you guys to see the very first level again. And of course we want to hear this hot jam. If we don't hear this hot jam, what's the point? Alright, got refreshed too late. Damn it, Clad, I'm sorry, that's a double refresh deep. Alright, this game is legit seven to thirteen year old boys dream game. Yes, on paper, Zbeard, when I was reading Game Pro Game Pro magazine. I thought, God damn it, I don't want an N64, but I want to play that game. Oh, Jesus, what am I going to do? Uh, for those that are wondering, I am a legit Cold War, Cold Console War, Console Cold War survivor. I just woke up. I just woke up a couple years ago. I thought it was still in the war. I was in the trenches, like gun in the trench. PlayStation! PlayStation! Nintendo is for losers and dummies, and I'm smart. 
I'm a winner. I'm coming back now. Playing it for the first time ever. Oh, let's freaking go. And I'm not turning it down for you or anybody. God damn it, we gotta get going. Oh, man. I'm fishtailing, dudes. I'm fishtailing. Oh, man. Feel like I'm in a 90s dance party. Where? Did I already blow up all the buildings? When you go back to a level, <laughs> are all the buildings already destroyed? All right. Well, that is good to know. Oh, man. Well, I guess there's there's really no reason to be here if I've already blown up everything. I will turn it down after this. All right, stop the vehicle. I didn't realize you could get out of the car before. All right, let's turn it down. We're not maniacs. I mean, we're drinking caffeine-free soda here. That's how little of a maniac we we actually are, okay? All right. Saturn exclusive gamer, says Dogen. Wow, that's interesting. Console Cold War survivor, man. Those console Cold Wars, they were, they ran deep. They w actually went all the way through Nintendo Wii, uh, Nintendo Wii U. All the handheld ones, I'm like, F those. F those, man. But also, the fans weren't helping themselves. The fans were really making it worse. Nintendo Revolution is gonna be the next big thing. Why am I back in this level again? All right, get me, quit, quit the damn level. I don't wanna be a quitter, but I'm quitting that level. All right, sideswipe, pretty fun level here. Don't, I don't need you guys to tell me how to be. Try this for size. All right. Time to get moving. Definitely not until 2020 we had a Saturn. Boom, 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 crunch them. Oh, I almost biffed it. All right, I don't think you're supposed to go backwards in this thing. Smashing him. I don't know. I don't know why I've been tasked with doing this, but once this, once this, uh, once you get started, you can't stop. Am I out of juice? Oh no, I ran out of juice. <laughs> okay. Well, I've already beaten this level, so out of frick with it. I didn't realize I had a limited number of things. Oh, damn. I can go sideways. One more. Okay. As of yet, never played this level. Boom. All right. Uh, just cracked open a monster. Oh, man, Briggs, you're not, you're not going to get to sleep tonight. That's fine. We go way late. Sometimes over five hours. One of which usually spent entirely on a pop culture refresher. What the hell's wrong with me? All right. Press start. Right now. All right, what are we doing here? Whoops, oh, okay, well. I think that was entrapment. I don't think I can take the blame for that one. Unusually satisfying game, says Tetsuo. Same with the soundtrack. Yeah, when it's just doing the banjo, I'm like, guys, no, no, no. But then they're like, oh, but guess what? It's like 90s dance banjo. Huh? Yeah. All right. Go for it. I don't know what they want me to do, but. This is an RDU triggered remotely as you drive by. They can be used for guidance as well as radiation dispersal. Well, I almost drove off a grid. All right, where did that... What the hell am I doing here? Oh, can I blow this thing up? Hell yeah, uh, take it! I feel like they should have told me what the hell I was supposed to do over here. Get there! He's almost here, Alfred! I got an Austin Powers this. Okay, we're good. All right, they show me. Okay, he's just going over the bridge now. Continue. Which button lets me see where he's going? Ah, frick. All right. Oh, we got to get this out of the way. Oh, those blue boxes give me more uh, smashers, I think. All right, historically, I don't read anything that's ever on the screen. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we got more smashers. Oh man, we're not doing well here. What, was that a missile coming over there? Where, where the hell is this guy going? All right, he's coming. Good, good, good. Oh no, not today, sir. Got it, smashed him. All right, where else, where else? Oh, don't worry about it. Silos, done. Done taking care of, dead. We didn't tell the people to evacuate either. This is a slaughter. Are we the bad guys? Hell yeah, we're the bad guys. You don't have a badass vehicle like this if you're the good guy. All right, we're, we're flat broke here. I, oh, frick. I need some more 
smashers. I need them bad. Bad baby, bad baby. Oh, frick, no. All right, is this, is this thing taking me to where there's more smashers? Oh, frick. Okay, I, I literally almost scared. I got scared. You Z to get in the van. Come All right. Uh, get, 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 get out of the vehicle. You're on way or something. Get there. Get there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, we got this in the bag. Smashed him. No, nice oh, not the truck. Path cleared. Oh, we did it. Get out. Get there. All right. Calling it a day. Did it. Congratulations. Mission complete. Thank you, every one of you, for helping me get through that. All right. Just cracked on my monster. Uh, time to get moving, says Tailspin. Welcome back, Tailspin. All right. No frames were harmed in this production. Not a single one. Just a couple picture frames. That's fine. They deserved it. Frick. All right. This is the part where the game goes from pretty dope to actually a kid's dream. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, jumping into a big mech. I'll show you the uh, other level, too, where you're smashing uh, skyscrapers. You literally can't believe what you're seeing. All right, get to the skyscraper level. All right, this does not... All right, there we go. No, not that one. This one? No. Uh, how about down? It, okay, fine. Go that way. Now, what's over here, then? Yeah, J-bomb. Yo, we're gonna drop the J-bomb. Frick yeah! Yeah, big part of 2021. One of my, uh, one of my series I'm gonna start doing is now the console Cold War. I'm gonna play more, uh, Nintendo games. Nintendo N64. Nintendo, uh, what the heck was it? Game Boy Advance. 3DS, whatever you got. Whatever I can get going that I haven't played, I gotta catch up, man. Nintendo and I, we gotta catch up. Literally a blast, Tetsuo. Literally a blast. You can do this. this game has a lot of content, too, surprisingly. Oh, okay. A lot of damn levels, apparently. Alright, get there. Smash them. Oh, just smashing galore. These are not evacuated buildings. You guys know Dragon Ball Z, whenever it was dubbed to English, their uh, Nappa and Vegeta just roll in, blow up an entire city, eviscerate it from the sky, and then on the English versions, they'll be like, Thank goodness they evacuated the towns. Not in the Japanese version. Like, they're all dead. Yeah, they're freaking dead. How else are we supposed to be intimidated by the Saiyans? God damn it. So, unfortunately, uh, we did not tell the people about our uh, demolitions today. Got to keep them guessing. You should have checked the schedule, everyone. That's not my fault. You teeves too stupid to check the box? We're not going to tell you. Name the show. The time is false. I like the song is just vaguely somber as well. Oh no. All those people. Well, you built your uh, buildings on robot testing facilities, okay? We tried to warn you. Frick. Smashed it. You're just trying to the escape. slam move is so satisfying, says Seabird, and goddamn if he ain't right. You know what I'm going to do tonight? I should do this more often, but I'm not going to be in retro right now. I'm going to go to Blast Corp. Seems like this is a game that I should have record of having played. Yeah? Alright. Now all the rascals loading up Twitch right now going like, Frack, man. No one's playing any goddamn Blast Corp. Don't worry about it. I got you covered. Now we're gonna we're gonna go to the Havoc District, and you know what? We're gonna follow the rule. Not a single building. Not a single building. Frick, man, this too. Okay, what are they telling me to do here? Do they actually tell you what to do? Frick, this tune is killing me. Where the hell was this game the last 20 years? Frick, Virtual Boy, wow. <laughs> Grungy Nick, I, yeah, he was there. I played the Virtual Boy live on stream. Saw my viewership disappear. I'm like, ah, oh, we're out of here. This guy's playing Virtual Boy. Not today, buddy. No, we're not interested in that. Go for it. All right, I will go for it in my little buggy. Oh man, bridge physics. PlayStation did not have bridge physics. Okay. Where the hell was this game? Where, oh, where am I supposed to go here? Follow the green arrow. Stop rolling over the boxes that are of no consequence. Smash it. 
Alright, I need to get in that robot. I know, wasn't he at the end of the street? Alright, I'm risking it all here. The arrow is telling me, uh, hey, <laughs> you better get in your robot pretty soon. I don't know where the frick it is. Alright, I chose wrong. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. What is the red dot? Is there another, like, nuclear silo on wheels here? I don't want to smash into it. Warning! I don't know. Oh, here we go. Get out of the car. The love of Christmas! Alright, go! Go! No frick! Alright, we gotta pull some radical maneuvers here, everyone. We don't get these maneuvers as radical as possible, as soon as possible. High stakes maneuver! Oh frick, no! Get there! No! No, you gotta go faster! Oh man, this high octane! Frick me! Oh man, we're threading the needle with that truck. He's just barely squeezing through. Get there. Oh, that was a big one. That was a lot of damage. Hell yes. Nice work. Oh man, we're doing it. Oh, come on, buddies. We're doing it. Frick me, you missed it. All right, that's good. I like it. I love it. Get, get me in. I think we're in the clear. This is a really dangerous town to live in. They got freaking nuclear silo vehicles just rolling through. Robots just blowing everything up. Is there anything over here? Do I have to keep going? All right. You've done a good job here today, sir. I mean, are we the bad guys? Are we just rolling our missiles through? Are we the Russians? That's like what they do on all their uh, parades. <laughs> Get there. Not a scratch on it. Not a scratch on it. Oh man. Is that the mother of all bombs? Alright, bonus stage. Destroy Dan's lair. Oh man, he's fricked. He's done fricked. He done fricked if he thinks I won't pull the trigger. Uh, it's Tetsuo saying that. Actually, you guys can see now in the chat. Or, or in the, the little tiny thing at the bottom of the screen. Actually, in 720, you probably can't even read that. Frick me. Alright, well, if I'm recording it at 1080, so in the archive, it'll be at 1080. Frick, this is a this is our victory song if I ever heard one. Uh, imagine instead of wrecking everything, we built a giant treadmill for that giant missile truck. You we're thinking brute force, man. When you're faced with no, no op That thing was coming. We had that was zero options. That was Steven Seagal's final option was to just blow up all the buildings. He said, Frick, we don't have time. Oh frick. That's Briggs saying that. Uh Seabeard saying, I can tell where uh, to go if if you want to see it, maybe a little late. <laughs> I, was, I was just rolling deep on that one. You know, I just let my instincts take over. I might have been in the console Cold War, but I still have razor sharp video game instincts. All right, I'm not a big fan of these dune buggy levels. Let's see what's going on here. God freaking damn it. No worries, pal, he says. I forgot to even look at the thing. Man, if I, I'm such a bad reader live that like I, I can't look at the chat until I have a, a break. I just can't read properly. It might be a problem. All right, don't smash into them. This is the hardest one to use because you got to pull little fish tails. Oh, Jesus. I don't know if there's a button to do it either. Just get that thing. All right, I'm just going to have to do this one old school style. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Wait, can I just get there? You got one piece left. Oh, frick, he's getting close. Oh, frick, get it out of there. Oh, Jesus, no. All right, this one might be my downfall. This might be the one that signals we go to play a different game. He's not sliding. He's just turning well. Oh, no. Oh, frick. Oh, that was it. Collision imminent. Oh, frick. We done, frick. Yo, Cosmic Beard, Blast Corpse. Aw, oh, dang, he says. All right, if you just stop in Cosmic Beard, we'll play one more for you. Because I fricked that one up. I don't know if there's a button to make it fishtail. I certainly was not fishtailing as well as I could be fishtailing. All right. Um, time to get moving. Yeah, that, that was the opposite of what I did. Fine, we'll do Skyfall. We'll do Skyfall, and then we'll see what Show comes next. What oh, they were going to tell me what to do. Ah, All right, we're on our recon mission to find a better vehicle. Holy lordy, look at this. All right, we're flat broke. We got no arrow telling us where to go. Oh, 
All I know is I'm gonna do some sick jumps. Oh, I get it. The sick jumps are part of it. Frick! With a new tune to boot. There we go! That's not gonna cut it. Wait, can I just run these over normal style? I'm sitting here pulling rad jump. Okay, no, you, you do have to do the rad jumps. Fine. I am not gonna get a gold on this one. Unless it's a gold participation trophy. Nailed it. All right, we obviously need uh, the three wood in the hands of the couples for this one. Hell yeah, man. Just banging it with those three woods. This game was a lovely part of my childhood, says Seabird. Oh, man, I'm glad I'm actually playing one that you... That makes it so much better. I'll stick around. I'll stick around on this one. Seems like people all played this one a bit. All right, that was all for Skyfall? Huh. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know if I'm ready for that one. And right, we'll go to this one. We'll go to this one. This was one I read about in GamePro Magazine. This issue of GamePro Magazine thought, holy frick, that sounds amazing. How are they going to pull that off? Now, 25 years later, whatever it is, I'm finally playing it going like, oh, damn, this is actually really good. All right, we got to smash some fools all day. Smash them. Survivors escape when the walls around them are destroyed. Oh, we're actually saving lives. Good thing. I thought I was killing people. I'm just a deranged lunatic. Oh my god, Fred Couples has said, first, put on your pleated pants. Don't mess around. Then, put on your salmon-colored shirt. Subash, welcome to the Fred Couples Nation. You've been chatting, you've been killing it. Now you're part of the fold, all right? Fred Couples Nation wouldn't be the same without you. All right, uh, the second requires all survivors are dust. Total destruction. That's what I'm playing. I'm playing just total destruction here, and I'm getting paid. I'm making bank, forty thousand. I don't know who's paying me. Seems a little shady. All right, smash it. And this is the tune I'm listening to on the cassette player in my bulldozer. Ah, oh, frick. Digging it. Oh man. This is like a speed run right here, everyone. If you guys want to see some speed run strats, just uh, follow straight. Okay. Let's make it a little suspenseful. Is that the end of the level? Let's see if we can find another vehicle. Is there a button to zoom out? Yeah. Oh, damn! I got missile view. Is that me down there? Oh, there I am. Man, I got paid this round. Alright, now it looks like that's... Uh, Stop! No! Okay, get the F out of the car. Smashed it. Aced it. You're just trying to Speaking of speedrun streams, how often do you do your, uh... Do you stream your speedrun? Well, considering the only game I can actually, uh, speedrun is Silver Surfer. I beat that already. I don't know what is next. I'm thinking maybe I'll play some Ninja Gaiden. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. If I'm going to do speedruns now, the speedrun guys that play speedruns now, I got to turn this down just even a little more. The speedrunners for all the games that I can complete well, like without dying or or really quickly, are just robots. They're insane. If you look at the speedrun, even there was a guy that has a speedrun for Silver Surfer. It's the way he's playing it. It's like you've save stated your way through this and memorized the entire game. Like, see the way I play games, baby? It's just jazz, baby. I'm, I'm playing jazz. I'm like playing Ken in Street Fighter. Like, all right, I don't have a lot of moves here. I don't do a lot of damage. I need you to make mistakes. So that the way I play games, it's all like that. Like, what's the next move? What's the next move? So the runs that I would make would be more like no death runs. And they probably wouldn't be speed runs. Speed run Wildcats. I already did it, Grungy Nick. I gave away every code I had. Uh, some of us uh, like to practice, dog. Some of us like to practice. Yeah. Spe uh, Seabird, what, what is your speed run game? What do you speed run? I would like to do Ninja Gaiden. I would like to do Contra. Those games are so tight right now, and there's a lot of people playing them. Like, I I couldn't possibly get the speedrun. I could just beat it without dying, but do it with style. See, what I want is a new speedrun subgenre called a yap run. It's where you yap the entire time you're playing the game and still beat it without dying. Now, that takes some skill. All right, none of this concentration stuff, no. When I beat Silver Surfer, I had to do it yapping the entire time. All right. Subgenre. Look, look at that freaking lighting. Uh, I can't believe it. The shader on that guy. I've never seen shaders before. PlayStation doesn't have them. 
All right, speaking of speedrunning, update for the Fred Couples Nation. I managed to fly my dang ship out of the freaking starport. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna get our two-man uh, space uh, corp up at some point. I uh, I just put in. Uh, Another SSD drive. I have one of those really fast SSD drives, but I had it in a computer that I wasn't using. I just plugged that in and installed Star Citizen on it last night. So uh, I'm going to test that out, see if the game plays better. I want it to run at a good frame rate, because I don't want to stream it if it's not if it's not badass. I, I don't want to play it. I need it to be streaming and looking good. But I want to play it. Oh my god. What? No, I almost drowned my robot. Do I only have these two moves? Good sound effects. That was one thing that just blew me away when I saw the graphics for the N64. Was uh, Chrome Mario, and I think Zelda also had a Chrome guy in it. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, do, uh, buildings. Well, where the f are all the buildings? Oh man, I can rotate the camera. All right, this guy is a little slow. Get your ass in gear. I like how. Man, this would be perfect for, uh, like, leaderboards and stuff. Oh, it's the boxes I have to destroy? That is kind of a waste of a giant robot, if I do say so myself. Uh, seems like a bit of a waste. I think we could do a little better. Alright. Uh, typical space fuzz, yep. We're going, we're going to crack down on some numbskulls, man. Oh, man, I got the BC award. Hell yeah. All right, they got scanned by a cop. Uh, N64 shaders, yeah, that is a legit looking shader, man. Especially, we've never seen something like that before. This is like the first time. And Mario, you know, like the N64 is the first time anyone in the consumer level has ever seen a shader. What the frick? Speaking of speedrunning, it is. Uh huh. Okay, Seabird saying he's just speedran Super Mario 64 for the first time tonight. Whoa, 70 star run. Well, Tetsuo and you have to share some. Uh, Swap some strats, man, like some golf tips, like in uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. The weatherman's golf tip. All right, what? I didn't get anything else after. What the frick? But I got the BC award. All right, I guess they're forcing me to do. They're forcing it upon me. Is that oh, okay? Well, guys, I think we did a. I think we did a good service to this game. I'm gonna save this right now because I want to come back to this at some point. We have other games to play. It doesn't just end there. We're playing games from this issue of uh, Game Pro, and we got we got to get going. Now we don't need that transition anymore. We're done with that transition for now. Thank you very much. Now we just have to read, and we need some tunes. God damn it, Fred, he's on it. Yes. Oh man, he came in right in time. Oh my god. Oh man, the best solo, oh, solo, solo, the best guitar solo in all of video game history. Freaking Neo Turf Masters just ending? Not on my watch, damn it. Alright, it's back. Alright, that was the first thing that this magazine had in it. It was Blast Corpse. Or Blast Core, whatever we want to say. Whatever you want to say, I'm fine. Either way. Alright. We played that one last week. Love the NBA shootout games. Those are fun games. That's that's basketball done right on the PlayStation. I'll tell you that right now. Blast Corpse, he's saying. Alright. Well, because you know, it's like, uh, you know, an Army Corps. Marine Corps, spelled corpse. Or does it actually spe spell it corpse? No, it spells it like core. Could be either way. Probably corpse. Because I don't know if they would expect kids to be like, It's Blast Core! Cosmic Beard is saying core. Yeah, I would think because they spell it corpse, you're thinking core? But, yeah. Coming from someone who, uh, who used to say it as corpse. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. But now that we've got that taken care of, everyone. This is a podcast where we talk about nothing but uh, the pronunciation of N64 games. This is starting now. All right. Uh, well, technically, that PS1 can do the same effect. Can it? Wow. Uh, I don't know what games do it, though. I would like to know now, actually. Dogen, if you ever find out, you let me know. Because I'm going to forget. As soon as I move to the next page, I'm going to forget. Speaking of next page, guys, we're rolling deep on the N64. Now, what we're going to do... Wait, before we... We got to hear the solo first. That's good. Oh my god, that's good! Guys, that's a golf game. Neo Turf Masters is a golf game. Changing your mind about the golf games now? Hmm? Don't you feel silly? Hmm? The reason I want to check out Hexen on the N64 is because it does not look like the PC version at all. 
It looks like an N64 game. But we're gonna check it out. We have to. And for some reason I have to load up the... Dang it. I mean, I have it on my actual N64 right here in front of me, and my actual N64 takes me 30 seconds before it opens for some reason. I mean, before it turns on. Click. Alright, co-op and stuff. N64... Uh, Hexen on N64 is sweet, says Dogen. Alright, Hexen and Quate reboot when? Come on! Cosmic Beard is ready to just start cracking some skulls if you guys don't get your ass in gear. Alright, Dogen saying he's not a PS1 expert. Uh, Saturn boy. Did Saturn? Could Saturn do it, though? Mostly Saturn, but I know PS1 can do that effect. So it's a shader, right? I don't really know what shaders are. I hear the word a lot, but what exactly does that mean? Like, you could have just a... What is the difference between a shader and a bump map and a texture and uh, what is the other one there? A purple one, the one that looks purple. A normal map. What is all? What is a shader? Is it like all those things mixed together in like sort of just uh, like a preset format? I don't know. Oh man, Scooty, get in here, Scooty. Do I hear Turf Masters? Did you just like wander in? Turf Masters? Yeah. You're damn right you hear some Turf Masters. The biggest sprites in the history of the world, in my, if my memory serves me correct. That golf, those pleated pants were like 40,000 pixels, at least. A shader is like a programmable effect, says Dogen. Uh, a bump map is a type of shader. Oh, okay, so, okay. Not all animals are dogs, but all dogs are animals. I get you. Object-oriented. Smash those windows, Rad. Smash them! All right, we're gonna move to Hexen, and I'm gonna change back to retro real quick. That'll play, he says. The Cosmic Beard is now following. You know what? He thought about it for a second. He's like, you know what? I don't know. I gotta let this go. Gotta play it out. See if this guy's worth following. Hell frickin' yeah. Get the F in here. That's a frick. F for frick. Get the frick in here. That'll play. Oh, that'll play, he says. All day. He's saying, Scooty! He's like, this guy's gonna play some Neo Turf Masters. I'm in. That was the bar. You passed the test. All right? Okay, boys. Or girls. It's hard to tell on the internet. I don't know. Hey, friendly people in the chat. I stream every Wednesday and Sunday at 9.30 p.m. PST, and I usually go for like four hours at least. This show sometimes goes five hours. I'm up all night. All freaking night. That's why it's up late with Red. Sunday's the show where I go through Game Pro Magazine. Wednesday, anything goes. All right, it's Radland Raw. All right, I don't know what to do on Wednesdays. I don't even know what I'm going to do this Wednesday. We have a Discord as well, everyone. Feel free to hop in. Let me know what you want to see. I don't know what to do. I like to play some modern games on Wednesday. I'd like to start playing more modern games. Like Trial, or what is it? Honor and Glory, that's what I played last week. I was trying to put my own chat to sleep. You guys want to see what the a shot-by-shot -shot recreation of the Titanic looks like? Because I sure as heck do. We try and have a good time, though. It's just all improv jazz, baby. Keeping everyone happy. We're having a good time. I want the streams to be something you can also watch in the archives. So, I also archive them all on my YouTube channel. I will show you guys right now. I just want you guys to know, because here's the thing. This show especially, Sunday night show, it's not about me. It's not about what's going on here. It's about the month. May 1997. We're doing May 1997 right now. We go a new issue of Game Pro Magazine every week, every Sunday. Radland Rawr! This clad. It gets a little rowdy. So rowdy that I play a game where there's nothing in it except walking around the Titanic. And boat farts. The worst kind. And the only kind worse is submarine farts, but that's fine. That's a story for another time. Alright, so everyone. While you're here. That's my YouTube channel. Check it out if you want. I don't know. We're eventually going to get a new YouTube channel that uh, does not have a bunch of other crap on it. That's my old YouTube channel. I've been rocking that one for nine years. Uh, so we're going to do a dedicated YouTube channel. Fine. Alright, now I think. If you guys like. If you guys like the crew that you're seeing here. The best chat on Twitch, by the way. A boat part or a boat fart? Yong Street, you know we're talking farts. We always talk farts on the show. That's my Discord. I think the link is still good. Sometimes it rascals me and then just said, like, it's not good anymore. Um, now what we have to do right now, everyone, I just want you guys to know. We're gonna go somewhere, uh... We got some new people here, and I just want to give you guys a quick tour. Welcome to the VIP. Alright, everyone, now we're playing some games here tonight. We're playing May 1997. Tunes are just blaring behind us. The club is popping off. Fred, of course, is directing everyone back there. Now, this whole stage we're on right now, it's on a rotating set that Fred is controlling with a wheel like this. And man, is he doing a great job. I feel no inertia at all. It's amazing. 
We only drink Diet Pepsi caffeine free at this club. As soon as you come to the club, uh, you have to uh, give us your driver's license and we will hand you a big bottle of Diet Pepsi caffeine free. Um, that's mandatory. Sorry. That's, you know, what can I say? Uh, we like to play Street Fighter 2. We love it. Street Fighter 2 is a big deal here. We play a lot of fighting. There, there's Fred dancing in the back. Love him. The other thing you have to uh, worry about, the freaking maintenance man in this club, he's really trying to rascal us. I, you know, I'm not a big fan of that guy. Obviously, if you ever see him uh, during working hours, let me know. Um, he's a real rascal. He's been uh, lying about me on Twitter. I hate this guy. He's trying to get me shut down with activists on Twitter. He's been saying that I have been saying uncouth things. That's not true. I talk about my uh, enjoyment of 32-bit breasts. All right, I played... Tomb Raider. I played it, and you know what? It set me on my path. I said, holy frick, man. I'm a big fan. I like this. I like this in the most respectful way. Now I have a wife. Now I have a son. Okay? Maintenance man told me to put him back in. That's how much of a, a rascal he is. It's fricked. All right? So Fred and I, obviously everyone, um, Fred and I, we like to go to the dojo every night, five hours a night. We're just going back and forth. We're playing survival arts. And then we're playing freaking Street Fighter 2. Now, the maintenance man, I don't know how he did it. He snuck in here. It's locked. He snuck in here. This is an off-site dojo. I don't know how he found it. All right, he doesn't know where I live. He doesn't know where my dojo is. He found it and smashed my TV. That's a 70-inch uh, 4K TV right there. He smashed it. All right, so we're training. Fred's teaching me his own martial art. Fred Kwon Do. We're going to learn how to do rival dojo? Oh, man. I, I sure as frick hope not. He's got another thing coming if he's going to do that. It's no matter. No matter. Fred Kwondo is unbeatable. All right. We're going to find out how to smash him. It's going to happen at some point, but he is union at this club. I'm, I'm not really eligible to smash him. So we have to find some other alternative method. I don't know exactly how it's going to work. All right. Classic 4K, 4.3. Yeah, that's vintage. Yeah, it's, it's just a uh, custom order. Custom order. Uh, what's the game on the right? Uh, the game on the right is Survival Arts. It's an old game we played on stream. Um, let's actually, in my... Uh, I think on my about section... I have all of the last two seasons of the show archived, like showing you which games we played. So you can find it there and then f search that uh, episode on YouTube. Um, but Mongo, unbeatable. One of the best fighting game characters of all time. So Fred and I, that's all we do. Mongo versus Mongo, five hours straight. Sometimes we play Street Fighter. Sometimes. All right, that TV is with K. Done whiffed. All right, Mongo versus Mongo Briggs, yep. Yeah. I think I might even have a, a highlight video on my own channel for Mongo vs. Mongo. Not sure. Alright, let's quit messing around. Let's open the doors back to the club, everyone. We need to hear those tunes. Oh, God. Alright, now let's go back to reading the magazine and see what the heck is next. Oh, Hexen 2, that's right. Alright, we might as well just go straight here. Oh, my N64 is uh, a special one where you get to uh, see the game you're about to play. Or Hexen 1, sorry. It's a custom... I mean, I know the... I know Shigeru Miyamoto, personally, okay? And he gave me a custom one. All right, we got to turn off these golf course jams right the frick now. And we're diving back in. This is console Cold War. Just the start, man. I didn't play any N64 when I was a kid. Any! In fact, I was opposed to the N64. I need to turn it down. The N64 rolls hot, man. Jesus, frick. Oh, man, we're going to get hexed out of our minds. No! New game. Now I'm a sucker for the fighter, even though he starts with the stupidest attack. That's what we've been doing so far. I'm a warrior. I'm not a squire. Oh, that's new. That wasn't in the other one. That line across the screen is new. All right, pick up the mage, dude. He has a wand that shoots. Oh, frick me. And maybe I'll check the mage out. Uh, basically, all I want to do, all I want to play this game for. Oh my god, that is uh, very different looking. And I don't think there's a strafe. If there is, it's not one of the buttons I have configured. Oh, some baddies already. They want a piece? I'm gonna punch his guts out. Oh, no! Alright, smashed him. This is a weird game to have on the N64. Like, okay, it's early on. Mario, Mario Kart, Hexen, whatever. Alright, it's a little quiet now. I'm not, I'm not feeling... Alright, hold on a second. We can be louder. This game is a little quiet. All right, got to punch some baddies right now. Oh, man, triple triple combo. So the big thing that I want to show you guys is what do the window punching physics look like in this game? Because they were probably best in the biz on the PC. All right, bobbing, weaving. Nice hit, nice tactics. Yeah, I'm like uh, Jim Carrey in uh, Me, Myself, and Irene. 
when he's Hank. I don't remember the whole... Alright, gotta say, a little bit disappointed on the window breaking physics in this version of the game. So, I'll just spoil it. Later on in this issue, they talk about Hexen 2. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to play this game is because later on, we're gonna play some Hexen 2, and we're gonna see some of those hot, hot voodoo graphics. Alright, I guess I gotta go in the door. Let's go. I don't know how to open the door, so you just punch it? Open it that way? Alright. Those stairs. That is some N64-ass looking stairs if I ever saw it. Alright, your Fred Kwon is exemplary to Tetsuo. Yeah, this is... <laughs> we learned a lot about punching from this game. We do punch... We do window punches. Uh, in those uh, <clears throat> five-hour training sessions, we do window punches, yes. But they're only, uh, stained glass windows. Now, if you're not punching a stained glass window, you're really doing it wrong. Oh, man. Alright, 4v1. Maintenance man and all his cronies. You guys want a piece of this? I don't know who you're messing with. Oh, man, they cornered me. Ah, oh, frick, they know exactly who they're messing with. Ah, oh, frick! Alright, I punched my way out of that one. Not the first time in my life, alright? Not the first time in my life I've had to punch my way out of something like that. Alright, I'm whiffing. Alright, smashed him. There's a pile of bodies. Waist high. Alright, get the crystal vial. Punch the windows. Secret entrances. Smash him! Alright, the console Cold War is ending tonight. Open the door. Over under on there being a rascal in here. So far, so good. No rascals to see. Oh, rascals! No! Oh, rascal behind me, too? You guarantee it. No! Oh, sick moves. Reverse my car. I did a three point turn on foot. Oh, minimum 10 point turn. Oh! A lot of you don't know this, but this is actually a go kart game. You just happen to be punching while you're driving. Not a lot of go-kart adventure games. Uh, missed opportunity. Game industry. Frick. Alright, how do I use these flipping vials, man? Alright, that button? No. This button? No. That button? No. No button. Oh. Oh, lordy Jesus, no. Okay. All right. Oh man, Fred Couples put on his fuchsia salmon colored shirt, his pleated pants, and said that'll play. He said, "Guess what? Star Lad 91. He's not quite the Star Lord. He's just Star Lad, but that's fine. He's only 91 years old. He's gonna get there. He's working hard. Hey, welcome, welcome in. Oh, what a lovely, what a lovely peach. That's a Melmop peach. The very best. The Mackinac peaches. Where we like to talk about things in the 90s a lot, and that means Seinfeld." Whoa, we got the green key. No, oh, frick. Welcome aboard. Welcome to following the Fred Couples Nation. We do every Sunday and Wednesday, 9.30 PST. We go for a good four or five hours. Every Sunday we do Game Pro Magazines. One month at a time. We're on May 1997. Oh, get out of there. And of course, they're in the Game Pro Magazine. They're already talking. Oh man, two freaking sneaksters here. They're saying, guess what? Hexen just came out on N64, or at least it's being advertised. And I said, well, frick. A Fletcher. Fletcher? Oh man, I got twisted around. Oh man, the sneakster, how long has he been waiting in there? Thousands of years. And that was it. <laughs> was his big moment. Oh, Frank, I'm not ready! You got one shot, one moment, and you blew it. Oh, Frick. Do I have a jump? I do have a jump. Watch me jump punch this fool. The jump punch is the least utilized action move in video game history. Sick jump punch, bro. Oh, you gotta give him to that. I like that detail. Little tree leaves floating around. I thought they were rats at first. Alright, and god damn, look at that lightning. Right, it's a good thing we got the green key. Wait, can I punch more leaves off the tree? Missed opportunity. Whoa! Oh, I thought that was the Grim Reaper. Alright, sneaksters galore. Not today. You wait till I get that blue vial. You're screwed. You're fricked. Oh man! Oh man, punch his guts out. Alright, there is a lot of guys just screaming in here. Doors locked, apparently. Where the frick? Oh, there we go. Alright, the moon key has been pressed. Not today! Oh! No! Oh man, that guy took four hits. Or I just whiffed one. More likely, I whiffed one. 
I'm man enough to admit it. It is weird that they start the warrior, or the knight, or whatever I am, with nothing. Where's my stuff? I'm punching people the whole first half of the game. Alright, I've been lurking since you started today. Oh man, well thanks for, uh, you know, at this point he's like, alright, I'm in. I'm on board. Just a wee lad, 91. I assume you're born in 91. See, I'm Nornrad Tutu, but that doesn't mean I'm 22 years old. Or that I was born in the 22s. Oh, frick me! Alright, I gotta use my Fletchets. My Fletcher. Fletcher! No! There's no strafing. Uh, I appreciate you giving me the follow. You know, I'll, I'm gonna bring the juice. The juice is going to be brought every week. The follow will be worth it. Guaranteed. Alright. I don't know how I'm supposed to punch this guy. I can't, oh, frick. I can't look up. Oh, he done frick. I came to eye level. Oh, frick. All right, time to punch me a gargoyle. All right. I gotta admit, his punch is pretty lethal. I've been punching the heck out of people. All right, sneakster's over there. One sneakster. One frickster. It doesn't count on me, the master of fricking. I done fricked him. Something going on over there, Jesus. Right, I'm gonna go ring the bell first. Oh, I need the silver key first. Well, conveniently, I bet it's in that cave over there. All right, all right, all right. All right, Star Lad. Um, Wednesdays is where I do uh, anything goes. Or you've been watching. You heard, actually. I don't have to repeat myself. You know what's going on. Welcome to the stream. Uh, guys, just watching the show. That's the big deal. I'm trying to get partner. This year, 2021, I'm going partner all the way. I'm not going to I'm not going to take it anymore, Twitch. All right, we're going partner. Or we're or we're bolting. All right, giving you one year. I'm gonna become a YouTube streamer. What? What are you gonna do, Twitch? They're gonna miss out on all this hot diet Pepsi caffeine-free advertisement. You don't want that. Oh man! Oh no! All right, I don't want to get squashed. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, made it. Dead bodies galore. Open the door. Open the damn door. Right, what do we got here? Lots of cat calls in the club. Woo! Oh man, it's all for Fred. Men and ladies. All right, Norn was born in 22 BFC. Also, Norn is before Fred Couples. Uh, I I keep I've said it before. I'll say it again. That Fred Couples, you know, all he has to do is is pull the trigger. If he starts a religion, I'm acolyte number one. As of yet, he has decided not to start a religion. It's fine, Fred. Pull the trigger. Give the people what they want. Now we'll just take uh, pleated pants and fuchsia shirts. That's as, as good as a religion as I can imagine. Oh, I just took so much damage there. I'm hurt. Dudes, I'm hurt. All right, now that I'm down here, I don't know what the frick's going on. Punch this giant piece of poo. I don't know. Uh, this is as far as... Wait, no, there is something somewhere. Something opened up, right? It goes to that other area. Oh, frick. I'm gonna dodge this guy. Zip around. Oh, frick me! No, they're teaming up on me! They have no honor. Is there something in here that I gotta do? Oh, frick me! Get there! You get there! No, you gotta get there! Alright, we did it. Wait. Video games have taught me anything. There's something behind me. Ah... Uh... What the? Where the hell was this? Okay, forget it. All right, we did it. We smashed him. That's a nice transition. God damn. All right, should they be called Whiff Wednesdays? No. I would never whiff. It's a zero whiff minimum. The maximum is TBA. Minimum? We don't know. Or we know the minimum. Zero whiff is the minimum. Frick. Oh, okay, what did the game just say? Like, eh. Silence in the club, please. Silence. No talking in the club. Okay, you may talk again. All right, that's about as far. Eh. That's a good. Uh, that's that's fine for Hexen. Hexen, that's fine. Let's hear the song first. Are you ready to die? Not today, buddy. I don't like your attitude. That, that statue just move. 
All right, Hexen on N64. We've played it on PC. Now play it on your N64. All right, now we'll just click off that. Let's get the tunes going again. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, here we go. Frick. Had to rip this one from scratch. Dogen, I had to rip this one from scratch from Hoot Player. It's a good, it's a good jam, though. All right, lots of cat calls. Nora was born. All right, he's been lurking since you started today. Hexen's original title was Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Sneakster. Oh, man. I get one of those, then. If they're going to be sneaks. If they're going to endorse sneaksters, that's an elbow drop from the third story. Re-entry speed. Okay? I'll do it. Fred, that's one of the things we practice, all right? Fred's been showing me that move. Saving it for the maintenance man, but I'll do it to any sneakster. Let's go back to the magazine. Let's read the magazine. To these sultry tunes. Holy frick. All right, let's... I, I want to quickly see what they say about it. Welcome N64 users to the decaying world of Hexen. As a mage, cleric, or warrior, you are... You and three friends have about... This is ridiculously hard to read. Uh, the ability to go head to head. Oh man, that's rad. All right, that's all I need to see. I see the appeal now. I'm a Hexen boy. Guys, we played Turok at Target uh, a few weeks ago. Um, that was good. It, it's just a matter of getting the control set up because by default, I don't think they let you invert or uninvert. It's funny. Back in these days, the N64 and the PC games inverted means regular. Somewhere along the lines, inverted started to mean. Down is up and up is down. Yeah. All right. We played that too, and we did get our $40 in savings. Thank you very much. I did all three mail-in rebates. Oh, man. Final Fantasy VII is just starting to pop off. Just starting to pop off. It's out in Japan already. Why did we put up with that? I guess they had to localize it. Fair. That's fair. I guess that's what we... <laughs> solved it. Guys, uh, lower the rage. We've solved it. Doom 64, it's hard to play. It's so dark that it is impossible to play. It, like, dark as in the levels. It's like there's just black on the screen. All right, we one quartered. We didn't lose a single round, I don't think, in Clay Fighter 63 and a third, or, uh, uh, yeah, third. Last week, crushed it. Just took it to school. Played that one a few weeks ago. Good game. Quite good. All right, health advisory. Crusader No Remorse. Now, we're kind of lagging behind. I could play Crusader No Remorse if anyone has... If anyone has a big uh, love for Crusader, I'd check it out. But otherwise, we're just going to keep on rolling on. Ports of Hexen and Duke uh, 3D on N64 were neat at the time because they looked better than their PC original. That's, yeah, they looked... I don't know if they looked better. Uh, I know what you're saying, though. There's a look to them. Like a rendered look, right? Like the, the PC games looked jagged by comparison. But I still feel like the PC Hexen looked better to me. But maybe that's because I like pixels. That was the big thing. The N64 was like... No more pixels anywhere. All you see is a muddy gradient. Okay, well, that's fine, too. I kind of like the pixels. But that's fine. So, yeah, by that by that logic, that was by today's standards. Or, what, today, May 1997. That was 1997 standards. Really good graphics. Like, oh, man. That was those sick voodoo graphics, man. 3D FX. <laughs> like this. i just show you what the dead bodies look like in the game. What kind of world are we living in? Young Street saying, I played Crusader No Remorse. It has killer tracker music. Well, it's been on my list for a couple weeks. I could check it out. I know my friend Mark had this. He bought it, and uh, he let me borrow it, and I just couldn't I couldn't enjoy it. Like, I don't like this at all. But I do have a history. Guys, we have a history with Crusader No Remorse, and now we're playing it. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. It was cold. I mean, you can't go an hour and a half and still be cold. It is no longer cold, unfortunately. All right, we can go to the next track. I had to rip it myself, so I didn't I didn't give it a fade out. I had to manually do that. Or actually, Fred had to manually do that. I had to give him the nod. Okay. Just off camera. You guys can't see him. All right, Crusader, no remorse. I have no remorse for how much I'm going to crusade. It's a future crusade? Oh, wait, I can turn it up here. Right here. Okay, then turn it down here. Golf core jams galore. We like to keep the vibes exceptionally light. 
We don't like to go too heavy. I mean, I can play the Silent Hill soundtrack if you guys really want. I get a copy strike. Freaking. Was it Samael? What a rascal. No, we'll keep it light. Fred likes them. The crowd loves them. Everyone's just losing their mind to these tunes. Crusader, where the F are you? This part reminds me of Jeopardy. And by the way, can we just give a big shout out for the Price is Right theme song? That thing is amazing. Uh, I have no remorse. I'm I have no remorse for how long it's taken me to find this either. All right, let's play some games. God damn it! All right, we do not need you on the screen any longer. But what we need is boom. All right, we missed the. In oh man, I hate when I miss the BIOS screen. That's my bad. Ah, oh, it's my freaking bad. Oh, frick. I freaked up. Oh. All right, Crusader, the game gets repetitive real quick. I probably won't play this for more than five minutes. Uh, yo, shout out to that Price is Right theme, says uh, TM Base. It's one of the best, one of the all-time goodies. Like, it just keeps going. It's all over the place. No repeating on that track. Oh, damn. These hot graphics, hot rat graphics. Frick me. Oh no, in 21, 96.2 WEC at the Rebel installation base. Ah, there's rats down here. Oh, frick. We shouldn't let them go. Shut up, Peter. They were civilians, not rebels. You keep making noise and come in, we'll live. Did you see the shell casings? That wasn't a rebel ambush. That was a rat ambush. Oh, God, no. Alright, spin the spots is giving me the, the ultimate Fred couples. Looks a little bit like uh, Shadow, Shadowrun, but not good. Yeah. It's also isometric the same way. I can't stand these games. My brain doesn't work that way. Spot. Cool spot on PlayStation. Can't play it. I, I was supposed to play it like four issues ago. I have no confidence in these guys. Oh, frick. It's Ed 209. It literally is. This game had both a PlayStation and Saturn version in 97. It's around when people started to jump ship on Sega. Wow, yeah. Uh, I played this on PC. I've never seen the console version. Hope the music is, isn't gimp. We'll see. I think uh, the PC version looks better, but it looks like a PC game in this era. Like, the PC games didn't really have... Okay, well, let's just dive in. I'm watching this intro like, Whoa, hot CG graphics, man. Wait, we are no longer playing... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually do this right crusader. Wait, you know what I got to do in case there's some rascals that are like oh, I want to play Hexton This one's for the archive hey all you Hexen super fans we just played it you're gonna have to go back It's one one back just, just click back. It's fine. We're gonna move on. Oh This sounds like tracker music to me All right now we're gonna fix this crusader no remorse We'll see if this helps. I'm, I'm gonna do an experiment tonight that see if I get the chapters there. If more people view it, I don't know if that. I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't know if that's how. I don't know if that's how the internet works. All right, let's play the game. I don't need to demo anything. All right. All right. Price is wrong, Bobby. Poll ended. I don't know how. <laughs> Are you doing your own quips in there, Grungy Nick? <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Now you're gonna get it, Bobby. Having fun with my friends on the internet all the time. <laughs> a mama's boy. Do we just dare have no remorse? I told you guys, I don't have any remorse. I'm going full difficulty. And we're going to do this game speedrun right here, right now. After we watch this hot Rebcom 5 intermission. First, let me say welcome to the resistance, Captain. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you realize that Central thinks FMV. Spy, but I've reviewed your debriefing tapes and okay. I have a hunch that I understand what makes you tick. Oh, you think so, do you? Enough so that I've persuaded Central to give you a chance. All right. Well, I appreciate one the uh, faith. To prove your sudden change of heart. Maybe misplaced once they see your how hard the game is on no remorse mode. Consortium refinery offline. Wanted to keep it clean, says Grungy Nick, so I used the TV dub and joke from Happy Go Mart. You there and provide you with a security <laughs> card that will allow you entrance into the facility. Uh, Your principal ob All right, let's play the goddamn game. Loading. You know what? I have the means. I'm just gonna. 
We don't have to sit and watch loading. Not here. Not on this stream. Here we go. All right, tank controls. Oh, frick. No remorse. I don't have any remorse for this. Well, if I had remorse, I wouldn't have killed that guy, but I don't. Can I... Does that do anything? All right, we can probably turn this up. What was this guy working on that was so important? That's what we need to find out. I got a jump button. Hot, hot jump physics. It's not a not a great game. I don't actually like this game. It doesn't play very well. Even on the PC, it didn't play very well. Right, here we go. Get going. All right, baddies galore. Surrender. I'm not, yeah, right. Oh man, he can shoot me around the corner? Frick him. All right. Not looking so good, everyone. I need some health and I need a bat. Oh no! All right, we got him, smashed him. All right, is that a camera? Got it. Hot explosion graphics. Oh, we fricked up. Oh man, I can shoot over the cabinets. All right, that's not bad. All right, what happened in the music says Yong Street. Yeah, is this not the way it sounded on the uh, PC? Oh, they're like, you know what happened to it? We done got some acid base. We are, we are, we are, we are. Oh man, I got cover mechanics? You guys know that my arch enemy on this show is doors. I don't even know how I did that. When I get to the next door, I won't even know what I did. All right, well we got through the door. We're gonna make it. This guy wants a piece, I wanna give it to him. All right, we really righted the ship. Now we're just kicking everyone to the curb. Oh, not today. All right, I don't have any remorse. That, oh, that sneakster. Yeah, you know, as soon as I turn my back, he's gonna, oh, frick. As soon as I turn my back, he's gonna come after me. That's what a sneakster would do. Um. L1 and then triangle opens the door. They don't give you any awards for that. And here we go. Oh, not today. I have no remorse about that killing. I know society wants me to have remorse for it, but not today, damn it. I have no remorse for killing these uh, cleaner bots as well. Did we solve the game? What does this thing even do? All right, I got one spider bomb. Uh. Oh, I'm picking up credits from dead bodies. Oh hell yeah! This is kind of like Shadowrun now. They're gonna call them credits. Now we're talking Shadowrun. All right, time to go loot the bodies. Yeah, get some ammo, yeah. Yeah, CDs. I was worth it. I oh, only had seven credits on him. How much is your life worth? All right, uh, seeing as how I have no idea where to go next, I might just have to turn the game off. Uh, dang, this looks like it had so much potential. Yeah, once I got over the initial shock of the control being kind of like really weird, um, I could see where the appeal comes from now. Oh man, that's refreshing. Oh frick, man. Oh man, we just play for these tunes. All right, what happened to the music? Yeah, this is a little whiff. Yeah, this is the whiff, the whiff down version. Uh, like if I saw this game back when it came out, I, I'd totally be dying to try it out. Yeah, this was the game back in the day. You'd think like, whoa, frick, man. PC music is freaking killer, though. Maybe I'll just check it out real quick. 
maybe we'll just check that out. See if we can do it. I know I've tested it out on PC, so the controls are way worse on the PC. Because not because of the game, but because um, when you try and emulate something on PC like that, it's like, well, we don't know what you're doing. Everything back in the day was on the arrow keys. Like, oh no, Jesus, no. To be fair, says Grungy Nick with music notes. I mean, for now, we're just gonna jam to these uh, sick golf tour, golf core jams. I want, I want to hear these tunes now. Yong Street on notice. If these tunes do not melt our brains, that's a whiff. That's one whiff minimum. No pressure. I'm actually excited to hear some tracker tunes. Crusader. No remorse. If he has too much to drink, he'll wet the bed. He'll pee all over me. I know it. All right. This originally came out in 1995. Well. Well, well, well. Uh, this could go real wrong real quick. This was not tested. We did not test this. Um... DOS? Is that what I want? What? I said play the damn game. Uh, this is Operation Crusader. That's not what I want. Get off my screen. I want Crusader No Remorse. God damn it. And, oh, here's the tough one, Yong Street. Is it Sound Blaster or Gravis Ultrasound? This is, this is where we're going to get in trouble here. Here's the music to save you trouble. I like that they have Sound Blaster. Sound Blaster just means like, hey, guess what? It's going to have some FM. We're going to do some FM. Uh, Gravis Ultrasound. I don't know what that is. Is that what uh, Duke Nukem used? Oh, wait. No, that's Duke Nukem. That's Doom. That was Duke Nukem. God damn it. We're going to go Gravis Ultrasound. Running with full installation. Sound Blaster will work, work better. Ah, oh, frick. I like those graphics better, actually. I like that they're, uh... Um... They got scan lines. That was the Duke theme, TM base? Okay. What was the Doom theme, then? Oh, Doom was... Oh, is this gonna have full motion video too? Why am I Why am I even subjecting you guys to that? Oh, that does look a bit better, does it not? To be here? Oh, frick! Where do I aim? Oh my god! Gotta slowly cinch it in. Holy Jesus! I feel like I'm Neo in the Matrix right now. Where the hell am I aiming? Oh Jesus! Oh! God damn it! Holy frick! You know what? This is not loud enough for me. Welcome to the club, everyone. God damn it. Yeah, what, how did they get away with the music in the PlayStation version being so lame? God damn it. Hell, the game. Everyone's just killing it in here. Oh, frick! Oh, man! Oh, man, ride the wave! You know what we need? No, not those. Wait, they can come up. Oh, man, this is gonna be the build up, everyone. God damn. Oh, it's got so dark. God damn it. Just wait, wait for that bass to drop. He's gonna wait. God, here it comes. Oh my god, it's gonna drop so hard. Oh god! That is hitting hard. Man. Oh 
god goddamn I'm gonna become one of those DJ channels that always get advertised to you when you click on Twitch. And this will be it. Oh frick! Alright. Oh frick. God, I can just keep going, but I'm not. Or am I? Oh frick. <laughs> Star lads, just give me the Ricardo. Intruder. Just one water and a seven dollar sugar free Red Bull for my girlfriend, please. Oh God! I mean, we need jams like this at our club. What the hell? All right, you know what you just did, Yong Street. You know what you just did. This is now going on my playlist. We're gonna have this song in the club now. That's a fact. Oh god. I hope you guys know I'm goddamn serious. Oh, Fred is dancing his guts out back there for Alfred. Oh man, they're they're killing it out there. I wish I was out there. I got a show to run. I got a show to run. Fred's got it covered. Keep dancing, Fred. Don't stop, buddy. Alright, let's get back and read some magazines. Frick! Let's open the door first. Frick! Oh, God! Alright, that was insane. Our tunes do not stack up anymore. Our tunes are so pale. That was Crusader No Remorse, goddamn. Alright, Fred Couples and Tino Music Collab win. Tino! What up, there, 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 there. Frick, I love Tino. Alright. Hey, we got a show to do. This is a deadly serious show. We're right at the goddamn start, too. I think I swallowed some fluff while I was doing it. Right on the tongue. Jesus. Uh, the Duke and the Doom theme were both done on the Roland 32 MIDI device. Yeah, yeah. You can buy that, can't you? Roland MT32. And you can use it as, like, a synth. Alright, uh, I don't know what they're talking about here. There was something... Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys haven't reviewed a CDI game since 1995. Why hasn't there been anything uh, else about the CDI games? I've been looking for more. You're gonna have to get a specialized magazine for that. Uh, Sweetwater, that's his name. No one is playing the CDI, all right? Didn't you just see what we played? We played Hexen on N64. You think we're gonna play Zelda on CDI? No, that has been permanently reserved for people that are doing streams where they're trying to play weird games. Tino Couples. I'd listen to it. Oh God, look at this kid. My God. Victor Watts just getting boobed out of his mind. I ain't hating it, Victor. Big fan of what you've done here. My son wouldn't be here otherwise. I don't know if this is Virtual Fighter 3 related. And obviously he's just copying this from something else. But he had to do that on the envelope. Can you imagine sending that envelope? I'd, I'd feel a little embarrassed. She fine, Johnny. I forgot. Yeah, you're ahead of me. <laughs> it's written on her shirt and it's actually appropriately uh, warped. Alright. So they're saying, you know what? Obviously you copied that. We're giving the big award to this uh, Blood Omen kid. Probably the right call. Is she fine? Alright, CDI was awful. My dad's friend had one and all they have or had was uh, How to Golf Encyclopedia. Sounds amazing. I bet you Fred Couples was in it. I'll have to, I'll have to ask him. That's Yong Street saying that, by the way. Alright. Oh, and this is kind of not the best. This looks like something I would have drawn back in the day. Yeah, frick yeah, man. Oh, frick, man. I can't give you my address. Does this have their address on it, or are they blurring it out? Look at this kid, too. Oh, man! I love knights. It's my favorite. I'm not making fun of the drawing. I'm making fun of knights being someone's favorite. It's worth drawing. Guys, we played that last week. Beat it in one quarter. Didn't lose a round. You're looking at the world's premiere... Uh, Freaking fighting game expert here, which by the way, I need to. Is there any fighting games on this? I usually talk about what games I'm gonna play, but it ended up just taking too long. Oh, that's right, <laughs> we're gonna play some Mortal Kombat 4, uh, and possibly even just spoiling it, uh, Vampire Savior, a Darkstalkers game. Uh, that's Knight's ASMR drawing, though. <laughs> that's not bad. 
We need a sexy Ron Ron fan artwork. Oh man, that's a... What was that? Uh, Battle Arena Toshinden URS edition? Ron Ron? I mean, she was sexy enough. You don't need to sexify her anymore. Whew. Jesus. Oh, there's BM himself. He's having a good old BM. It, the, being kicked is incidental. Grundy Nick saying, Vampire Savior. It's a little further in. It's the arcade version. We'll, we'll go ahead. We'll skip. We'll get going ahead. I didn't read any of these. Maybe there's something funny. Uh, your ad for Tomb Raider system appears on uh, issue. Apparently shows a grenade. Two grenades. If you know what I'm saying. I mean, it's been a long time since we've seen this picture. My son would not be here otherwise if I did not see this picture back in the Game Pro days. We didn't have Playboy, okay? We had Game Pro, Game Pro Magazine. That was it. Ma if you took the Kmart flyer into your room, your mom would be like, what are you doing? No. This was it. And they knew. And they're like, don't worry, boys. We got you. The game industry was different back then. And I was the perfect demographic for it. Frick! Now I have a son. Now I have a son sleeping peacefully in the other room. I'm seeing him on his monitor. Oh, man, he looks peaceful. He's two years old. Oh, yeah, I guess we have three fighting games to play. You know what? We do have to play this one because it has a hilarious character in it called uh, Ten Count. Every week we Laura Croft, uh, Lara Croft, and we love it. Love the grenade in the ad. Two grenades. All right. We had Game Pro and the Sears catalog. My mom would have been curious. What are you, where are you taking that? Uh, eat more cheese is saying, look at this stand-up comic with the brick wall. It was in the, oh. It was in the pre-made thing that I used to render this. It said stand-up or late night show. Actually worked really well. I do have to fiddle around with them though. That TV was not there. I had to put that there. High level maneuvers. All right. I heard Tomb Raider. <laughs> Where's the shirt stretch? Oh, Tomb Raider. Uh, don't worry, frame chasers. We got you. It's a, it's not even full page. Half a page. Quarter of a page. There you go, bruh. Goddamn. And the other thing was, everyone, this was high tech back in the day because they were actually rendering the shirt stretching. Okay, now oh, you're like, oh man. That is so sexist, and I cannot believe that you would ever do that. That's the way shirts go when you got big old breasts, and they're stretching a tiny little shirt. Now, when Laura Croft started her excavate, or exca, expedition, excavating, no, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. When she started, though, all right, she was smaller. She done grew. Are you guys going to shame her for growing? She happens to like that shirt. It's a thick shirt. She likes it. It's well, the fabric is thick. All right? This kid goes and, goes and draws these letters in the line of the breasts, all right? That's a detail. You're gonna draw them flat across there? Hmm? What's the point in having breasts if you're gonna do that? A uh, maintenance man is trying to get me shut down with frickin' Jack Thompson and stuff. Get out of here. Ah, uh, sup, eat more cheese! Don't, eat, eat some more cheese. Tomb Raider shader shaming, that's right. You gotta, it, the thing is though, imagine if there was, um, like an archaeological dig lady with the exact same body type and you had a bunch of people going like God damn it put a put a poncho on lady now they're actually shaming her for her body because people are like whoa this guy's a big old boobs whoa I mean not to her face but that's what they're whoa and then guess what they go home and they're like I'm gonna have a baby we're gonna have a baby we did it that is life that is life you're giving life all right and there's people out there, maintenance man, saying like, put those two things away, ma'am. You hear spreading life around? No. We're doing the opposite of that. We're like Thanos with the freaking snapping. Half the universe, gone. I want them gone. 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 The opposite of that is more breasts in our lives. He doesn't flip the script, everyone. We're doing it the wrong way. Bring them back. In fact, we should just say like, hey, no, that would be bad too. I was going to say like, oh, you see someone well endowed to say hey you should go do an archaeological dig no because then you're doing the same thing you're like hey i'm looking at you and i'm putting you into a category because of this thing no we don't do that we say hey if you happen to have that we would never say don't we would never say that go ahead and go on go save the universe when was the last time you saw that that's because they all get shamed by the maintenance man like oh man i could really go for saving the universe right now but I can't i'll get in trouble the maintenance man won't let me it's like dirty dancing. It's like freaking 
Not Dirty Dancing. Oh, maybe a little like Dirty Dancing. No, I was thinking more like, uh, frick, what's the t Kevin Bacon dancing movie? Footloose. It's like Footloose for breasts in here. Maintenance Man is off his rocker. All right, let's play this game. Let's see 10 count and we'll, we'll go in and we'll go out. I was trying to beat the game with the character so I could unlock 10 count, but I couldn't put, Boo Blue Sisk <laughs> Briggs. That's a movie I would watch. That's a movie everyone needs to watch, actually. They're so, you can't look at those breasts. You can't even talk about those breasts. All right, well, imagine all the people who won't be having little baby boys as a result, hmm? Boys or girls. All right, we're just wasting time here. Battle Arena Toshin 10 3. I rented this one back in the day. They got me. I think I rented all the Battle Arena Toshin 10 games, and they're not very good. That's fine. I'm not going to shame them for not being good. I would never do that. Battle Arena Toshin Den, I would never shame you for that. You just be as good as you want to be. You don't have to be any better. No need to be any better. No pressure. Let's get in. Let's see 10 count, and let's get out. Move over, Alex Jones. Nornrad is where it's at. Frick loose! Uh, they? Them? The government? They're the ones telling you to hold in your farts, okay? Not here. Not at this club. If you go hold your farts in at this club, you're out. You're banned, all right? We have the technology. Infrared all over this place. Everyone, their gate is recorded the second they walk in. If we see anyone with a weird gate, we know they're holding in farts. You're banned. You're banned before you can even squeeze it out. We're going to be watching you, okay? Every fart you hold in takes a day off your life. That is a public service right there. You come to this club. The bathroom has nonstop fart sounds playing at full volume on our speakers. Music. <laughs> Fart sounds. That way you can fart fancy free in the bathroom. Alright. Alright. Alright, renting was a good call. No Ron Ron, no sales at Johnny. Where the hell's Ron Ron? Imagine coming back to this, you're like, alright, Ron Ron. Sweet. Info whiffs. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, everyone subscribe to my newsletter on infowhiffs.com. Alright, we don't need to watch that. They're sticking with that sound effect, too. It's good, just give it a chance. Uh oh. I like uh, Nagisa, because he just brings a gun to the fight. All right, a little loud, goddammit. He's got to frame kiss the yellow. All right. And I think no matter what, they make us fight 10 count. They really want... It's just Michael Jackson. Surprise, everyone. It's Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, the club has sophisticated HVAC system uh, to cycle the air, and the methane is used to convert to biofuel to power the club itself. You, you farting saves the planet. That is fact. 100% fact. You guys ever uh, wanted to just shoot Michael Jackson? As this game thought, what if? I like how they give you a little uh, bullet counter there at the bottom. Yeah, he actually does. Now, here's the fun thing, everyone. He's freaking moonwalking. Uh, he's not, an, not a character you get by default in the game. You have to unlock him. But the character you have to beat the game with to unlock him is the game's... Ryu, EG or whatever, the main character. So they wanted you to play as this guy so bad that they're like, okay, we'll just make him the default character. I just shot him like 50 times. If you guys, uh, this is, uh, I'll be going to Evo later this year, 2021. Uh, we're going to be playing this on the main stage. I'm just going to tell you guys right now. Here's the pro strategy. No one can stop you. All right, well, they can, they can attempt to thwart your uh, low kicks, but they will never succeed. All right. Four hit combos all day. All right, here. I'm just showing this for your benefit. Indignities to the dead. All day. This is comical. Just <laughs> saying that about... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a really intense technology. No expense was spared on this show, by the way. Uh, damn, you're going Mongo on that fool. Yeah, this is almost a Mongo level character. And for some reason, they make you fight all the hidden characters first. In the same order, apparently. <sighs> Michael Jackson versus Steven Seagal in Steven Seagal's final option. Ready. Ready. Whoa, freaking Cloud. Cloud's sword. Cloud called. He wants his sword back there. Dow. Oh, man, we got Stevie Wonder on base here. Or Clav Clavinet. Clavinet. <laughs> All right, Evo 2021. I'll see you there, everyone. Main stage. Smashed him. I like how you can give him two special moves before he even gets up. Oh, he's going to roll around like a maniac. 
All right, kill him. Pretty good tune. Oh, get out of there. I'll oh, see that sick. Look at that forward thought I had. I'm playing 4D chess here, and Dow is just blowing it. Come on, you reload your gun. All right, now we're doing it. There's a button to reload the gun, but I don't remember which one it is. This one? No. Oh, man, no! All right, we'll smash this fool, and then we'll move to the next level. Oh, man, he need me in my face! Uh, it's just a warning shot. <laughs> like how it tells you. Oh, by the way, it's arcade mode. Guns blazing, bruh. All right, we don't need to play more of that. It is not especially great. That's fine. We did our service to the game. We've now played all the all the versions of Battle Arena Toshinden have been played on this show. I'm proud of that. I feel pretty good about that, everyone. Now, let's get some golf core tunes going again. What the hell's wrong with us? Oh, we don't have golf core here. We have gym power, mutant force. Slap bass, slapping that bass. Sony slashes the PlayStation price to 149. Damn, that was quick, and that was wasn't it 299 when it came out? Yeah. And these guys sitting here thinking like, and by the way, it's gonna go to 99 dollars. When was that projected? 97? I don't think so. All right, Vandal Hearts played the first level last week. Love this game. I just want to play this game again right now. Anyways, I won't. Jim Power says TM Base. Loving the base, by the way, he's saying. Alright, guns blazing, Michael Jack. Okay, we're going on. I have never had a taste for the descent games. I uh I don't have a taste for them. Even with new throbbing strobe stroboscopic light source shading effect. That was the whole thing. They're like blast processing? You mean just the regular processing speed that this thing goes at? No, it's blast processing. No, it's throbbing stroboscopic light source shading. Oh, I need to check that out. What else does it say? More than a dozen weapons, high impact, non-stop subterranean action. Did they find another cave to go through? Jesus, descent. All right, the internet in the 90s. Are they just giving people's emails away? Right, I sure as hell hope not. You got a lawsuit on your hands, buddy. VMX Racing, once again. If I have nothing to play later, I might play it. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep on going. That's a, an interesting ad. Mel Gibson covered in mud. We have determined. Oh, god damn. We did play the demo game. The demo disc that came with Tobal number one, we played for Final Fantasy VII. I, tr I don't usually play RPGs on this show because, god damn it, they take forever to get started. So I have to play them beforehand and then save a state and then go in and check them out. It takes forever. But I do want to read a little of this, everyone. The announcement that Final Fantasy VII would appear for the PlayStation sent shockwaves rippling through... Oh, wait, I'm... Let's go back to... We're not playing Crusader anymore. Yeah, we're just in retro. Welcome back, retro fans. In the VOD. All right, Mud Max. Johnny, you killed it. You crushed it. See, I can't think... I can't think of good stuff like that. So I got the chat. Best chat on Twitch. They want to give us a award. I said, don't give us an award. We're too humble for that. But secretly, you can also give us that award. All right, Muddy Mel Gibson, once a, yeah, once a month for like four months in a row. All right, rippling through the Japanese video game community. Uh, it marked the end of Square's longtime association with Nintendo and the beginning of a new era with Sony. And that's what started the con... That is actually what started the console Cold War. Final Fantasy going uh, Sony exclusive. Because I was a Nintendo boy up until the day they announced that. I was like... Nope, 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 nope. I just walked across the border. I was in North Korea at the time. Or no, I was in South Korea. I just walked into North Korea. I said, I'm just walking in. I'm going in. That's as far as you should read into that analogy. Because I did not suddenly become a communist. No, but I did. I crossed the demilitarized zone. I said, I'm done. Okay? I don't care how many guns you have on this border. I'm done. One step over. I said, that's it. I'm now with these guys now. Hmm? Sony for life. Just like Nicole forever. I tattooed that on my chest like Marky Mark in fear. Sony forever. Right next to my high octane tattoo and my 1 million RPM minimum tattoo. Started there. I'm going to get them on my face eventually, but not yet. Just here. It's a big, big thing. It's a big production. I'm, uh, I'll save you guys the. It's fine. All right. Sold over 2 million games in just three days. How do they even have that many discs? Uh, just take them everywhere. They must add sackfuls, not boxes, sacks. Here's one for you. 
All right, three CD RPG. That also, man, when they said it was three CDs, I'm like, the future, man. You know how much value you're getting for your 70 bucks? Three CDs, what the frick? All right, the story focuses on Cloud, a former soldier, and his compatriots in a terrorist organization. Wow, they just went straight for it. Things were a little different pre-9-11, you know what I'm saying? I mean, dudes, if you even watch movies pre-9-11, like right before 9-11, we had a real carefree attitude. I died that day, just gone. And I'm not even being silly right now, just dead. And now I will make it silly so that you can feel good about yourselves again. Watch American Pie 2, I think. That was one of the last movies I can think of that was pre-9-11. Um, and I only know that because the Twin Towers were in the background of one of the shots where he calls uh, his Swedish girlfriend. I forget her name, actually. She really dropped off the map. But the fact that they were still there, I was like, this was before? Whoa. That's the exact attitude we had. If you guys want to know what the 90s were like, it was like a hockey stick of like, we're just having a great time, walking around, looking around, having great times. And then it was like, guess what? Cold hard reality. Frick. That's not even funny. That's just, that's actual commentary I'm saying. Things done change. There's a couple things, events in my life that changed me forever. That was one of them. I'm not even American. That was still one of them. Jesus. Just bringing down the own straight, my own stream. Frick. But anyways, that's what, that's why I know at some point, weren't they banning the sale of the uh, greatest hits version of this game because of its link to terrorism in the opening mission? You blow up the Shinra building. Like, yeah, okay, technically they're terrorists, but it's in a, like, like a dictatorship, uh, like a techno dictatorship, isn't it? I guess in that case, you flip the roles, right? You should have just called, you really, in this thing, they should have just called them resistance fighters. That's what they do now. Oh, they're for the rebels, the resistance. Eh, they're usually all still. They're also called eco-terrorists. Yeah, Greenpeace was like, oh man, frick, this game's our jam. Shinra was up to some bad stuff, I'm pretty sure, right? I don't know what the whole thing was with... Uh, Genosha, or whatever it was. All right, they had to move it to 2002 uh, because it's for the environment. Phone booth was like that. Oh man, wow. Yeah, there's there are a lot of things, little things like that. that you didn't think about it. We didn't even have that spot in our brain reserved, and it took a while for it to like etch itself in there. Like everything done changed. They also did that. Okay, the other thing that affected my life was when a. Uh, one of the bridges in Vancouver called the Portman Bridge suddenly became a toll bridge. I'm like, I use that bridge every day. What the frick is going on? And so I, from that day on, never took that bridge again. I went 20 minutes out of my way to go the other way. Never paid a toll for it for like eight years until they took the toll off. I'll take it all the time now. And I can feel good about myself because I didn't actually use the bridge. So I didn't have to be like, you're using it, but you're not paying. Starlight, yeah, Vancouver boy. Well, I'm not technically Vancouver. I'm in the outskirts. I'm in the suburbs on the other side of the Portman Bridge. Um, yeah, never paid for that Portman Bridge. Not gonna do it. I'm gonna take the Patello Bridge. Thank you very much. And that thing is congested as frick. All the way in southern Ontario. Oh, well, it's quite a ways away. I'm, I'm thinking, like, you'll know what the Patello Bridge is, right? No. It's, a, it's like a f even older than the Portman Bridge. Two lanes of traffic. You have to, like, frick! You gotta redline it, white knuckle it across that thing. And you start thinking about the side of the bridge. You're like, frick, I'm so close. What if I just nudged over to the side right now? What would happen? Frick, 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 frick. Don't do that. The whole Patello Bridge would fall apart. Anyways, yeah, it's weird that they call them terrorists. Okay, uh, but in like a totally normal way. Like, ah, it's some terrorists. Fighting a corporation though. You don't, you know, corporations are bad. All right, uh, but here's where I wanted to, you remember last week we were talking about Anaconda came out last month, 1997, April. And the snake graphics in that blew me away. I'm like, man, we are next level snake graphics now. We, the snake graphics have never been better. Carry that forward. We're watching the trailer for it on TV still, probably when I'm reading this magazine. And now I see this goddamn snake. Holy frick, that looks amazing. That snake looks insane. Snake graphics were finally coming into their own. All right, new gameplay. The base gameplay design remains true to the Final Fantasy series tradition. Now, the big change is the casting of magic spells. Oh, yeah, you tick the materia. You equip the materia. That was a nice touch. I liked how anyone could cast spells a lot. Final Fantasy VI did the same thing, too. Yonk Street Snakesters, they get one. They definitely get one. All right, oh, man. Uh, romance, adventure, terror, inspiration, humor. This game actually was funny. I laughed out loud a couple times in this game, especially when you're supposed to do that marching parade in uh, the, the Midgar. If they'll like follow the line. I blew that so bad. I started just pushing people out of the way by accident. I'm trying to walk in line. Pushing people out of the way like 
you're trying to be inconspicuous. For those that don't know, you're supposed to be like on the run or something. I don't remember, but you're dressed up as a soldier going through this huge parade. You have to uh, blend in. You are not blending in. You're pushing other soldiers. Like imagine North Korea. One of the soldiers is accidentally notch knocking into people and knocking them off path. It would not fly. The music is funny too. So especially that Chocobo theme when you're doing Chocobo racing. Am I right? Now here's the thing I find funny. Romance. I was too young for it. I know there was some sexual innuendo and some romance in this game. I took Red 13 on the gondola ride. I have no regrets. Alright, bowling into people is actually how you get points, oddly enough. What? I thought if you did it perfectly, you would get like a secret item or something. God damn it, look at the graphics in this game. Especially in this magazine. It's hard to tell, but that looks like the best graphics you've ever seen. As a kid, I don't know what the difference is between rendered and not rendered. So I'm just thinking, why is this game able to look amazing? Every other game looks like garbage. Look at the lighting here. They actually have lighting. Where's that other one? This one! Oh my god, look at the lighting! You look at that. That That is the kind of thing that's just, it's gold. In your magazine, you look at that and go like, why am I playing freaking Toshinden 3? I should be playing that. God damn it. Alright, fantasy come true. Uh, what? They give it a 4.5 in control. Alright, pre-rendered. Or pre-rendered, yeah. Wait. Rendered and pre-rendered. Pre-rendered means it isn't rendered yet, Clad? Am I getting my terminology all messed up? Alright, dating Barrett is yee! Alright, the music's funny too. Uh, running into folks is how you get... Is your favorite thing to do in Yakuza 0? Man, I want to start playing the Yakuza games, Briggs. Because they're just fun. They're fun to dick around in. I, as of yet, have never played one. Um, little blown away by this not a perfect 5 rating. Do they explain where they don't like the control? Because this game controls fine. Doesn't it? Did you, Nobuo Yamatsu create the sound effects as well? Free sound was superbly crafted sound effects and a string soundtrack. What? I didn't know he was a sound, uh, sound effect guy. I have respect for that. I make sound effects for the games I work on. It's like a whole different, you have to become a different music guy. You can't even, you're not even the same person when you're doing the sound effect. It's like a whole different, whole different ballgame. They render it into a 3D program that converts it to a bitmap like Donkey Kong Country. Oh. You get a weapon for a perfect score, but you can buy it later on, says Grungy Nick. Oh my god, if only I'd known. It's better to go for the HP plus at 80 points. I love how you know exactly what's going on. I only remember I botched it and was like, frick, should I restart? Nah. I just remember laughing hysterically at how badly I was botching it. I love all those uh, directing in the game was really good too. Like when you're on the train, the different uh, uh, perspectives. Oh, the bike scene. Holy smokes. That game is awesome. That's a five across the board. I don't know what Game Pro's problem is. They done fricked up. Now we played MDK. We don't need to play it again. We went deep on MDK. I like this level though. That looks, graphics look crazy here. It looks like I'm in Lawnmower Man or something. All right, game works. Yeah, there was a late '90s big push for more arcades. We had one in BC called Palladium, and uh, my stepdad worked at a printing press. Uh, printing newspapers and uh, they had coupons in them that didn't say one per customer so he just printed out a bazillion I had a whole like stack of them so I brought my two friends Mark and Lee down to Palladium and we played the crap out of games for an entire day it was awesome all right Final Fantasy 7 says Travis our TM base was a life-changing experience if you were the right age when it came out hell yeah I was 13 14 if blew me away that was the perfect game the perfect game for that age because it had just a they had they were dropping the s-bombs all day freaking barrett had a potty mouth on him, a real commode mouth and you're seeing that on the screen when like am i gonna get in trouble for playing this game like i don't know if they know that they sold me this game all right and sexual themes whoa and freaking tifa she fine Aerith can get the f out of here Aerith, Aerith. i don't remember what she was called in the west version she can get the f out Tifa all the way. Alright. They made her breast jiggle in the uh, celebration. Now I have a son as a result. You can see the breadcrumbs. The trail of breadcrumbs that lead to my son being born. It's all breast related. Those efforts. Do you think they heard me? Tifa, fine lady. Are those FUD ruckers? Uh, do you think they heard me? I don't know. Did they hear you? Tailspin, I don't know what you're referencing. Gameworks near my house. Oh man, is it an actual place you guys know of? 
GameWorks is near my house for several years and was still relevant all the way into 2010. They called them barcades, right? Oh, okay, Palladium was more of like a legit arcade, but it wasn't, it, it was like an arcade that was, it was like a uh, barcade without the bar. Like, I think it was still a restaurant, but not like Chuck E. Cheese. I can, it was for more uh, adults as well. It was the only place I ever saw with the arcade machines where you could kick the soccer ball into the bottom of the machine for some reason. All right, let's get back here. Oh man, I like how they, they have such high hopes for Mortal Kombat Annihilation at this point. They don't realize what it turns into. I never saw it in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I watched a couple minutes of it on something and was, I couldn't, I, even as a fan, I couldn't watch it. A fancy Dave and Busters? It must be kind of like Dave and Busters. It didn't last very long, so maybe it was uh, not the same. Maybe my, and maybe I don't know what a game works actually was, but I just, I remember that there was, that Palladium got built and it was the last big arcade ever that ever got built around here. Everything else was small. It was huge. It was like three story or something, just this huge arcade. I do like though that uh, Robin Shao Shu did all the choreography for the fight scenes in this movie. Like, good for him. A shame that it was it was a doomed to fail project. What is this three sub zeros? What the f is going on? Oh, that's where they done fricked up. They just call them Raptors and then have a bunch of ninjas. No, that's like the Putty Patrol in uh, Power Rangers. That's that's wussing out. All right, we need special characters and we need them right now. They do have smoke though. Cyrax? And Raiden gets his hands dirty in this one. Okay. No Christopher Lampert, though. Or Lambert. It's French. Oh, by the way, Luc Besson, the director of Fifth Element, my pick of the month this month. God damn, that guy, uh, that was a great movie. Like, that put his name on my map again. Um, and I, I had been looking at, uh, I've been looking at his work before and I wanted to watch Subway, a movie he did with Christopher Lambert in France. It's all in French. Anyone seen Subway? I have it ready to go. I'm going to watch some freaking... He did Transporter? Really? Okay, well that's a odd... I'm trying to picture that now. Fifth Element, Transporter. Subway's amazing, says Briggs. Okay, yeah, I want to check that out. I got it. And the soundtrack for Subway. Mwah. Mwah. I think that's Eric Sarah or someone Sarah. Guys, guess what? If they're gonna talk about Metal Gear Solid for the first time in the magazine, I'm gonna play it. I don't have a choice. This was probably one of the most amazing games I ever played at the time. It was like Final Fantasy VII, best RPG ever. Metal Gear Solid, probably the best action game ever. And in my in my situation, I would have said Bushido or Bushido Blade, best fighting game ever. Like I liked all these new properties that were coming out. Well, not new properties, but new PlayStation versions of properties. And I really like uh, Bushido Blade because it was, uh, it was like a highfalutin concept. I've eaten Subway, says Yon Street. Luke Besson was just a really cool director. Yeah, he's, and he did music videos too. I should probably check those out. Okay, so Metal Gear Solid comes from the same development team that produced Police Knots and Snatcher. Kind of weird. Uh, the latter title was released in the U.S. on Sega CD. And the PlayStation version has a new soundtrack. I would, I would add those tracks to this playlist, but I'm pretty sure I'll get struck for it. Uh, in Metal Gear Solid, uh, you play as Snake, a secret agent on an espionage mission. You creep down hallways, avoid detecting the traps while gathering information. There is some shooting involved. Some. There's actually a lot of shooting involved. Uh, there is some shooting involved, but this game is more focused on strategy than on Twitch-style arcade action. Now, they don't tell you much about it, but I still want to play it right now because we're just... And these, these screenshots don't even tell you what's going on, but... That was a big deal, and I want to play it. And they're talking about it. I want to play it. Okay, let's uh, wait. I don't need to pause that. I need to get it going first. Even the VR missions. You guys ever play the VR missions for uh, Metal Gear Solid? Man, beat the heck out of those. And if you beat them well enough, you unlock the ninja. Holy frick. The ninja's badass. All right, where are we at, Metal Gear Solid? All right, I have to do it manually. That's fine. I loaded up the music in this game, the directing, everything is just unbelievable. I'm gonna actually edit the stream info. Metal Gear Solid. Boom. Yeah. All right. Let's get going. Let's play some goddamn games right now. He's getting pogged out of his mind. I love the little vocals at the beginning. Oh. 
Oh man, does that bring you back or what? Holy frick! Hell yes. Oak, uh, a Hideo Kojima joint. Synth! Frick yeah. This is what one of the early games where they started messing around with detail. Like, details in games. It was trying to emulate real life. That was the thing. That was the best thing for me. When your game was trying to emulate real life, I really love that. Like, they have lighting in this game. When you're walking through the hallways, the lights will be above you, and they just make them this kind of transparent thing that floats over your head in a top-down view. Moses Island, in Alaska's Fox Archipelago. All right, we don't need to watch the whole thing, but uh, great directing this game. There really wasn't anything like it. I like these synths, too. Damn it. Palladium was the crap back in the day. All right, Goosebumps, man. That opening sequence is awesome. That just, I needed to hear those vocals. Remember playing air hockey in the rafters. <laughs> Your Palladium sounds different than mine. Uh, just dangle those kids up there by their feet. All right, uh, air hockey done changed for me when I realized you could do a forward, a forehand shot. The other player has to watch out. You could smash their knuckles with that one. We go normal mode. All these sound effects, goddamn. Alright, no, goddammit. Japan, why must you make circle the select button? Menu music is so epic. God damn it. Oh man. David Hater. Ocelot. Oh man. Metal Gear. Oh. I don't know why they couldn't give Snake a gun. There was plenty of room in that little torpedo they sent him in to put a gun on. There's a good, see the lights here? Oh man, that lighting looks so good. The little ripples in the water, that's a detail that was as of yet. The breath, first time I've ever seen breath in a game. You tell me a game before this that had breath, hmm? I'm going to swap down a couple of balls. Leonardo's voice from Ninja Turtles? Hell yes. All right, I learned to flick the paddle, but holding the back edge. Got a wicked hard spot, hard shot that sent discs flying. <laughs> And your friend's like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? I'm sorry, I've been eating cheese all day. God damn that breath. All right, this is also, I don't know what compression rate they're using. How did they get this much dialogue in the game? That's crazy. Still can't believe they replaced David, yeah, with Kiefer Sutherland. That's BS, man. Kiefer's a ridiculous choice. I'm sure he did a fine job, but What's the situation? just get David Hayter back. What are Looks you like doing? The elevator in the back is the they need to do a remaster of the entire series, expected. so I don't feel like I want to take the elevator kill myself service. playing the first one. But make sure nobody sees you. Yeah, now at this point you're like, if you need to, come are they ever gonna redo it, or do I have to replay it? All right, and don't tell me what your frequency is. All right, and also if you don't have the back of the box, and you're like, frick, I rented it. I don't have the back of the box. You try every frequency one at a time. That was huge back in the day. Huge! Like, whoa, 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 whoa. And you could also go first person mode. But this was the only game that I think ever did this. God damn it, look at that. And then so they actually go one step further and like, when you crawl under something, you get to look from your view. The sense of being able to move around your environment in this game was just, it had never been done like this before. Even those lights flickering, that touch is, that's a nice touch. I like details like that in my games. And for Frick's sake, this game had it. Is that a rat on the ground? It is! Gross! Oh wait, I almost forgot. I almost forgot my secret rations. Alright, now we're good. Footsteps! Footprints! Oh, footprints in video games. Why don't they have footprints in more games? Those rats. Eh, he stopped. That's fine. Coming down this way? No? Okay, let's get scoped out of our minds. Oh, frick! Turn! Get him off! What are you doing, you maniac? Sorry, I accidentally switched to the uh, analog stick there for a second. Oh, frick! That guy's coming everywhere. That is not the the direction I wanted to look. All right, 
we're just going for oh, frick. No. Oh, we're in a bad way now. What was that noise? I'll tell you what it was. <gasps> oh, well, I didn't choke him, but I did flip him. Huh? Ah, that, that happens sometimes. All right, old school copy protection. Have to go uh, the manual for codes. I never ended up playing five. Is it worth it? I would also like to know if it's worth it. Oh, frick me. Oh, no. God damn it. All right. Just a box. Don't worry about it. Man, hard mode or uh, normal mode puts more enemies in here. I tested it out on easy mode. There's only two guys in here. This place is fricked up with enemies. Oh, frick, he's getting closer. Oh, frick me. Oh, my God, no. Oh, frick me. No. Oh, they got me good. What kind of noob gets found in the very first spot? And here's what we got to do. We got to dive like our life depends on it. Also, man, that's one thing I liked about this game. Um, man, the, the alert stage goes down so fast. In other Metal Gear games, it seems like it lasts forever and it's annoying. Like, just come on. Yeah. All right, there goes my European hardcore difficulty mode run. Frick. All right, is the elevator down yet? What the hell's going on here? Got him. Locked it up. I like that you don't have to get rid of the bodies here. You do have to get the rations. Oh, we don't need a ration. That's fine. Can I just go in the elevator yet? Oh, it's already down. Well, frick me. Sorry. My bad, everyone. All right, five is pretty boring, says Johnny. Uh, they went semi-open world with it, and it didn't work. Stealth itself is still fun, though. Okay, well, they did good stealth, apparently. But, yeah, the open world part just didn't seem right to me. Even in Metal Gear Solid 4, I felt like it was getting too open. Like, I like the tightness of this one. And, uh, like, I would I would much rather them just design really well-crafted, small environments. Like, even that room there, that's a well-crafted, small environment. And uh, I would prefer it if they'd go that route instead of, um... Look at the little detail. Wet clothing. Uh, then the big open world. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3 even was getting a little too big. Like, Metal Gear Solid 2, oh, the detail they had in that game was just crazy. 3 was still great. I loved that they... The whole, like, crawling in the grass, that was new. And the... That was the first time I ever played online PlayStation games, actually. Late title card. Boom! Oh, man, that's classy. Look at that. God damn, that's classy. Frick me. All right. Too many repetitive side missions. Well, god damn. All right, we're going to go back to retro real quick. I don't want everyone to think like, oh, man. Look, look at the detail on that. Oh, my god, it looks so good. Alright, uh, they cut the ending of 5. Uh, the cut ending of 5 is sad because Kojima's idea was that the whole recruiting soldiers to Foxhound was to then use those recruits in getting back the Metal Gear in the final assault. And they fricked that up? Yeah, there was kind of some... Man, I bet you... I wonder if Kojima wanted the name or the voice actor changed. Alright, this is a lot of dialogue, so let's skip this. I just want to get into the base. We'll do that. That'll be our first taste. When the game actually comes out, maybe I'll play a later version of, or a later level. Oh, yeah. D. Uh, Frame Chase is saying he's sick of open world nonsense. I'm, uh, I'm with you guys on that one. I like a tight game. I have no idea. Open world is fun for dicking around, but yeah, it's not fun for tight gameplay. Like, it's all emergent gameplay. No, you know what that means to me? There's gonna be a lot of guff. I'm gonna get a lot of guff, and I'm gonna wanna turn the game off a lot. That's what it means to me. Five got butchered by Konami, sadly. Well, damn. Yeah, also the way they released it, it was confusing. Like, okay, you got this one that came out where you're just entering the one base, which actually did seem like a tight game, because it's just one base you crawl into. I don't remember what that one was called. Uh, it was like the one that took place in the 80s. Uh, and then they had the new one, like, eh. Ground Zeroes, is that what it was? Yeah. That seemed okay to me. Like, a smaller, tighter experience. Fine. Wasn't that DLC as well? 
There are only 18 hours left until their All deadline. Right. You've got to hurry. It's basically a demo well, for Phantom Pain. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Kind of All right. Mei Ling. Oh, she fine. Look at all this dialogue. How? What compression ratio is this at? The bright dot in the middle is used. I know a thing or two about a thing or two, Mei Lin. Okay. Mei Ling. Man, in Metal Gear Solid 2 when uh, Roy starts getting all weird. He's saying, turn off the PlayStation 2. Oh, no! And he's like flashing a skull on his face. No, this can't be happening. This is weird and wild stuff. All right, all right, all right. We know what to do. And what we need to do is we need to do some deep leg squats. Right here, right now. Oh, man. You don't want to enter a mission like this without doing your squats first. You got to stay nimble. This is good graphics. Good as frick graphics. See, I prefer jagged pixels like this to the N64. But only because it seems to me... Like, it seems like a better... I don't know what the word is. I guess it's graphics. I see this as better graphics. Even though it is jaggy as frick. Get there. Oh, frick. Not today. Okay, get there. Go get those chaff grenades. No, I don't need those. I'm going to sneak into the base. I got a mission. All right, get there. All right, this is deadly serious now. All right, they're not going to let me look around the corner. That's fine. It's a little purview of the area here. There's a little grate there or a vent I could go in. That's for the babies. That's the beginners. Is there no soldiers up here? What is going on here? All right, well, easy pickings in the truck. All right, got the SOCOM. Look at that, man, the sense of you. Look at the snow, for frick's sake. Are they gonna drive me in? Not yet. This was an option, and you can also crawl under the truck, which is a huge detail. Yeah, the sense of actually hiding out here was awesome. And, like, the fact that you can see his breath over the top, that's really high forward thinking for this era of games. All right, so it's basically an MGS. Still looks really appealing. Yeah, Johnny. It, pl it plays tight, too. That's the thing I like. It's a 3D game that plays tight because you're not swimming around in, like, perfect 360-degree stuff. Like, it's a pretty tight game. I don't remember how long I have to wait in here for them to take me in. This is the option I want. Either that or I'll go up top. I don't want to do that long crawl through the grades. Doesn't mean you can't get a sick ab workout. Pretty sick. I'm digging this. Um, Maybe, I don't remember if there was a thing you have to do to unlock this. You just have to stay still for a certain amount of time, which I am not doing, by the way. Blowing it. Never tried the truck, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think this was a way in. I'm, I don't know where I remember it if it's not. Let's go. You can just sit here for 12 hours. It's called a simulation. Spy simulation. I'm deadly still. I'm not even breathing. Holding in my breath. Bated breath. <gasps> Riveting stream, uh, rad. Can't wait to come back next week, rad. Alright, I think I need to wear a box or something. Fine! Let's look over here. Where's the baddie? It's going that way. Sweet. All right, now we got one camera here. Get good and close. Let me just make sure that guy's not scooting back. All right, he's doing his rounds. That's fine. A surveillance camera? I can't believe they would have those here. Oh, there All right. Oh, man, I got, like, no health. All right, we're going to have to just... Oh, normal mode doesn't auto-ration you? I was spoiled by easy mode last night. Let's tone it down. Uh, lady. Hey, lady. Tone it down. That was all part of the simulation, alright. 
All right, we're just beelining it now. Nothing held back. Footprints galore. I mean, even Final Fantasy VII had footprints. You know there's modern games that don't give you footprints? What the hell are we doing? All right, maybe my footprints will... Oh, frick! Smashed him. Frame perfect. Oh! Mmm, field rations. This game does make field rations sound tasty. Alright, this time. Get there. A surveillance camera? A surveillance camera? Anything up there? No. Alright, here we go. Oh man, the trailer for this game, too, made it look so insane. All right, you could say stream. You could say this stream is pretty rad. Get it? it? Says Danny DeVito himself. All right, no footprints or Ron Ron, no sale. It's a high risk, high reward situation, Johnny. And Yong Street. All right, I'm gonna smash this fool. Oh, frick, he's coming after me. All right, stay there. All right, now you just blew it, buddy. I like that you don't have to hide the bodies too. That's such a bummer in like the Hitman games. Uh, like, I get it, it's part of the realism, but look, that that angle looks so good. I don't know why the graphics don't look more jagged than they should. All right, any cameras here gonna bust my chops? All right, I have to get a call from Leonardo again. No, it's Roy this time. Leonardo's the master. All right, all right. One quick punch, that's fine. I feel that Metal Gear Solid 3 was the best mix of gameplay. Metal Gear Solid uh, 2 feels like it's going through corridors with hours of dialogue. True. Metal Gear Solid 2 was definitely a, a, like a dialogue heavy sort of thing. Alright. And uh... Star Lad's on Metal Gear Solid 3 right now actually. Snake. Snake. This is, McDonald this is Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles. Like, you're not fooling me, Liquid Snake. You have the same voice. Oh, you ended up being the same guy. Come on. Spoiler. Snake really blew it, actually. They don't really explain. Snake, how did you not know? Alright. MGS4 was a Kojima love letter to fans. Please let me stop making Metal Gear games. I really want to get Daryl from Walking Dead in a game, and I need to stop making these as a result. I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. Ah, nice little sound change the there. Cleaning? They just don't this one is still my favorite though. Yeah, pound for pound, especially when you compare it to what we're playing right now. Un, it, like the, the impact felt from this game, major. I uh, still haven't played them before, so I recently started going through them all. Man, Starlight is doing doing the duty of a good gamer right there. Like, fine, I gotta check them out. All right, people keep talking about these. I should probably check them out. He's already done three people. Oh frick, man! They know how many people I killed. Three people. Yeah. Sounds like a pretty cool dude. Stealth. There's an intruder besides me. Oh, it's not me. I want you to increase the security detail. Well, I am. Is he basically saying uh, you're not being very stealthy, sir? Okay. Yeah, there was a lot of dialogue in MGS2, but the thing I love about Metal Gear Solid 2 was the detail. Oh man, like shooting people in the dart or in the face with a dart. You could actually put like 14 darts in a guy's face. That's the kind of detail I like to see. When you shoot the bucket of ice on the boat, it flips over and a bunch of ice falls out and then melts. And I've read on the internet that according to the internet, uh, the ice melts according to the size, so the biggest ice cubes melt slower. That's what I've read. Can't confirm that personally. That's all I did though, was like, what can I shoot? I'd shoot everything. As a result, I basically shoot every light bulb I see in video games. Like, can, you, can you break that? Hey, will you let me shoot that? All right, we're ready to rock. All right, who is calling me now? Old Roy Campbell. Press the action button. I. What are you saying, Roy? This cryptic language you're speaking of, I. I don't understand. All right, a new snatcher would be really cool. Never played the original. Yeah, I'd play. It's just the way that they those games work. It's it's kind of hard to get into, but I've tried uh, several times to play snatcher. It's just. A, whoa, what the frick? Thing? <clears throat> Sorry, tank hair. <clears throat> Every time I get to 12, 16, the elevator to my voice the goes on. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. All right. Try to find it. I'll find it, Roy. Don't you worry, Roy. 
That's what Snake is saying to him. Don't, Roy, don't worry, Roy. With these chaff grenades, Roy, I'm going to play the game a lot quicker than I should be. Oh, man, I'm so chaffed. Oh, my God, I chaffed up. Oh, don't chaff. Oh, frick, you gotta go. You gotta go. There's a camera here. Oh, frick, Nate. Sick move, Snake. All right, where are we at here? See, this is a, a little, a little tiny arena that you can cl crawl under the snakes. You can crawl in these vents. You can hide behind these walls. You can use the chaff grenades, and your footsteps will give you away if you're on grates like this. All right, no one's up top yet, so that's good. But the guys will—they do a patrol up on top. All right, where are you at, silly boys? If I can get to that door, I'll be sitting pretty. Alright, in. I'm just gonna chaff it up. I have to. It's my house. I have to defend it. There we go. Get there. Oh, the door was a bust. Oh, frick me. Alright, no one down there. Get going, snake. Oh, frick. No, 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 no. He's so sneaky. Metal Gear whiff. No, man. Zero whiffs minimum. All right. 3D stroboscopic sound. We can hear exactly where he is. Good good music in this game, too. Goddamn. Super well put together. Oh, dear Jesus. Is there another guy over here? Oh, there is a little sneakster over there. Not today. It's a good thing I have headphones on. Oh, frick. All right, get up, snake. You got work to do. Ah. Damn it, I don't remember where to go. Oh, frick. All right, probably should have listened to Roy. I was busy making fun of him. I think I have to get in that elevator, right? All right, go. Oh, I have to push the button to open doors. Get there. B1, or 13 as it looked when I was a kid. What are they talking about? 13B? Or 13 one. All right, truly atmospheric music sets the tone perfectly. Definitely, Johnny. Johnny! All right, we'll check this hallway out and then we'll call it a day on this one. We got work to do. All right, is it Roy? Oh, no. Look oh, it's that sexy lady, Mei Ling. The chief. He's the right, I don't need you to tell me about the DARPA chief, all right? Him and me go way back. Now, look at the lights on the roof here. This is a detail I will say I really enjoy. Damn, see how they're all transparent? What a nice touch, just visually, that lets you understand more what, what you're looking at. They didn't need to put those lights there. They put those lights there. All right, that door's locked. I can't get into it. So what am I going to do? I'm not above crawling in a vent, all right? Now, we're going to see some Meryl here. Now, if you go back and look at Meryl like eight times in a row, apparently she just has her bra on at some point. I don't remember what it was, but it does work. DARPA chief, he fine. He does seem very sexy. We'll go. I want to see this cutscene where the uh, the DARPA chief gets all weird. This was a weird storyline for a game too. Really, uh, espionage was not something I found interesting as a kid at all. Wait, did I already pass Merrill's cell? No. All right. What is the game you wish you could compose music for? That's a good question, Briggs. Mass Effect, probably the first first one. I don't know if I'd still want to do it, because, like, Andromeda. Hey, guess what? All that cool stuff that happened in that galaxy you're, in, you know, attached to, we got rid of it. Now you're in the Andromeda galaxy. I don't want to be in that galaxy. I hate that galaxy. Metalcroft. Is that her actual last name? Probably not. It's Roy Campbell's niece, isn't it? But, yeah, she is she fine? Remember that scene where she's dressed up as one of the soldiers in this game, and they say, like, 
You're gonna have to find her by looking at the way she walks. There's a certain way ladies walk. Because, for all you sneaksters out there, they have different hips than men, okay? They have to move slightly different. And if you are a red-blooded uh, man that enjoys the ladies, you can notice it right away. Oh, what? Boom, I see it. All right, all my homies hate the Andromeda Galaxy. Yeah, frick. My homies are all frickin' Milky Way, all right? I don't know anyone for the Andromeda Galaxy. Frick them. Not the galaxy for me, okay? All right, can I look down here? Is that... Pushing the action button. I'm not seeing any action. Is this... Uh-huh. We got Snake the Peepster. Okay, so what you have to do is crawl out of the vent, crawl back in three times, and then eventually she's in her underwear and her bra. And it's pretty hot. I got to tell you. It does still count as peeping, though. So, Snake, not today, buddy. Keep it professional. Roy, uh, you're right away from the DARPA chief, but don't go in there. He's naked right now. Ah, oh, frick, Snake, no. Frick, Dromeda, not my galaxy. Hashtag, not my galaxy. Okay. We are technically in galactic war with them. We are set on a collision course, are we not? Any moment now, everyone. Who, who, who's that? Who's that? Don't worry, it's just some guy named Snake. I'm covered in crud from this vent. I'm here to save you. I'm here to You're save the Dharma you. Dharma Chief Donald Anderson. You're the right? Dharma Chief Donald Anderson. You're to save me, huh? What's your outfit? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn. They My see outfit here to is save light blue-ish gray. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. I take offense to that. Thank you very much. Hurry up and get me out of here. Oh, hurry up and get me out of here, please, Snake. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Snake is jacked. Look at his they arms. Really have the ability Those things are humongous. Duke. What are you talking about? The terrorists. What are you talking about? White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Acid? That's a. Jesus. I don't know if I've seen that is word. Acid? It it's possible. They. Could launch a nuclear weapon. What? How did they plan to launch? How did Meryl get here, by the way? What the hell? Meryl, get real. They shouldn't have access to him. Uh, you notice the little detail on the toilet, near the toilet? Like little sparkling flex there? I always notice that. Because it's like P-flex or something? I'm conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. Whoa! What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack. I like Snake's haircut. On the face of it's a hell of a haircut. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Oh god, no! Alright, we don't need to watch a whole cutscene. I do want to see more P-Flex on the ground, though. If I don't see more P-Flex right here, right now, what a waste. What a waste of all our time. If it hadn't been for the revolution. revolution. All this stuff as a kid. Whoop. Yeah. Are we seeing the P-Flex? Oh, you see him right there? Right. Oh, it's gone. Rex. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for... All right, let's get to it, buddy. Yeah, it's good directing. Out God damn it. Password. Just get to the weirdness. Okay. Out of here. Like the synth in this Wait game. What is it? I still have this key card. You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? Have you learned how to disarm your pal? No, I haven't. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I have not heard anything. Said. Let me just talk to Roy real quick. Or no, let me talk to Naomi. Right, we don't need this. Come on. Oh, he dead. He done died. All right. I'm scared. Oh God, I'm scared, guys. I hear bad stuff happening out there. Uh, is it? Is it over? You guys see those P flex now? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, they're little maggots. God, that's gross. Look at that detail. You ever seen something like that in a game before? In this era? A one pixel big detail of a little maggot. That is a hot detail. Rip Darpa Chief, yeah. Frick, man. He did not need to go out that way. That is a harsh way to go out. Rip Darpa Chief. No, that's, that's fricked up. That's fricked up, man. Didn't even get to go to the bathroom one more time before he died. It's dead. Hot PlayStation reverb. I want to know what the built-in reverb was on the PlayStation. 
Pretty good. You guys would have to have headphones on to truly appreciate this. Just in case. Oh, God, it hurts. All right, good thing I got that gun. All right, we'll smash these fools, then we'll move on. All right, who wants a piece? Whoa, naked man. That happens so fast as a kid, too. You're like, well, I don't know what just happened. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Whoa. What is that naked man doing here? Call me the bastard? Liquid? Whoa, TOS, yeah. <laughs> You're not. Don't move. She's shaking. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Oh, man. Your hands are shaking. I'm I'm doing her like Jeremy Irons at the end of freaking shoot me rookie. Uh Die Hard with a Vengeance. Liar. And he's that eating the egg. Glance. Oh you got the safety on. Eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. Dan's here, everyone. Scatter off. Oh, frick him. You talk too PlayStation much. had similar chips to the SNES since they are designed or they designed those. Yeah, I think the president of PlayStation at this time was involved in creating the sound chip on the SNES. But there is some sort of reverb on the PlayStation built in. It's different than the SNES one, because the SNES one was just an echo. Why? This is an actual reverb of some kind. Looks like oh, we're in trouble now! What are you doing? Don't think! What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Shoot! Shoot, rookie! Talk to me like a rookie! Uh... I'm telling you, shoot! Alright, now she's, now she's in the murder club. And there's just a naked man in the back. You're like, I don't know what's going on. Is that a woman or a man? I don't know. Man, I like the shooting. Feels good. Feels good, man. Oh, no, 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 not today. Oh, I took my gun off. That is not what you want to do. Snake, not right now. Jesus, snake. Oh, yeah, you have to lightly hold the, the button down. Or if you hold it down, then you can aim. Whoopsie, snake. Come on, get real. All right, they are giving me rations galore here. Oh, frick, no! There's no way away from that. Meryl didn't even feel it. No, 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 no! Oh, shoot! All right, I missed all those rations. I just wanna, honestly, what I really wanna do is just look at this naked man. Oh, look at that walk. Gents, oh my god, are you feeling it? Thanks. There's a lady present. Holy frick. See, he look he gets a good look here. Whoa. Who are you? That is an apple bottom booty if I've ever seen one. And I say that with all due respect. My son would not be here otherwise. You fool. You fool. It's Leonardo again. Okay, I just want to see this naked man, then we'll move on to the next game. That's a sentence I say at least once a day. Snake, you perp! Right, we're going. No, Snake. No, oh, God, that fox down. Oh, frick. All right, get back in there. Wait, do I have to crawl back in? Did the DARPA chief not give me a... a thing? Well, I'm not going to stand for that, everyone. Oh, no, that's right. I have to put the key card on. Almost just crawled all the way through the vents again. I almost just put you all through that. All right, now we got a naked man here. Now, clearly what we need to do... I mean, if I don't, who will? All right, we gotta get make sure he's okay. Really, if we don't make sure he's okay, what? Doctor Snake is here. Don't worry. Let's just uh, all right, and just zoom in on that right there, and there you go. All right, so you can't tell what I'm looking at right now in the game, but we all know. We all know what Snake is looking at right now, and he's continuing to look at it. What does that mean? What does that mean for Snake? And you know, the weird thing is. He doesn't know we're watching him right now. His character, he doesn't know that. He's just on the ground, fully zoomed in. The zoom in lens is almost touching this man. He doesn't know anyone's watching. I mean, what do you do when no one's watching and you're sneaking into a base? I mean, you th this might be the last time you ever see anyone. I don't know. I don't condone it. I don't condone it. Snake, you perv, all oh, that evil male gaze. That evil male gaze, by the way, is literally the reason why my son is here. I'm not even joking about that right now. Can't be that evil, right? <clears throat> HBO scrambled, yeah. 
Okay, 98 mute. If we just leave it on uh, scramble long enough, it eventually kick clicks clear by the end. You can see a breast for a split second or possibly a male taint. That's what you're into. You found the right stream, everyone. This is hot. Oh, this is hot, everyone. Rated MA 18 right now. Holy smokes. Too hot for TV. Uh, oh! All right, we... Oh, that is... <laughs> He's so concerned. Buddy, are you okay? Did you fall down? Yeah, it did look like human centipede. All right, no, now he's just emulating him. Buddy, you okay? You and me, you and me both, hey, dude. How about this? Yeah, that's. <laughs> you guys, you can't take me anywhere. Ah, uh, this is the stream you have all chosen to follow, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, like, let's check this out, everyone. If you want, you can hide under the desk. Frick, that's a detail I really appreciate. I bet you guys didn't know you could hide under this desk, all right? You gotta follow me. Stick with me, kids. Stick with me. We're gonna get to the end of this. I'm gonna solve all the problems. Oh man, and check this out. They got a toilet here. With more maggots near it. You goddamn better believe there's more maggots here. All right, Fred approved. Grunt, uh, Johnny favorite, Fred approved. Well, this is the first time I've ever seen a reverse tea bag. Well, fortunately, you know, you know, Reverse cowgirls. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Reverse tea bags. That's what we do here on this stream. All right. Right on cue, you finish a giant glass of Diet Pepsi caffeine free. It makes you have to go to the bathroom. There's nothing I can do about that. Everyone. Frick me. What we're gonna do? We're gonna go to the. We're gonna go to the song. It's like once a stream now. I'm getting old man bladder. Frick me. Uh, you know what we call a reverse tea bag here in France? A tea bag with cheese. I'm gonna have to think about that one. Bathroom tune, Johnny favorite, you know it. It lasts the exact amount of time it takes me to go to the bathroom, unless something terrible happens. Guys, if I don't make it, Adam, you came in just in time for the bathroom break. Now I'm just gonna say, Adam, welcome in. We just played some Metal Gear Solid. We zoomed in on the man's taint. Uh, you do what you have to do, all right? I'm replaying my role as a 14 year old playing that game, and that's what I would have done. Grungy Nick is calling for it. Pennant race. All right, Adam. Hey, Adam. 90 seconds from now, we're going to rock big time. But I need you to stick around for 90 seconds. Enjoy these rascals in chat. They're the best rascals on Twitch. The best. The best in the biz. All right. And enjoy the tunes, everyone. Frick me. All right. Oh, God. There we go.
we're going all the way to the pennant. We got it. We locked it up. Frick. Oh man, we are no longer AFK. Welcome back everyone to the internet. Now check this out. Goman, G Gambar Goman. Do we dare? Do we dare? Uh, all I know is that my friend Mike, that I worked with at the video store, liked this game. I think it's called Mystical Ninja something something. Mystical Ninja 64, starring Goman. It's like an actual Mario 64 kind of clone. Who knew? Konami, all right. Mystical Ninja Goman, Geoman, Goman. Giyoman. All right, Briggs seems like he's pretty stoked on it. And I'm pretty stoked that he's pretty stoked. Expectation here. That is, check out the length we have on this green screen. I mean, we, oh, damn it. No expense was spared, all right? None. Dude, this is hella Japan game, but it's great. Yeah, the thing is, you can tell that this was just, here's the thing, I'll, I'll show you guys. Let's dive right in. I'll freaking show you guys. Well, let's read it first. I mean, we should probably show you. Remember Legend of Mystical Ninja for the Super NES? Now, Goman is going to the Nintendo 64 in Gambare, Gyoman 5. Instead of the 2D look of the 16-bit title, Gambare puts Goman in a fully developed 3D world that's reminiscent of the one in Super Mario 64. So I was even right. They're even saying it. All right. Yes, love that game. All right, maybe you guys can help me because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing in this game. It's it's pretty fricked. From a, from after you get out of the console Cold War, you don't know what the hell you're looking at with this game. Um, so we'll 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 get through it together. We'll, we'll give it a good five to ten minute play here. All right. Uh, Along with his three sidekicks. Okay, you get one right off the bat. All right, though the series is a hop and bop em hunting adventures set in medieval Japan. Okay, the jump, uh, the jump to the N64 adds some polished visual effects, such as detailed surroundings and 3D movements from the Goman impact or robot. This could, uh, could this episode of the Mystical Ninja be legendary? Sounds like some people in the chat would say it is. All right. It's a 3D action platformer, and then at some points you get into a giant fighting robot. Well, frick, that's what I want to see. Is that the giant robot right there? Goddamn. Or shot from being in the robot. Hell yeah. All right, the first boss battle with the mech warrior blew my mind. Well, frame, if it's possible, I'll try and get to it. I don't know if it's possible. All right, we don't need that on. Softer set. All right, open the ROM. I mean, plug the actual cartridge into my actual N64. There. All right, mystical. All right, I'll show you guys how I know this game is like way Japan. Way more Japan than than it uh, usually... They were probably thinking like, frick, man, I don't know if we can convert this to the Western uh, audience, but it's such a good 3D platformer. People are crazy for it. Just make it work, man. Make it work. And only people in Japan know what they're looking at, but... We're gonna get through this together. Oh god damn! Oh, we don't even have it on the screen. Well, frick me. Saved it. All right. All right, dude. SNES Star Fox was legit cray cray, as the kids say. Are we talking Star Fox? I'm SNES Star Fox is legit. All right, there we go. All right, so obviously this is way Japan. This is way more Japan than anyone in the West is like. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. This is obviously frick. Look at these tree graphics. Going now. Sing along, everyone. Well, the sky. Yeah, peeping through the clouds. The way they translated everyone in this game, too. It's hilarious. They, the, whoever localized this <laughs> really tried to add their own flavor to it. Remove all the J Japanese flavor and put in America flavor. It's like a real anime, though, you know? They're going for it. I'm, I'm making fun, but out of love. Oh, frick, I hope I don't get copy strike. All right, that'll be enough. And then the copyright strike. Police are coming in. I'm gonna bust my door down. Hey, buddy, you wanna play this game on stream? You're dead. Cops are coming in. SWAT teams. Jesus. All right. It's pretty forward thinking because it had sections that you needed to complete with different characters to unlock new stuff for the main character. Ah, oh, frick, says Tailspin. Is this your jam, Tailspin? 
I, we got a lot of freaking Goman guys in the in the chat right now, which is hilarious because this is so Japanese. Right, we got to turn this down, obviously. N64 rolls hot. I mean, as rad as these tunes are, goddamn. Little synth action. I'm down. Oh man, I'm so hungry right now. I gotta eat some of this crap. Never come back again, you punks! Oh, frick, man. Where's that man's clothing? Oh man, little rag rage beats. You've taken off all your clothes. I thought I could negotiate a discount. With my hypnotic dance. Oh, hell yeah. Let's see it, dude. Discount. We've been thrown out of the store because of your dance. I just couldn't understand the beauty. And wait, you know what we need to do? There might be a lot of rascals that are like, man, I could definitely go for some Mystical Ninja 2. Or Mystical Ninja starring Goldman. T-O-O. I could really go for that right now. If you guys can just have that, that'd be really good. This is my Michael Keaton voice. I could really go for that right now. All right, let's see the hypnotic dance. You're just in time, everyone in the VOD. Welcome to this chapter of our show. Wow, where's my freaking dance? Oh, man. Oh, damn. I did not see it going this way. Oh, frick. This is my Michael King voice. Let's get nuts. <laughs> Did he do the dance? I Did we miss the dance? Where's the freaking hypnotic dance? That better be a special movie unlocked. God damn. Oh no, it's in the direction of Wado Castle. Not Wado Castle. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, Frank. No, oh, I can't. There's going to be so many DBs in this rubble. No. No. That's too close to the reference before. No, no. They evacuated it. We solved it. It's fricknotic dance. Yeah, I'm I'm fricknotic out of my mind. God damn, look at this. We've arrived at my destination. I'm, I'm watching this cutscene because I'm actually really intrigued now. They? Them? The secret government? How dare they attack our castle like this? Let's zoom in just a little closer. Is this the front or the back of the ship? They all got evacuated, right? Well, 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 isn't it so peaceful here? Wait, what's that commotion outside? Oh, DBs. Both of them, DBs. This is like that scene from Terminator 2, Sarah Connor. Ah! If we just proceed with our cunning plans. <laughs> uh, the aliens are French. These are aliens? God freaking damn it. Well, that's why I skipped this when I was testing the game out and they kept talking about aliens. Now I know. They're not secret government. They're actually aliens. You can tell that that was just probably weirdly translated in Japan. Like, why is there so much talk about aliens? Follow me, Ebisumaru. Wait for me, Goblin. Where's my clothes? All I got is my G string thong. Give me a moment to go home and get changed into something decent. Oh man, Tailspin gets it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Spinda, thanks for stopping by. Have a good sleep. Sleep well. Hopefully you get to bed nice and early because you were drinking Diet Pepsi caffeine free. All right, so here we go. Nice 3D movement. Very reminiscent to Mario. So here's the thing. I was stuck in this house. I had no idea when I first turned it on. Where the frick am I supposed to go? Like, the door looks like it's over here. Why is this not going? Because we're not Japanese. Because I'm not Japanese. I don't know that this is what a door looks like in like a rice paddy door house. Took me a while to find that. All right, Goman, get on the roof right now, freaking Goman! All right, lots of people to talk to. Oh man! Whoops! Don't do that! Don't smash the kid. The aliens! The aliens! Oh Jesus! Imagine me turning the game on like, uh, is this just mistranslated? Uh, when the UFO comes, there's a huge commotion all over the palace. There's no way in Japan it was called the UFO. No way. The first boss, where's the door? Okay, is it possible to get to the first boss within 10 minutes, crew? Because if it is, I'll get there. I'll stop talking with all these fine-ass ladies and go get myself uh, to the first boss. 
You wanna get nuts? Let's get nuts. That's a lot of nuts. Alright. Alright, good vibes, man. Good wholesome vibes in this town. Comfy, welcome in, dude. Hopefully you didn't have too much work tonight. Alright, we're playing some Goman for the first time ever in my life. Alright, what is that one in the middle? It looks all deranged. Is that one of yours? Oh, damn, that is deranged looking. I dig. Welcome. I don't even, I would never sleep here. I still, I will not spend the night here. This place sickens me. That's one of yours. Yeah, I dig. I, I'm bad at Twitch. I don't even, like, actually, I never get to see you on. So I, if I did, I would check out your icons, but I never see you on. My, my timeline is very messed up. Goman is such a strange series. Yeah, that seems uh, about right. All right, can I not get in here? Gatekeeper, wow, wow, wow. Automatic closing device has been activated. The gate is no longer open. Uh, something serious taking it at Wado Castle. Fine. Go do whatever I want. Right, where the hell am I supposed to go? Then? Can't go in there, then where? In here? All right, put some pants on, sir. Children around. Jesus. All right. This is a pretty, uh, pretty big town. Lots of people. And I bet this guy says something about aliens. I don't know if you saw the UFO or a bird. It's over so... here. Heck, that's awesome. That is amazing localization. I might need a heck of mode after this. Ah, heck. That's yeah, not the same, but I do appreciate it. All right, I think I gotta go this way. Everything is funneling me this way, so let's go. Heck, hump. All right, we don't need to go in there, although weird and wild stuff happens in there. All right, maybe I'll a heck emote. I still gotta get, man, the sneaksters, or maybe like one million RPM, or maybe elbow drops from third story up. Oh, this is such good. That's just Japan in a nutshell. Plasma, is this like a guy talking about like flesh? Is that what he's trying to say? Plasma, but in like a sexy way? Welcome to the plasma fortune teller. I will solve your worries for 10 row. Only if you say plasma again. Gary Busey emote, please. Well, goddammit, I gotta get that going. What's a good, I need to find a good Gary Busey face. The faces don't look good at 28 pixels, or 28 by 28 pixels. It's hard to make them look right. Oh man, that's sexy, that is hot. Enter on the left-hand side when you face this fortune teller. Okay, well that is the direction I was heading anyways. No more plasma for you, sir. You're cut off. Oh man, happy B-Day! It's Comfy's B-Day? Well, what the frick? You know what we need to do? Comfy, Jesus. We're gonna... We're gonna do something. I'm gonna skip to the... I was gonna save this for the end of the show, but you know what? God damn it. You know what you just done did? I can't be held responsible now. Uh... Wait, no. We need full volume for this. Freaking B-Day boy sneaking in here. No, it's too late. It's derailed in the best possible way. Happy birthday, buddy. Hey, Comfy, happy birthday, dude. You know who's here to celebrate as well? It's your boy, Fred Couple, saying happy birthday, brother. Get yourself some cake. Get yourself some fun times. Good times galore. You did it. You done did it, 26. Now, I will warn you. 28. That is the year that things just start hurting for no reason. You have two more years to live. Live, damn it. Live, goddammit. Alright. Don't mess around. 28 years. Alright, that couldn't have worked out any better. I mean, I have it for another reason, but <laughs> we don't need that. Let's go back to the game. And with that, let's go back to game. Can confirm, 28. Sweet Christmas, I can confirm that. <laughs> it's funny how accurate it is. Uh, 28 is when uh, Grungy got crones. Well, frick, man. That's another factor. I was just thinking about body being sore. And we're getting all kind of syndromes and stuff. Man, alive. Frickin' 28, man. That's why uh, Marilyn Monroe didn't make it to 28, or past 28. Frickin', uh his name the guitar player that everyone thinks is the best guy ever Jimi Hendrix 
<laughs> Not a big fan, personally. Too bluesy for me. Um, 28. Smoked. Look at this. This is a legit Mario 64 competitor, and it's made by Konami of all. Oh man, I could go for a kebab right now. Frick me. I don't even really like traditional Japanese food or traditional Chinese food. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can do the Western bastardization of it. Love it. I went to dim sum once and I, I couldn't swallow. It's good. This, this donut with a noodle around it is really good. I couldn't do it. My body wouldn't let me swallow. It's kind of like pills. Like I can't, sometimes I have trouble swallowing pills. Jim Morrison, Phil Harbin. That's right. Lovely cherry blossom. I love that effect of the leaves falling. And I'm also not a fan of, uh, Jesus, not a fan of seafood. All right, let's get this guy. Where's my, oh no, she's coming after to kiss me. Get out of here. That is sexual assault. I will not stand for it. All right, how do I get into the, all right, we did it. DARPA chief, oh man. Oh, Kai's coffee shop. Yeah, now we're talking. You know what I wish I tried before I got off caffeine was cold brew coffee. Never got around to trying it. Sounded really tasty. A chat just listing dead people now. Bob Barker, not dead, still going. All right, it's either him or Betty White. One of them's gotta go. And I say that, uh, that sounds morbid. Just based on the numbers. Cold brew decaf, man, do they have such a thing? I would check it out. I need more decaffeinated drinks in my life. What the frick? Monster, just bring it back. Beaver Buzz, Canadian's own drink. Just get the caffeine out of there, I'll still drink it. Recently, we've been uh, mechanical robots appearing all over the place, attacking travelers in their path. You should be careful. All right, well, I just came here for some cold brew coffee, and you're giving me this freaking story here. All right, I don't... I don't need this. Hello, oh, merchant. Hey, you're a traveler. Would you like this map of Japan to assist you on your voyage? Sell it to you for a discount right now. Yes, I really want it. I like that enthusiasm, kid. People like you, I like people like you. Here, you can have it, no charge. Ah, oh, you know? Comes around. Hey, let me buy you a cup of the best, the best cup of coffee in the world. The fact that they both survived to 2020 is a testament of their iron will, or solid contract with the devil. Keith Richards and Ozzy Osbourne too. Well, the thing is, Keith Richards, I don't think, is as old as he looks. I think he looks like he's 100 years old. He's actually probably only like 70. Canada Dry's Cranberry Ginger Ale is something I fall prey to every holiday season. God damn, it's good. Comfy, it's good. Uh, it's really good stuff. Step outside the building and press the start button and you can switch the map back with the Z button. I have an N64 controller on the way. Briggs, did I tell you I, I ordered one? I accidentally got one that was um, the, the actual legit for the N64 one. I, I, my Amazon game is not very strong as it turns out. How do I switch to the other guy? I know, okay, so you turn that on. Switch to the other man, please. Oh, well, apparently I can lay down. Uh, no, get, get, get. See, it was all just a bait, bait and switch tactic. All right, what does this guy do? Oh, he's got a big mallet. Smashed him. All right, I'm already turned around. That's where I came from. Okay. Let's go across this bridge and kick some ass. All right, Keith is 77. Oh, he's older than I thought. Oh man, she got a present. Frick me, that's my present. Oh man, they pulled the old bait and switch on me. Get him on this bridge and then smash him. Oh no! The sick maneuvers. Speed run maneuvers right there. Uh, beat the full game while sliding on the ground. You have to now. Oh, I don't even remember what button does it. <laughs> he does it backwards. All right. For the love of God. You have to hold the button down? Oh, I guess you have to hold it down. Well, it's not speedrun sanctioned, Comfy. But it sure does make me invisible to enemies. Up! Alright, smash them. Alright, uh... Cranberry Ginger Ale is sold in the States. If it wasn't for this stream, I would have never noticed. Oh, wow. Is it actually uh, Canada Dry? Canada's own Canada Dry. Let's get back to Goman. I don't want to be this fool. This naked maniac. All right, get off the screen. All right, how do I switch weapons? Yeah, now we're talking. Frick. 
Oh god. I think this is where- oh Jesus. The N64 looks good when it starts doing stuff like this. Uh, oh Jesus. This platform I'm on right now looks very solid. That's what I'm noticing. Where on the PlayStation it would look all uh, jagged. Oh frick me. No, double jump. Clear. Okay, good. All right, full credit. Full credit game. Oh, good luck, cat. Sweet. Silver fortune doll. With three more, your strength gauge will increase by one. It's kind of like a modern day Rygar is what it's feeling like to me now. All right, climb that ladder. Get the F up there. Fight some baddies. I'm blessing the stream with some right now. Oh man, I'm jealous. Oh. Smashing them. Eating all them kebabs. Nope, not today. Not today, Junior. T -t 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 today, Junior. Smashed him. Get that lovely looking kebab. Looks like it's got an onion on it and a potato. Hell yeah. Man, I'm so hungry. The stream makes me so damn hungry. It's like doing a full body workout is what it feels like. All I'm doing is sitting in a chair. Oh no! You're dealing with all these high octane. Look at the sense of scale here. God damn it. We are going high as frick. Oh no, I fell for it. All right, I like this game. Those are consequences light. They could have just made me start at the very bottom, but they said, you know what? The kid might turn the game off at that point. Why would we want to have the kid turn our game off? The kid should keep playing. Oh, frick, I'm fricked up. Where's there to go? There's nowhere to go. What is this, a golden kebab? Why do I care about this one? All right, something funny's going on here. All right, can't wait for the modern remake of this game where they model the character after Ryan Reynolds instead of Danny DeVito, because that's what we uh, that's what we do now apparently. Uh, that or uh, just get Bradley Cooper. Uh, Bradley Cooper's available. Get Bradley Cooper again. Detective Pikachu could have had it all. I legit want to download this as Frame Chasers. Oh, what the frick? Secret entrance. All right, Mount Fuji Crater. All right, Frame Chasers. How close am I to the boss? Oh Jesus. All right, I almost got. Thwomped by this thwomp ripoff. Alright, let's get Goman back in here. Oh no, Frick! Oh, they're gonna thwomp me! Alright. I done game the game. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh, we're in trouble now. Go! This actually has better 3D platforming to me than Mario does because I'm not falling off the, the side. Oh no. I'm a bit of an unbeliever in Mario 64, but only because I just can't make the jumps happen. It was earlier than this, though. They had a sp man, Tetsuo. I'm sorry, bro. I want to be good at it. I love the speed runs. They're like some of the most entertaining. What in the hell am I doing? Some of the most entertaining speed runs in the in the in the game. All right, don't lay down when you're trying to get squashed. Oh, frick me. Oh, nice touch here where you swing back. Three hit combos. Hybrid Heaven is my favorite. Yeah, I want to play that one. That was Konami too, right? Oh man, I took it right in the face. Oh man, I dodged the bolt there just by a whisker. Man, this drum beat is happening for real. Oh frick, all day. I want to hear the remix of this. I don't know, what am I saying? Just replay this. Play this full volume. All right, we're at the summit. Boys and girls, we made it to the summit. Don't fall down there. Is there a rotate the camera option or no? There is a lay on your stomach option and that's it. Oh, is this another coffee shop? Hell yeah. All right, we got a few years to go before we get to hybrid heaven. Well, frick. Um, I might, on the Wednesday stream, I might start doing a little segment for like a, a few, t uh, you know, not a whole Wednesday dedicated to it, but I want to do the console Cold War where uh, I replay some games from the, that I've missed. Nintendo games I've missed because I was at, like a Manchurian candidate soldier for PlayStation, just buried deep, deep in the mountains of Canada. Just coming out now and like, the war's over? I can play Nintendo games again? Uh, you want it for me? I don't know what he's asking. Fine, just give me the pipe. It looks like a big robo, robo boner. That's what I thought it was. I'm fine, I'll just take the pipe. A little disappointed, frankly. All right, you also got, uh, you get to suplex a horse, man. Convinced Kojima ghost wrote the game. Maybe. He was a company man. You know he knew guys at the company. Like, guys, this is what I would do if I was making the game. 
Oh man, I got the golden kebab. Bit of a tummy ache now. I've been eating a lot. It did fill my health up though. That's pretty good. Um, here I am talking yang about the golden kebab, and here it is filling me up all the way. Alright, um, let's go out here. Alright, oh, well, yeah, here. Oh, damn, coins galore. Oh, frick, don't fall off the edge. Alright, looks like a low poly, uh, dangolo. Alright, is this the... I don't know which direction I came in from. The map is not helping. And then there's Castlevania 64. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't play that one. That one looked like it was a disappointment. Alright, we're going over here now. Come on, it better be the right way. Uh, oh man, are we... Did we get Gomond out? Oh no, wait, that was the way we came in. Okay. Would help if... Camera let you see what you were looking at. Oh frick. Oh frick. Alright, there's four entrances here, so I only did three. I did that one. I don't know if I did this one. Well, frick me. You got more ladders in here? What kind of weird and wild world do we live in? Well, that might be the end of Goman, everyone. I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to go. Men. Alright, maybe I missed a ladder over here or something. Castlevania 64 didn't get a sequel, it got an update release. Re release. Weird. Alright, do you guys know where I'm supposed to go? Anyone, like, remember off the top of their head, like, oh yeah, dude. I know this game like the back of my hand, know everything there is about it. You're going the wrong way. What did I even buy from this guy? A golden pipe. What do I use that pipe for? It's probably significant. Alright, is that... No, that's just an upgraded pipe. Am I all the way up a mountain? I don't have to be up. Alright, guys, that's Goman. What we need to do now is see if we can jump off the edge. That's what we need to do. I'm also going to save this in case I ever come back. Goman! Oh, frick, man. Damn. Champed it out. That was a delight. I had a delight playing that game. I'm sorry we couldn't get to the boss. Frame chasers, we tried. When you get stuck on stream, yeah, it just doesn't work. We're not that kind of stream. If it's one game you play for a whole stream, okay, you can get stuck all you want in that game. But if it's if it's like one of these streams, like a variety stream, you get stuck on there, yeah, you're just going to tank your stream. Everyone's going to be like, what are, you, what are you doing? What am I watching? I don't want to watch this. Frick. No, don't go back to that. All right, we need to go here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, I never saw this game in stores. Uh, some of these N64 games are stupid rare. Oh man, yeah, Yong Street's a big time collector. This one, you would you say this one's rare now too? Well, what the hell is going on around here? Alright, we're gonna go back to retro. Damn, okay. And then back to reading the magazine, let's go! Uh, reading light, reading rainbow. I tried to play this game, it's awful. Wait, this Grand Slam, that's another one? Okay, I didn't play this one. I played two other baseball games featured in this issue. And they were both so bad, they weren't even fun. Like, I couldn't even make them fun. Like, sometimes a bad game is really silly, and it's, it's fun to watch someone play a bad game. Baseball games suffered a lot at this point. Uh, if the stream tanks, bring out the Fred couples. Yeah, just dance them around on the screen. Oh, well, come on, it's a great stream. Alright, Reading Rainbow is what I named one of my scenes for in OBS. Well, goddamn, does it have a cool synth transition? Is that what it is? I love that synth. Um, it's a, it's the synth that they use that for is a Bukla Easel. Bukla Easel is the name of the synth that makes that Reading Rainbow synth at the start. Uh, lol, why would I choose Schmoltz when they had Maddox? Yeah. 29, get lost, buddy. This game is garbage. Alright, we played that last week. They make a really big deal about it here, guys. This Jurassic Park Lost World game. I unlocked everything too. I got the I got the T-Rex. Mm -hmm. Alright, transitions are the next thing I want to work on. Right now I only have simple fades. I do have a vocal track recorded for a transition though. Well, I got let's see if I get copy strike for this. This could be the end of my stream forever, everyone. 
John Hughes would not be pleased. I'll just check. This was the first transition I ever made. Never used it. We'll see if that works. And for those of you who missed it, I'm sorry, I could be canceled. This whole stream could get canceled right now. It's a high risk, high reward situation. That's what we do. Uh, but yeah, that one doesn't have any uh, transparencies. I'll tell you right now, though, if you have, um, if you need help with them, let me know. It's really easy to make them uh, where they have some effects on them. What I found out was you can't use the effects that have a fade in and fade out. Uh, that doesn't work because you, for some reason, a lot of the effects, at least in, uh, I use Vegas, Magic's Vegas, but maybe it has it with, um, what's the Adobe one? Adobe. I don't remember their, the, not their, I can't remember. Adobe has some stuff that might be able to do effects with alpha channels in them, but what I have to do is, After Effects, yes, company, that's what I'm talking about. So, what I use is uh, Magic's, and so I'll add the effects on, and then not fade out the video at all, and then render that down to an MOV file, and then, or it doesn't even have to be an MOV file, just an MP4 file, and then open it up in a new project, empty project, and have a fade out, fade in, that's an actual just fade out, fade in. That can be an alpha channel. So then when you use it as a transition, like this one, for example. Guys, we're just getting 101 here. Um, here I just go, uh, here's a fun one. Um, uh, this one here has effects on it, but it actually just fades in and out over the effects. But it looks like the effects fade in and out. You'll see. Yeah. Also a pretty ridiculous transition. That works too. Um, all right, so yeah, I can I can hook that up. If you ever need some help with that, let me know. Be happy to help you. That goes with anyone. If you guys need some help on your transitions, it's a nice touch. It won't get you more viewers, but you know what? It makes your show way more fun to watch. Fun stuff. The Whiff Bandits, the Fricky Bandits. Oh my God. Adobe has alpha layer stuff. Yes, there's like, when you actually add transition effects though, like there's effects that I have that are like that VHS effect. And for whatever reason, in Magic's anyways, it can't have um, an alpha channel on it. Like, you can't enable uh, an alpha channel. But other ones do let you do it, so I don't know why that one doesn't. Alright. Uh, Nornrad followed uh, by clip art balloons. I can't delay them either, so once I click to that one, I can't do a transition into that scene because the balloons all get popped too early. Ah, frick. Alright, let's go back and read some magazines. Oh, we don't need to do that. That's fine. Same exact thing. That one was accidental. I like, uh, now I just mostly do these ones. Move. Let's go. Stream FX, I think that's what that's called to get the plug in. Hell yeah. All right, let's go. We're taking so much time. God, it's already one. We gotta basically blast through this GD magazine. Wait, it also came up for Sega Saturn? Man, look at how much they're hyping this game. God damn. I'm not gonna play Duke Nukem on Saturn. It is only 10% complete, by the way. Weird. All right. Played it. Beat it in one life. Fricked it up. We're getting closer. I'm gonna do a... I'll, I'll dive in on this game again when it comes out, and I might just play this on the Wednesday stream one day, because I love this game. So funny that it was called Castlevania X. Uh, the controls in the prelim were easy to learn and very responsive. Yeah, it, I don't know why this game didn't, didn't create the resurgence in 2D games. Like, that took 12 years after this game to even become a thing. This game killed it, crushed it. Uh, how legit were those percent bars? Not even good at all. Sometimes they'll be like, it's 80% complete, but it's already out. Like, what? Uh, what does that say? I tried to get this working. Couldn't get it working. Looks really bad. Looks like, like a poor PC game. Oh, poor PC game. All right, Wednesday, Symphony of the Night. God damn, I'd do that. A 100% synth run. Where I'm playing synth with one hand and playing the game with the other. It's a new speed run subgenre. I can't get this game to work. When you turn it on, it says, uh, please unplug one of your memory cards. I don't have a memory card. I want to see this. This is the game's claim to fame. Look at how you're holding your shotgun. Whoa. Uh, we'll never know. Now we'll never know. Codename Tenka, you have done fricked up. Star Fox 64. Well, we played that a couple weeks ago. Yoshi's Island, we played that a couple weeks ago. Hexen on N64, we played it, baby! Yeah, you missed that one, Comfy. We played this on N64. We didn't get four-player kill screens going on, but we did play it. Um, MDK on PlayStation, we did not play. Toshin N3, we played, and we 
beat the hell out of Michael Jackson. We shot the hell out of him. Oh, God. Dirt Dash? Frick me. Oh, God. Symphony of the Night was amazing, says Comfy. Recently, they made Bloodstain Ritual of the Night, which uh, was made by the guy that made uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. You're right, and that's awesome. I'm glad his worked out. The Mega Man one did not work out. Have you ever played Symphony of the Night? Because I know that it probably came out when you were like three years old. That is a hell of a game. It holds up. That's a desert island game right there. Hell yeah, he has. Okay, good. That's a game so good that a guy that was three years old when it came out was like, uh, of course I played that game. Frick yeah. This game's awful. Dark Light Conflict. Turn it off for two seconds and had to turn it off. Like, no. That is not going to make it to stream. VMX Racing, you're trying hard, but you're not going to make it to stream. I have one hour and a bit to go. I'm not going to waste it with VMX Racing. I'll tell you that right goddamn now. Ah, I was going to test this game out, but it actually just makes me feel awful. This is a gross game. With really creative music, that is also gross. It would really round out the stream, though. Motor Mash for PlayStation, says Yong Street. Are you into Motor Mash? I do have it. It's Europe only, but though, for some reason. For some reason, I could not find it. It might have been named something else in the States. If you have an attachment to that game, I'm, I always prioritize games that you guys have any attachment to over any of my weird, sadistic things like, hey, we got to play this game. It's the worst game ever made, but it's good to riff on. I'm all about the riff. If I can riff on a game, I'll play it. But, if you, but that's my priority level. You guys, top priority, if you have any... Never heard of it, he says. Okay, well then. It looks like a wacky tune racer game. Um, Micro Machines comes from the people who gave you Micro Machines. Now that's interesting, actually. It's Ocean. Uh, that's why it sticks out. I just assumed it got canceled. I didn't actually test this one out. This is the one I'm like, I probably won't play that game. Will I? Will I? All right, Wolfcat, welcome in. You can see when the eyebrows start to get pointy, you know I have some schemes. Alright, we're gonna place Motor Mash for no apparent reason. Uh, how are we all today? Wolfcat, we're doing pretty good. We're just winding down that stream. Must be nice morning time for you, breakfast time. Starting your day right with a nice, uh, with a, 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 hel a healthy dose of rad. Uh, rad in the morning. It's my morning show now. We've gone so late in the morning that into the night that's now my morning show. Redneck Rampage plays well, but it's deaf 90s cringe. And that's the thing. It doesn't even play well. Like, I have to bump it down to the worst possible resolution. That's, uh, I'm sure it's supposed to play well, but when you try and go back and play it now, it doesn't work. Unless you're at the worst possible resolution. And it is cringy. Yes, it is. I mean, rednecks aren't, must have been like edgy or something back in the day. They were getting that good edge comedy in. Whoa, man, they're so fun. Instead, we got Motor Mash. We got some Motor Mash to play, everyone. I don't know what the hell you uh, were hoping to see, but me, personally, Motor Mash 24-7. That's all I want to see. I never tested it. I don't even know what the hell's going to happen here. Gameplay loaded up. Oh, we don't need you on anymore. Wolfcat, we've been playing some N64, going deep on the N64 libraries tonight, but that is what we just played. Now we got this to play. Whoa, that is stretched out. Why is that so stretched out? All right, what the hell is going on? Yeah. All right, this is, uh, of course, this is fully authorized. Ocean is coming after me big time. They're like, hey, buddy, you're the reason we went under. No, Ocean, I owned Robocop on NES. I was a big fan. Oh, frick, Ocean, no. All right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's 11 a.m. Okay, so it's lunchtime. It's still morning. 11 a.m. Morning up up early with Rad. We're going to change the name of the show right now. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on retro. I don't think there's any rascals that are just going to be clicking on the Twitch going like, Motor Mash, Motor Mash, come on. I hope they have Motor Mash. Uh, the banjo was a bad choice, guys. At no point ever is the banjo the thing I want to be hearing. Sorry to say that's true. I mean, at least Blast Core had the sense to turn it into a dance track. This is just legit banjo music. But, made by the people who made Micro Machines, which is great. Codemasters, frick. You know you got yourself a PAL game when it says, like, just what language do you want, for God's sake? Or, replace all the banjo tracks with Scott. Or, Klezmer music, alright? Briggs, you better check that link out later. I want to hear your thoughts. 
I want to hear your thoughts on whether or not Klezmer and Ska are kind of like a, two sides of the same coin. He did, he says. Oh, great. I'm glad you did. I don't, I, you actually, you don't have to. Whenever I do that, I'm like halfway joking, but the number of players, but I'm glad you did. All right. I also don't like this. I don't like whatever that is. Whatever that is, I don't like. All right, look at this full throttle ripoff. Yeah, freaking fricksters. Just freaking ripping off everything. I said it's basically Ska in minor key. Oh, okay. That that sounds good to me. Ska in minor key actually would be appealing to me. God damn. Oh, man, I pit maneuvered him. Oh, frick. <laughs> I took us both out. Well, now he's taking me out. Frick you, sir. Oh, man, he survived. That's a short race. All right, now they got it right. No, not today, sucker. Hey, buddy. Not on my watch. What what is the race I'm doing here? Are we even gonna get one lap in? All right, at least he fricked up too. Oh, why do they start you on an ice level? That is a weird choice. Oh, hell yeah, dude! I'm gonna start a nightclub with only this song playing. All right, replace banjos with Namachuke. All oh, frick, no! I look away for one second, I get frick. Oh man, he beat me to it. And that song was just hitting its stride. Frick! Alright, we... Um, I gotta pick another race, apparently. Alright, gotta say... Hey, buddy! I saw you hit that car. That's from Seinfeld, by the way. I say that a lot. When Jerry sees that uh, car sideswipe another one, he's on the phone with Elaine. He says, you gotta follow that car! He follows it and it's just a lady. And then, so when he's retelling the story to Elaine, he says, I got out of the car and I said, hey, buddy. Now I say it a lot. This looks like GTA 1 Ice Level Edition. I would rather be playing GTA 1. I can't wait for that to come out. That's going to be a fun one to play. I remember downloading the 10 meg demo for it off the internet. And it took an hour. 10 megs was one hour, apparently, back on dial-up. Oh, man, I fricked them up. And, well... Uh, and uh, found out you could fiddle around with the config file because I wasn't a PC guy, so I didn't know about config files. Um, you could change it so that the timer wouldn't end because it let you play for 10 minutes or something. Well, that's kind of fricked up. What is going on here? Oh man, he fluked out on that one. So you could uh, disable it so you could just play it for as long as you want. Hell yeah. Remember, you'd have to hit all the monks that would be walking in a row. Oi, 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 oi. You could run them all over, you get mad points. And appealing to me, they were like, oh man, oh man, I, there's, this is a kart racing game, I have weapons. Alright, what button? I have to, this is why I always lose in racing games on this stream. I don't know which button does all the rad stuff. Oh no, frick. Uh, my friend who'd played the game said like, yeah, you can get into a school bus full of kids and drive it into the river. Whoa, that sounds wicked. And we're not violent individuals at all. Okay, this is very much like, uh, no, come on, no, frick. Frick. This game's, uh, is surprising me. It seems like it's worth checking out. I don't like this garbage here where you can't get off screen. It seems a little, I don't remember if Micro Machines was like that, but anyways, we do not need to keep playing that. Motor Mash, better than it should be, not as good as Micro Machines. That's my hot take. That's a hot take, red hot, steaming hot bowl of take. Speaking of hot, Jesus, freaking dirt dash, scorch me. All right, let's keep going. Carry on. Motor mash, sorry. Motor mash and dirt dash. Uh, this is a really weird game. It works, but just barely. So weird that it's probably not even. It's not a good streamable game. It, it seems weird. What up, gamers? Yo, Quantum. 11 a.m. There, having your lunch, having some tomato soup. I don't know, it seems like a lunch thing. Uh, grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup. Had that for dinner the other day with my son, two-year-old. I'm like, oh man, that was a staple when I was a kid. Still pretty good. I was on board. I was on board with that. Frick. Star Command, awful. Not, well, uh, just a building game. I can't play them. You guys want to see a man cry? Watch him, watch, force me to play Star Command. 9 a.m. Oh, you guys have a different time zone. Frick. 9 a.m. All right, I'm going to need you to get some Milo. Pour yourself a big glass of Milo. Okay, and then I'm going to need you to get some Marmite. Is that what? No, Vegemite. Okay. Marmite? Is that Marmite? Is that also a thing? Oh, this... Uh, mate! 
Marmite? I don't know, I'm probably way off, right? Alright, I love these old mags, more EGM than GamePro though. Thanks, the Mansta! Um, you might be in luck. Here's, here's my, uh, guys, I have an announcement to make. Announcement about a thought. This isn't an official thing that I'm saying. Alright, wait, you know what we, I have a, why don't I go here? This is my just chatting screen. Oh, don't worry, Ken. Don't whiff it up, bro. Over there. Don't whiff it up. Okay, so when I get to the end of my subscription, Yong Street, this might really bum me out. I'm gonna need your thoughts on this. I want your thoughts. Uh, nice marmot. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Guys, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm partially deranged. Too much, uh, what's the thing here? Too much bits and bites. Alright, uh, the thing is with GamePro, I had a subscription during this era, so I, the reason why I'm even doing GamePro, it's like the only game magazine that I would even think of at this time, but, I think I run out. By the time I get to 1998, I think I've run out of my subscriptions at GamePro magazine, so there goes my nostalgia for it. No, we have some choices to make. I might shift to another magazine, I don't know. Yong Street has all of these issues. Big, big supporter of the show. I might play them just for Yong Street. I might go in and out. Maybe I'll go in and out, I don't know. But I might switch to like game players or EGM. Everyone always comes in my like, EGM was my jam. I never even heard of it until like the Xbox 360 era. So like 15 years ago. That's my that you know, I'll let you guys I'll let that one simmer with you guys. I wanna hear your thoughts. Because I don't know. I can't vouch for Game Pro 1998. I can't. Uh it'd be interesting going from Mag to Meg. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Archive, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Okay, so we might do that. We'll check it out. I'm the magazine expert. I, I guess technically at this point I am. I've looked at more Game Pro than any human uh, outside of Yong Street that is currently alive. All right, I only read UK PSM. Oh, maybe I'll, I got, man, Retro Mags has some good stuff. Quantum, if there's a good magazine that you're thinking of, I'll put it in, in the rotation. It's all about the good riffs. All right, if I can get a good set of games that riff, I'm on board. Sometimes, sometimes Game Pro's like, here's the games you're gonna play this month. It's like, ah. Oh. That's a hard one to riff with. Alright. Comfy is partial to Nintendo Power. Now maybe Comfy for my Wednesday show for console Cold Wars. Um, maybe I'll have to start reading some Nintendo Power because that's the whole theme. I missed out on, well not only did I miss out on PC games, but I missed out on Nintendo 64. But Nintendo 64 I missed out all in Nintendo. From the Super Nintendo afterward. Everything after the Super Nintendo I missed completely. Gone. Just complete dark. Black box. I don't know what to expect. So I would like to dive back in and check them out. So Nintendo Power would actually be a great magazine for that. But I don't know if Nintendo Power during this era is any good. Like, what were they talking about right now? More Super Nintendo games, or...? Have you not played Maui Mallard? It's great! I will play Maui, Ma Maui Mallard. Let's go. You know what else I'm gonna play, everyone? Frick me. I had to... What? Not that one. I had to actually buy this. Hexen 2. Bought it! We're gonna play some Hexen 2, because we played Hexen 1 earlier today. A lot of in-depth N64 stuff in this era. Yeah, 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 I bet it is. Not a bad thing. Actually, it's perfect for console Cold Wars. Sounds like a show from the late 90s. Like Max X. Look at this dude! Ugh, car chases! Car chases! Console Cold War! Alright, I had a subscription during this era. Oh, wow. Oh, man, this is hooking me up with the archive. Alright, well, Retro Mags also has them, but if this is an easier archive to download from, I'll look, I'll lock it up. I'll lock it up. I'm gonna just copy that and paste it in the another screen. Uh... EGM magazine. What was what was good about EGM? Cause uh, there was another little rascal that came in like uh, 12, 16 streams ago. <laughs> Why are you using GamePro? You should be using EGM. This is stupid. I hate the stream and I hate you. I'm paraphrasing, of course. I hate you and I hate your whole family for playing the, the games from GamePro magazine and not EGM. Oh frick. I don't know what, what was EGM's, that dork. Yeah, Grungy was here. He was around back in those days. I wrote that anonymously, Quantum Player 1. I should be playing... Wait, why are you not reading UK PSM? If you... PS, be reading some UK PSM next time, or you can kiss my viewership goodbye. Oh, frick. PM? Or PS? <laughs> PS and the PM. Alright, let's play some Hexen 2. What's the frick? Alright, guys. Hexen 2 continues the sword and sorcery adventure that started with Heretic. Heretic? Uh, this game, however, uses the Quake engine and polygonal objects for an effect that's more 3D. It actually looks like N64 to me, this game does. But like a way souped up N64. Uh, gamers can play as four characters. The Necromancer, 
an assassin, a crusader, and a paladin. I thought those were kind of similar, actually. As usual, each to their own selection of spells, blah, blah, blah. Let's hear some uh, for multiplayer mayhem, hex two supports, co-op. I want to hear about the hot graphics. Oh, frick. We're going to play it. What the frick? Now this might get a little dicey. All right, I got mustache hairs in my mouth again. All right, Grungy Nick has just blocked the term electronic gaming magazine. You're going to go use that term for now. You're busted, buddy. All right. We'll see closer to when 1998 rolls around, but for now... Get that out of your mouth. I will wash your mouth out with soap, Buster. You know, I was at my friend, my friend. I was at my friend's house once when his little brother got his mouth washed out with soap. I was traumatized. I didn't think people actually did that. Oh, frick. All right. Uh, they were edgier, man. EGM had interesting reviews. Felt less like an industry shill than other mags. This, that is accurate. GamePro seems as vanilla and safe as possible. And I'm pretty sure GamePro is for sale. Pretty sure, like, if they don't like a game, they won't, they... Or if a game gives them advertising bucks, they'll, like, they'll hype it up really nice until it comes down to the review. But they'll delay that review. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, so that's okay. I liked Game Players for that same reason, man. Have you ever read any Game Players? Game Players was so edgy, man. Like, oh, frick. 90s were edgy. Oh, Fred, keep dancing. Look at those swivel hips. Frick me. Scary Larry is an industry chill. I need to know who he is in real life. Give him one of those. Alright, we're gonna play some Hexen 2 now. We delayed it long enough. Gameplay. I have to open this up through GOG. Having a nice bowl of GOG with Commander Riker. Alright, here we go. Let's not get goofed up here. Let's not get gogged out of our minds. Let's go. Alright, that's right. I have to go full screen on this one. It could all just go real wrong. Real sideways. All right, now what I need to do is tab out. Turn on Hexen 2. Go back to Hexen 2. All right, if you had a virtual reality rifle that fired electronic ammunition, would that be loaded with an electronic gaming magazine? Virtual reality rifle that fired electronic ammunition. That's true. The, the puns, okay, it took me a while to get it. The magazine, I got you. I got you, bro. They were actually a small arms dealer. On the DL. No one was supposed to know that. You, you, comfy. Okay, guys, if Comfy stops chatting, we know the government got him. They? Them? The government? That's also a line from Seinfeld that I will keep using. That's a joke I'm just going to steal from now on until the end of time. All right. Uh, now, uh, MC Wolfcat's going to start, is now going to start crushing 1.4 kg. We're not going pounds. We're going kgs worth of garlic while watching you. Oh, man. She's making something tasty. Frick, man. So I want the sword, baby. I want it. I'm an apprentice. I haven't, I haven't earned it yet. I do have the voodoo graphics enabled. Okay, we are voodooed out of our minds. Doesn't this look kind of like an N64 game to you guys? Am I wrong? Is that wrong? Should I not have done that? Oh, no. Is it? Oh, no. The mouse is already not. All right. Mouse is not working. Are they busy saying, like, hey, you're using a controller, right? And then, for some reason, the left thumbstick is the one that looks around? No, no, no. We can't settle for that. Options. Use mouse on. Oh, here we're talking now. Plays pretty good. This plays really good. Holy Jesus! They don't even have window punching mechanics in this game. They just window running physics. And spider punching physics. Oh, god damn, man. You know damn well they're bringing the window punching physics back. Can I get through here? Oh, frick, man. 3D is here. Oh man, the voodoo spells are being cast. Fred is casting. He's Fred is ch uh, casting an incantation right now. Oh frick, man! For better graphics. Oh my god! Uppercuts. Two uppercuts. Hell yeah! All right, where's the secret in this room? There's something I have to punch or something. Oh! Oh, secret chambers. Giant spiders. All right, dang! This looks totally like Quake. Yeah. But it plays really well. I mean, Quake played well too, but there's a weight behind this that is really good. You hear a door across the room open. Well, frick, man, what room is that? I need this door to open, goddammit. Alright, can the spider get through? Alright, good. I don't need I don't need no rascals in here. Not today, buddy. I punched him through the wall. You know you're hardcore when you're doing that. Alright, let's go. Sick 360s. 
360s all day. Hell yeah, that looks so sick. This tiny graveyard. Whoa, indignities to the dead. Jesus Christ. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. That's bad luck. You know what we gotta do? Frick me. There could be rascals in, in my stream right now going like, oh man. Or no, people just loading loading up Twitch going like, I could go for some Hexen, Hexen 2. We're doing an experiment tonight. We're gonna see if putting chapters in equals more people watching or less people watching. You are all part of the experiment. Now let's go. Get open. I got some freaking bad dudes to punch. Man, he got me with it. I tried to freaking deke him out. It didn't work. Oh man, two punches wasn't enough. All right, that's what happens. You should have just went down, sucker. Hey, buddy. I saw you punch that man to death. All right, open, go, open. Oh, that's right, we have to unlock it. Rats everywhere, not, not on my watch, buddies. All right, push the buttons. Smash open the barrels, hell freaking yeah. Spiders? Yeah, right. All right, give me the sword. I need the sword. Oh, Jesus, he got me good. All right, triple hit combo. All right, what do we got? Grungy Nick, and yes. Basically, it's Hexen on a Quake engine. Sounds about right. Uh, you're high, but this is Hexen 2. Um, did I not... Did I not get it to be Hexen 2? We're still doing Hexen 1. All right, Whiffin 2. You don't want to play Whiffin 2, Yong Street. All right, I grew up on the N64, so this is so my era. That's awesome. Well, you'll probably really like the Wednesday show then, because I'm going to dive deep on N64 games, because they're not rolling them out fast enough for my taste in the magazine. I have a, a bloodlust, and the only thing that will slake it is, first of all, killing this guy, but then also smashing this sheep for food later. I'm going to come back and get it, obviously. All right, Whiffster. You just downgraded yourself to Whiffster. You were a Sneakster, now you're just a Whiffster. Can I... Minecraft Elements? Missed opportunity. Alright, this is Doom 64 levels of dark. What? Is it all dark on your stream? I guess it is pretty dark. Oh man. Oh god. How do I, like, get my torch to work? Uh, you cannot carry that weapon. Or you do not carry that weapon. Is it T for torch? Say... You... Done goofed, Fricksters. I'm gonna save that for the next guy I smash. Oh, I can't. All right. All right, close enough. I don't know who I'm talking to, but they know damn well who they are. All right, little, uh, they wussed out on the underwater graphics. Right. It's time to slice some fools up. Get there. No. got him. Oh, can I even get this guy? I don't think I can kill this guy. Oh, I can. I was having trouble earlier. I was testing the game out. Frick me. That's like the final boss. Jesus Christ. What the hell? A little late to the party there. Sneakster. All right. You need the bone dust of Lorik to complete the spell and create a potion of mithril transmutation. Oh, no. All right. Well, where's that? Right in here? Rickety old door. All right. How do I... Let's say Barbican. Sounds like Barbasol. Or Barbicide. Alright, uh, alright. I guess that's that. I thought I was gonna have to. B O T W Electric Boogaloo. I don't know. Alright, just curious, uh, but how did you play many MUDs in your day, Norn? Uh, no, I didn't, but my art happening in the stream, he was the only guy I ever knew that played MUDs. Now, those were text based MMOs, is that accurate? Something along those lines. It, it sounded amazing to me back in the day. Like, oh, that sounds so rad. Oh, man. I'm, now I'm the sneakster. All right. That guy done. Send in, all right. I was going to try and get on myself because I don't know how to get in this door. Ah, frick. Door's barred. Fine. Pretty uh, black marsh. Let's get back in there. Let's get it. Build milk. I like how fast you move in this damn quake engine. Look how zippy this is. This is like Usain Bolt super speed. All right. 
right. What? All right, I don't know what I got. The blue mana. Probably for the mage characters. Not my cup of tea. All right. Going down. Going deeper. Get there. Oh, sounds like there's something behind that door. Oh, so suspenseful. God damn. Oh, sneaksters. Hey, oh, Usain Bolt is running past us. Oh, frick. Oopsies. Well, we're in it deep now. Get out of the water, you little rascal. All right, eat the weird fruit. Combine mana. Uh, this guy doesn't cast any spells, all right? This man is brute. A brooder. All right, isn't Bone Dust a wrestler? Yong Street, you could be right. I, I don't know what that is. Basically, they were not so red. But, like, uh, I gotta stop starting one. It says bricked. All right, I missed some of the chat. Let me see what you guys are saying. All right, uh, Triforce, uh, POG, this is the new Zelda. Hell yeah. Everyone is gonna start saying this is their favorite game of all time. That's a fact. All right, the Doom 64 levels of dark. Seabeard saying, okay, so may or may not have fallen asleep and woken up here. <laughs> uh, that's fun. That's all right, Seabeard. You know, we go late. Rad goes late. It's up late with Rad for a reason. Wait, I don't have that screen open. I'm also just, I'm gonna read the chat here. I never read the chat while I'm playing the game. I always forget. Is my guy slowly sliding down the hill? That is physics. All right, go to bed, Seabeard. Yeah, there's no need to stay here unless you're really enjoying it. These are some hot, hot graphics. When else would you see Hexen 2? I mean, really. Who else in the world is playing Hexen 2 right now? Not a lot. Not a lot of people. All right, uh, you didn't go to sleep. Uh, Dan will chase you in your dreams, Freddy Krueger style, Young Street says. Oh, it's true. I, I don't know this for a fact, but I think he's been dabbling in the black arts. The dark arts. All right, Tailspin saying uh, the muds. Okay, isn't a bonus. Basically, they were, but... Like, uh, gotta start somewhere. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying they were bad. I think, I thought the idea was really funny, like, uh, ripe for some silliness. All right, let's get there. Let's get it. It's dark and, dark as frick in this cave. How do I get my torch to start? Oh, well, I'm doing something. Oh. One of these buttons has got to activate torch mode. Hell yeah, now we're talking. Look at these voodoo graphics. Oh, not today. You're totally trying to sneak on me. That's my sheep. All right, here we go. This isn't where I started, was it? Oh, not today. Right, what is going on here? Jesus. That's enough with the spiders, all right? I need a milky. All right, milky key. All right, what is this? Mystic urn. Oh, my undertaker! Uh, my wife went as Paul Bearer once for Halloween. And she nailed it. Holy frick. I don't know where she got that wig from, but that was Paul Bearer's exact likeness. Is this where I'm going? I don't know where the hell I'm going. Anymore. Is this what I need? Uh, oh, I got the crater of might. You guys are presenting me with too much stuff. Oh, you knew you could smash that. You knew it was going to happen. Smashed him. All right, we might have to skip on this one. They're going to present me with too many options here. I don't know where they want me to go. Yeah. Is there a little spider down here? Oh, dear. All right, we'll see what's down here first. Oh, here we go. Whoops, eh, that's not what you do. That is why I am not a magician. Is this spider chasing me all the way down the stairs? Jesus. Got him. Need him, got him. Need him, need him, need him, got him. Name that movie if you can. Need him, got him. Need him, need him, got him, got him. Need him, got him. All right, let me check the gen here. Oh, fair enough. We need a sneak star. Sneakster, balls deep. Epic graphics. Yeah, these are pretty good. Activate torch mode. We did it. Freaking locked it up. And I got another torch right here ready to rock. When you make bad jokes and the streamer reads them. <laughs> I try. The thing is, I'm always looking out for you guys. I'll try my best to make it work. I'll make it work in context of the show. Watch me savage this guy. Oh, frick. I didn't. I actually didn't think I'd. Oh, Tailspin nails it. That's one million rad bucks coming your way. 
One million rad bucks for tailspin. Um, I'm gonna start mailing out the, uh, the rest of them. Okay, well, we're, we're doing full circles now. I don't know what the frick's going on. Uh, that's pretty awesome, Yong Street. All right, act that. Wow, a Paul Bear voice. I was at the SummerSlam where they did Undertaker versus Undertaker match. Whoa, who actually played the other Undertaker? Because there was a purple one, right? Purple one and regular gray one. My brother, Dingle Dude in the chat, probably still not there, convinced that the Undertaker was uh, recast somewhere along the lines. Like, if you look at early Undertaker, he's like all red hair and kind of smaller. Um, I, I don't think he's correct. I think the Undertaker's been the same the entire time, but I just think that's funny that now there was this other Undertaker, so there was like a purple guy. Uh, Quantum saying, wasn't it the same guy? I think it, the Undertaker, the real one, was eventually the purple guy, but whenever they were first introducing him, they might have actually just had a separate guy. Because uh, if there was Undertaker versus Undertaker, well, who what the frick? It was actual voodoo magic. Papa Shango strolled on in and said, uh, there you go, two Undertakers. Staying hydrated. All right, CGI. Yeah, it was early CGI. Just nailed it with that CGI. Uh, uh, Seabeard. I don't even remember what joke I read, by the way. <laughs> or uh, what was that? Seabeard. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just in and out. Everything's in and out. We don't hold anything here. We're not. Um, this is one thing we know about on this show. It's whiffing. All right. I don't want anyone to feel like they're whiffing. Everyone in the chat, zero whiffs minimum. We don't know what the maximum is. It could be a lot higher than that. It could be a lot. WWF 90 to 94 was so good. Yeah, when it was called WWF, too. Come on. Just come on. All right, let's get the golf court jams back. Oh, God, yeah. I'm going to need to do a big overhaul in this playlist. You guys have been such champs listening to the same stuff over and over again. It's hard. I just don't have time. Frick, man. Frick. Meat Puppet, I couldn't get working. Redneck Rampage is just so gross, I don't even want to play it, even if it is at low frame rate. Or low uh, resolution. XCOM, I'd like to play because I know some of you guys. Oh man, I got to stretch early here tonight. Ah, XCOM, I know some of you guys are into. It's just the type of game, if I tried to stream that game, it just would not work. Out. Early Kane looked so cool. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, he did. Alright, you're raising a child, so it's okay to whiff your memory. Yep. There's, there's a whole new portion of my brain that's like, Simpsons quotes? Okay, get out of there. Uh, Seinfeld quotes, get out of there. We don't need to be accurate anymore. But then, they're like, okay, guess what? Flipper on VHS, that, that's going to stay right in there. That doesn't go anywhere. It stays there now. All right, the mask and suit, badass. And I'm pretty sure, do you guys remember when Fox, like the channel, uh, the network, came out with like Wrestler Secret Revealed? I don't know what they were doing, but they all had different masks on and they were telling about how wrestling is fake. I'm pretty sure the main guy in that was Kane because his arm was huge and Kane's arm was the same. All right, Quantum Player 1. WDYM, comfortably, comfortably scared. I'll let him answer. All right, Quake Pack. I tried to get it working. My version of Quake, I would need to buy it. I don't want to buy Quake again. I don't even know how I got it working last time. It's just in and out. I don't know how the stream is. The stream is coming together. I don't even know how it's happening. All right, pretty good games. Tekken 3, we played it last week. Loved it. It takes better pictures, though, than it actually... Like, the graphics look amazing. Look at that background. Oh, man, are you fighting in a room? No, not really. No, that is not what's going on. Oh, here we go. Hey, Grungy Nick, if you're watching the other monitor right now, get your buttons back here. We're gonna play some Darkstalkers. I know Grungy's always on board with this game. Now, for some frickin' reason, I need to redo my controller. Eh. Uh, they don't have a very user-friendly system, so unless you already know what you're doing, it's kind of impossible to figure a way around. The fewer games, uh, the newer games are much better at it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what I, um, I, my brother got into XCOM, the newer ones, and that was, I was actually impressed because I'd been watching coverage of it on GiantBomb.com. I was like, wow, it seems like a complicated game to get into, but if he got into it, that means it must have been pretty easy to get into, you know what I'm saying? All right, Vampire Savior is what this game is actually called here, not Darkstalkers. Jeddah's Damnation. Let's see if they give us any insights on what the heck's going on here. All right, they're back with Randy Quaid. All right, we're referencing Independence Day, obviously. Obviously. All right, Darkstalkers goes around for a third time with this new game. Blah, blah, blah. The cast That's of Night Warriors, correct. Darkstalkers Revenge. A few omissions. Uh, they're missing Donovan. Well, what the hell? All right. Uh, uh, who are we kidding? We're going to be Felicia anyways. Is she fine? She's basically naked. Stark-ass nude. Maybe if we play this game, some of you little rascals out there will be like, 
you know what? I'm gonna be a dad too. That's all there is to it. Way to go, Felicia. Alright, erg, opening up these garlics is terrible, tedious job. I'm sorry to hear that, Wolfcat. Now your hands are gonna smell like garlic too. That's the unfortunate thing. You have to wear like a glove if you wanna cut garlic. Or onions. I worked at A&W, alright? I worked at A&W when I was 17 years old. And they had diced onions, and you had to take them out of the thing, a pinch of them, and put them on the burger. I miss that they don't have diced onions anymore, by the way. Circle onions? That's gross. Come on. Come on. You can take one bite, it's all gonna fall out. How hard are people biting? Anyways, I got wise to it. I'm like, I'm sick of having onion fingers all the freaking day when I'm off work. So I just started using a little plastic spoon, spooning them on like that. It's the perfect amount. Uh, all right, Wolfcat, you're gonna have to tell us in the chat, what in the heck are you making? That needs that much garlic. And of course, to go play some arcade games, what we're gonna have to do, everyone, obviously, to go to my longest transition. We're gonna go to the Radland Dream Arcade. This is where we play all of our arcade games. And for those that don't know, wait, I'll see you there. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Radland Dream Arcade. That frick, that little frick, maintenance man, is the only guy that I can go to to install this stuff. I can't install it myself, it's union. I'm not allowed to touch anything in this club. It's fricked up. I give him the money. I said, you gotta get me all these machines for my arcade. All right, this rascal, this son of a bee, frickster, sneakster, dark arts magician, goes and buys me 40 of the same arcade machine. I don't know how he found that. That must have been a hell of a lot sale on Craigslist. I don't know what's going on. And he got the decals. I got decals for him. He put them all in there. I can't even get the decals off. Frick. All right, now fortunately, for his sake, he did manage to get me one other machine. And that other machine is, of course, none other than Vampire Savior. Now, fortunately for him, I was about to get fricked up. Fingers are just going to get really fricked up here. I didn't want to have to do that. I don't want to go. I didn't want to have to go to the dojo and smack him. Elbow drops from the third story. Re-entry speed. All right. Now everyone can play Street Fighter 3. <laughs> everyone who wants to. Oh, man. They're all busy. I can't play it. Um, needless to say. Up late with Rad, colon, needless to say, not a lot of people going to arcades anymore, especially during COVID. Like, oh, frick, I can't touch that. Oh, frick, it's sizzling on my fingers. Ah! I'd still go to an arcade. Just give me a glove. Really need it. I mean, if, if what's at stake is arcades disappear forever, give me the glove. Let's glove it up. Let's get gloved up. Let's go play some arcade games. What the frick? All right. We got some games to play, don't we? Radland Dream Arcade demands that we play Vampire Savior. Alrighty. Now, man, every time you plug in your controller or turn off your machine or whatever, MAME just refuses to remember what the hell my buttons are. To do this every time. Oh, my God. Now, of course, we're going to be Felicia because she's fine. Of course, we're going to listen to Q sound because it's fine. All right. The punches you throw uh, kill me. <laughs> That's right, well, we're, we're working up now to freaking elbows. Some elbow elbow drops from the third story. Actually, I'm fourth story. I might go fourth story. That Fourth is a little dangerous. I've only done this once before. All right, is it? Hesenko is bay. Is she new in this game? Or no, she was in the other game. That's right. I like uh, Japan's take on vampires. God damn. Oh, man, did you see it? I mean, even Hasen is boobing out. I've seen three cleavages so far. This game knows what it's doing. Oh, they didn't they didn't waste any time. Get to that 90s piano. Oh man, elbow drops all day, Grungy Nick. That's a great emote. Oh, God damn. Oh man! The Lord of Vampire. Alright, do they at least have this? Alright, let's just double check. Maybe it maybe it did remember my controller. No, no, it didn't. Input in general. Player one controls. D-pad up. D-pad down. D-pad left. This is Michael Keaton now saying that. I am Batman. This is player button one. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, this is uh, Michael Keaton playing uh, Beetlejuice. You know what I mean? Uh, you got some apple juice? I don't know. Beetlejuice. I prefer Beetlejuice. I don't know what you're saying. I prefer some Beetlejuice. It's fine. That's fine. Now we have to do one more thing. This is really annoying, but we have to do this or else uh, it could all fall apart. That's fine. 
We have to go with the coin, even though the coin did actually work. But that's fine. We have to do this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everyone's fine. Everyone is Michael Keaton. This says it's fine. Michael Keaton, star of Jackie Brown. All right, now we got to go home player one controls. That's fine. Wait. We got to go this this machine now. Because it might just done frick us. That other one was for other games. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, Michael Keaton. Ah. Jack Frost. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton stars as a snowman in Jack Frost. Where were you when Jack Frost came out? That's what I want to, uh, you know what I mean? All right, my mom has given me so many tokens. Oh, we got to be so many fine ladies. They even got a fine bumblebee lady? Jesus. Obviously. Obviously. You have a better voice than that dude that played Batman. That's all you really got to do. Where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? Man, uh... Christian Bale was just mumbling his way through that movie. Where are the drugs? All right, Illuminati, time to make uh, time to make some babies, everyone. Oh, hell yeah! I don't know why she went blonde. I would go with blue. Hey, the people in Japan actually say that. Hey, or hey! I slapped him in his face. Nice background, though. Lovely, serene scene we're dealing with here. Oh, man, he frosted me. Oh, frick. Oh, yeah, her power is to just bring out an AI character that fights him at the same time you do. Oh, man, I'm so cold. Oh, man, she fine. Come on, we got to win. Hell, Sasquatch, what the F is your problem? Are you literally trying to flick me there? Oh, man, it's still, still on, dude. Oh man, thread the needle all day. No! Here we go. Do some damage, goddammit. What are you doing, little Felicia? A great special move. One of the all time great special moves. Oh! Not today, Frosty. Oh man. I'm in his grill. Can't handle this. You can't handle this. Damn, she fine. Frick me. Oh my lordy lord. This is no longer a child friendly stream. This is too hot. Wait, we need to do the right thing here. And go Vampire Savior. Yeah. Right, we're gonna smash this fool. Oh man, I like how she can hang up there for a while. Bishamon, you can't handle something this hot, alright? You're sitting there trying to be all stoic. Not today. Not when you're in the presence of this level of hotness, okay? Fine, you can claw my face off. Wait, no, don't! That's too late. Just the fact that you double guessed it, that's all it takes. Okay, I feel like I've done a lot of damage to him, but the health bar does not seem to represent that. Alright, I need some. I need some uh, doppelgangers in here, and I need them right now. Alright, that's better. Versus Samurai Thanos. Alright. Oh, my stream done fricked up on the uh, old iPad. Get back there. All right, let's go back to the show. Don't mess around with me. Oh, man, it's too hot in here. It's getting hot in here. Man, I don't know what this little pink ball I shoot at people does, but it seems cool. I I like how they're still using that uh, synth bass that they use in every one of their games. It's like Q sound might as well just be that bass sound. The bass sound from Puzzle Fighter. Maybe not in this level, but it... Hey! Okay, she's in my grill now. Whoa, man. The damage fills up if you don't complete it? Oh, I see. So it kind of makes you... It forces you to be in someone's grill. Like, you want all that damage, that hot damage to register? Well, then you better get your butt in gear. That's my kind of game, actually. I love that. Although it's gonna cost me. It's gonna cost you Tinkerbell. Frick yeah. All right, I've been waiting for the fourth entry in this game for so long, says Comfy. And they teased one a couple of years ago, and it ended up just being another re-release. Frick them. I think I remember that. Guys, why you gotta tease? Why you gotta be such teases? Jesus, what's with the teases? Right, my iPad is losing its mind. It's not an iPad. All right, now it's working. Oh man, fine ladies galore. Actually, I can't tell, BB Hood. I, 
can't tell if you find. You're very, you're very conservative. She has a gun under that dress. Well, frick, man. Don't look at me, she says. She's a very uh, traditional young lady. Very opposite to Felicia right now. Felicia's like, just, if you got it, flaunt it. Uh, maybe somewhere in the middle, ladies. All right. Get her. Seal the deal. Thought I could seal the deal by making her squeal. Liar, liar. All right. No, I need that hot damage. Where'd this gun come from? All right. I am four special bars deep. Get some of these guys out here. All right. We got to just give her the pincer move. Oh, man. She shot a rocket launcher at me. That is fricked up. All right. I may have met my match here. No, nope, never say never. All right, I kicked her in the shin so hard she just bailed. All right, that was it. Thread the needle. You see that sick move? Dodge is galore. All right, get another little tiny, pint-sized doppelganger out here right now. Oh, man, this girl is hardcore. She just slipped my throat. Ah, frick. No, 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 no. Sick. All right, it's not looking good. It's not looking good for Felicia here. She's on her final life. Those nine cat lives. Oh, man, she smashed me. Ah, she freaking smashed me. It's Mongo in a dress, this Johnny, and he ain't wrong. Wow. Hot jams by... What's her name? She looks wholesome. She'll kill you. All right, let's see what has... It's Hussein in this game. I don't know if it's one of those fighting games where it's like, uh, you want to continue? You have to continue the same character. I don't want to do that. I want to be a new character. Oh, she is in the... Or no. There she is. All right, this one's for whatever one of you rascals was saying. She's Bay, And, of course, we're going turbo mode. This game's too slow, man. Too slow for me, man. Oh, we do get to play Felicia, though. Frick. And the blue hair. Oh, man. That is hot. Darkstalkers never die. Yeah. And that was Briggs. All right, Briggs, this one's for you. She seems like a very traditional young lady as well. Oh, she is flashing some major boobage, though. That's Thread the Needle. All right, best of both worlds. That is undead boobage. Don't touch those. That's necrophilia. See that bass? The bass in this song is just Q sound bass. Uh, does anyone know what the sign on her head says? Like the traditional sign that is on the head of Japanese vampires? I don't even know if that's Japanese, but whatever. You guys ever seen the movie uh, Robo Vampire? It's like a, a movie you could buy at Walmart back in the day for $1.99 on VHS, and it was rad. It was basically just a, um, a half vampire movie, half Robocop ripoff, but it was all filmed in like South Asia, like just super budget film by, I think it was a filmmaker called Thomas Tang, and he would always just take half finished movies and just splice them together into like their own movie. It was awful, but still good. Robo Vampire. I mean, if you just type it into YouTube right now, you're in for quite the treat. And for some reason, Robo Vampire, like the Robocop ripoff guy, his helmet was always on crooked. Like his shin strap was always over here a bit. It always looks like he just fell down some stairs before he fought guys. Is this supposed to be a, a female character? Riku. I thought like I was seeing some cleavage. That's a pretty beefy. That's a pretty beefy lady. Nothing wrong with that. You look up uh, arm wrestler Sarah Bachman. Oh, man. She fine. Or Gabby something. Can't remember her name. She also fine. God damn. They will mess you up. They can smash regular people on the... Arm wrestling is a weird thing. Once you know how to do arm wrestling legit, you can beat even regular strong people really easily. And so female arm wrestlers you know, on the pro level, they can smash muscular men that don't know how to arm wrestle. Just smash them. It's quite interesting to see. I like how this game's easy to do weird, cool-looking combos in, even though I'm randomly pressing everything. I don't know what the special moves are supposed to be in this game. It seems all weird. But I have to for Briggs! 
Yakuza, let's go! AKA Gabby, what steroids does a woman... Gabby Garcia? No, 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 uh, Gabby Garcia, yeah. It's... No, it's Gabby V something. Vass, it's like a four syllable last name, like there's no possible way. Fine, I'll show you guys. I'll, in, I'll enlighten you all in the world of female professional arm wrestling. Damn! Just a little, little bit cut out right there for the cleavage. Show those uh, undead male vampires what's what. All right, W A L arm wrestling. Sarah Bachman, Gabby. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna let this. I'm gonna let this play out because now you guys gotta know. Oh damn. Both of these ladies, they fine. Big time crush on both these ladies. Alright, that's uh, Darkstalkers, by the way, everyone. And that's, in the chat, uh, the world of female arm wrestling. The two best. The two best in the West, anyways. The two best on this side of the ocean. There's a lot of uh, ones in Europe that might also be comparable. Well, actually, Sarah Bachman's Swedish, so I don't know. But she trains over here, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Alright, but, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just spoil it for you a bit. Um, Sarah does not win the match. And I think that was one that lit a fire under her. And she's been training super hard, even through all of COVID. It's funny. Man, you, you look at, like, people handle COVID all differently. The arm wrestlers are like, we don't give an F. We're still getting together and doing training all the time. So she's going around just, like, smashing dudes. Um, but yeah, they work hard, man. Those girls are strong as frick. Holy frick. All right, only arm wrestling I know of is the movie Over the Top. That's where you start. Right? Everyone starts at Over the Top. Uh, John Brzezink was uh, probably one of the greatest arm wrestlers of all time was an extra in the movie. He was one of the guys just arm wrestling in the background, so he loses his match. Oh, frick. But he ended up being one of the best of all time. And you know what? He was a small guy, kind of like Stallone is a small guy, and he would beat big guys. That's the thing. Like In arm wrestling, being big uh, doesn't mean you're going to be stronger. Like, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, world strongman guys are getting into arm wrestling now and, like, power lifters and, like, just super jacked stout dudes. But, like, little guys can come in and be like, just top roll you. Because uh, it's all about uh, the pronators. Like, you want to rotate your hand like this. And so... A lot of those good arm wrestlers or uh, strong guys, like they have biceps and they have strong hands. Like they can crush your hand and do all this stuff. But like it's all angles in arm wrestling. It's a lot more technical than it looks. And I like that a lot. And the, the other thing, psychological. Arm wrestling is very psychological. Look, what is going on my forehead? Psychologically, arm wrestling is really messed up. Like in the setup, man. Oh, man. It's a long setup in a lot of times because you got to get the advantage and you can't let them get the advantage. And so uh, it just gets like, oh, are they going to say go, go? Ah. All right, the arm wrestling scene in the Twin Peaks revival was amazing. I don't remember that. It's funny that I don't remember that. Uh, guys, like the mountain from Game of Thrones, and then some dude that just comes, uh, does farm stuff. Well, yeah, if you look at, there's actually um, the mountain from Game of Thrones. I forget his real name right now. Uh, Half Thorn, Half Thor something. Uh, he actually arm wrestled one of the best arm wrestlers uh, of all time, Devin Larrett. He's a Canadian guy. And he's humongous compared to him. It's a really famous uh, video on the internet because it looks like this tiny guy who's actually still pretty big just beating this humongous guy in arm wrestling without even sweating. Like, Devin Lorette can actually take his, his hand off the other peg and just be like, are you okay? Are you okay? And like, don't go too hard because you'll snap your arm. Like, he's making sure he doesn't snap his arm and stuff. All right, stop reading upwards. Yeah, that's uh, what's happening. Uh, no order, I can't snap. Uh, just one of them Jianchi. All right. Chinese hopping ghosts. Oh, that was Chinese. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I don't know where Robo Vampire came from. I always assumed it was Japan. But now that I mention it, no, it's South Asia. So that's usually like nowhere near China or Japan, actually. Much more Chinese. Uh, yeah, it was a Kung Fu movie. So yeah, it wouldn't be Japan. Uh, or pixelated. Uh, all right, let's go back to reading the magazine. You guys are just looking at an empty arcade there. That was Radland Dream Arcade. All right, you know what cracks me up about game outfits? Queen Bee is absurd. Oh, Jesus, you guys were filling up the chat. All right, Queen Bee is absurd. Yeah, that's not not the best. And you know what, frankly? Not that fine. I didn't find her that fine. Maybe because I have uh, an aversion to bees, okay? It's super yellow on the screen right now. It's like I've been in the tanning salon. No, this is factory setting here, everyone. All right, uh, retro, let's go back. Uh, we have time for one more, I think. One more big one. A couple little ones, maybe, I don't know. Dark Sucker Never Die, Mongo to Dress, uh, Sound of Imp, Dying in Doom. Uh, Chinese Hopping Ghost, her hand crawl attack, so freaking cool. Yeah, I agree. I liked all those moves where, like, she was turning into blades and stuff. 
All right, Gabby, here's what steroids is a woman. Gabby Garcia is gigantic. Definitely doing some unregulated weird stuff. All right, I uh, love these world songs being kind of because there are two types of contestants. Uh, I'm the armor. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. All right. Stop reading up. It's man. All I see is this. T I see about seven chats at a time. Uh, so I have to scroll up if I want to go look. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, everyone. Ah, frick. Oh, God, you know what we need to play? All right, guys, we're reserving the final spot for sure for Mortal Kombat 4. For sure. Now, if we get anything else in there, that's just a cherry on top. And we got to get there in the magazine first, obviously. Super GT. Oh, frick, I was going to play that too. Frick, I might still play that. Rampage, I don't think I'll play anymore. I'm, I'm blasting through that. Blast core, we did it. Look, they gave almost all five. They gave it almost, they gave it the same score as Final Fantasy VII. That's how you know something fricked up is going on. They gave it a, f a full in control. I don't know what they want. Uh, MechWarrior 2, no one is playing you. Not even on PlayStation. Don't quit lying to people. All right, we played it. Ric Flair. Woo! Uh, K1, the arena fighters. No, 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 no. They get a high score, though. You remember how weird the animation was in that game? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna ask YouTube for a way, uh, faster way uh, to this garlic stuff. YouTube was the only answer. That's where I would go if I needed to. Wing Commander, five, four, three, two, one. League of Pain, we're not getting to you this week. Sorry. I was gonna use Hulk as my closer, but I don't have time. I don't have time anymore. Virtual Pool, get that out of here. If it ain't Minnesota Fats, not for this guy, all right? I even started this up again. It is an RPG S RPG. Look how cool it looks. Oh man, I'd play that. I always thought this art was really cool. Look at this guy with his double blade. Oh man. Albert Odyssey. Look at this. They gave Herx Adventure a better score than Final Fantasy VII. Do they even know what the F they're doing? Who wrote this? Major Mike. This guy has some issues in his life that he has not worked through. I wish him well. I wish him the best in all of his endeavors, but this will not fly. Game Pro, don't make me switch. Don't make me switch after 1998. It's getting there. Major whiff. Huge whiff. <laughs> I couldn't even play the game on stream. Jason. Jay, son. Name that game. Sting. No, no, sting you. Oh, sting, stop stinging me. This is not very good. I always thought Lost Vikings was supposed to be good. It did not play very well when I was checking it out. Not at all. Heavy Rain, Briggs, 1 million rad bucks. Sent. Okay. All right, Tunnel B1, Contra, we played them. We played them all. Dragonheart, surprisingly fun game to play on stream. All right, Super Puzzle Fighter 2, crazy good game. Love that game. This actually looks good. Why didn't I play this? I didn't even test it. Oh, because the strategy game. Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, you know Game Pro's running out of stuff to talk about if they're like, eh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Great logo, by the way. Look at the logo work here. Absolutely love Puzzle Fighter. Yeah, that's a great game, especially two player. You play against a computer, they're cheap as frick. NBA Shootout. God damn. FIFA Soccer. One of the baseball games I played, and it was bad. Da -na -na. And Rally Cross will never get to, even though it's the fourth week in a row. Perfect Striker actually ended up being International Superstar Soccer, which had really good music from Konami. Triple Play also unplayably bad. I'm not going to subject you to that. I also played All-Star Baseball 1997 featuring Frank Thomas, and it was bad as well. NHL Breakaway 98 was surprisingly fun, and I scored a goal right away, which makes it even more fun in my memory. Hardball 6, Jesus, could they tone it down with the baseball games? Vandal Hearts. Don't mess around. Vandal Hearts is awesome. I'll play Vandal Hearts right now on stream. I'll just do that all Wednesday. That'll be my new Wednesday show. Watch me just play Vandal Hearts. This cool ass map. You know what this map was? A big worm was in the desert and he rose up from the ground and that's what it, it keeps making like mountains on the ground that you have to go up. Hell yeah. Never understood why they had this as the cover though. Giant dragon behind you. Humongous. The size of a size uh, 
skyscraper and you're just here on the single like, oh, shoot an arrow at him that wasn't in the game that was not in the game all right the tunes are a little quiet doom 64 the darkest game in the whole whole goddamn world rock is jacked look at this that's one for the ladies god damn those nipples are hard as frick ladies I know we don't have a lot of time to kill or spare here, but someone had to take the time to render that nipple. And we all thank them for their, for their tireless efforts to bring us the hottest video game characters, men or women. And what are they giving us here? Samurai Showdown 4. It's from like a couple issues ago. Damn, look at that art. Hell yeah. Oh man, two-player mode in Legend of Oasis. I think we actually used this, my friends and I. The second player can't be killed. Not safe for work, Johnny, I know. It's not safe. This stream is not safe to be viewing at work. If you're at work watching the stream, that seems weird to me because it is two in the morning for me. We're going real international. We got a real international, just a gaggle of cool people that stopped by this show. International. Weird, right? Some people are in the middle of the day. Different seasons. What the hell's going on? We're all coming together right now. 1997, May. I really do have to fit the month somewhere on the screen here. No one knows what month it is right now. Should I stop watching then? Hell no. All right. You guys are the opposite. You guys go way late. Oh, wait. No, you're close to me. Oh, no, wait. You're... Yeah, you're way far ahead. You're way late at night. Yeah, you're straight up nocturnal. Uh, oh, you're at work right now? Okay, well... It's not, oh, and that's, don't not watch it at work. It's just, it's funny to me that people will be watching this at work. Because I'm not at work right now. Although this is actually, since COVID ha happened, this has been the closest thing to work for me. Like, a regular schedule. Like, you have to do your work. Okay. I have to do my work. Because you guys are all counting on me. I can't let you down. It's just like at work, too. It's like, you can't just not do your work. You won't get paid. So it's like, with this, I'll let you guys down. That's my payment, really. I don't want this, I don't want to let you guys down. Frick. Works from home, and his boss won't know. Or his boss will know. His boss can say, are you holding in farts at home? You are. You're fired. Okay? That's the best part about working from home. Man, I probably gained at least 10 years on my life. Farting fancy free. Fancy free. Let them all out. All hours of the day. I start losing track of like, oh man. Sometimes you gas yourself out. Like, man, I shouldn't eat all those grapes. What is it about grapes? I don't know. The air is acrid in here. I can't even do my work. I can't concentrate. Oh, frick. TMI or PSA. All right. Guys, check it out. Mario Kart getting full. Number one rented game. More than Wave Race 64. Wow. I work for the DARPA chief and he's cool with it. But yeah, but you know what? DARPA chief's been holding his farts. That's why he died. Frick. All right. Jesus. Just don't do it. I mean, if you have to, hold him just long enough to walk out of the room, blast him big, Roll on back. I had to tell that to my my wife's cousin I used to work with at the video store, and I had to keep going to the bathroom just to blast him big. I didn't have to go to the bathroom, but he actually commented on like, man, you're going to the bathroom a lot. It's like, you know why? That's a that's a public service. I'm gonna be blasting you out behind the counter here. I'm going out there to just ease him out. Come on back. Fart breaks. I mean smokers get smoke breaks. Everyone else doesn't get fart breaks. They brought it on themselves. That's why it's a public health issue. All right, now PlayStation says Need for Speed 2, number one rented game. Weird. Sega Genesis. Bassmasters Classic Pro Edition. You know you're digging at the bottom of the barrel at the video store, and you're like, ah, oh, frick. I guess I'll rent Bassmasters. Frick. Comfy exclusively poops on company time. Breaks are for food and relaxing. No one's gonna know. All right, Briggs says he poops, showers, and eats on company time. Oh, me too, actually. It's only me that costs. It costs me money, and I still do it. Like, ah, oh, you gotta get, you gotta get back out there. It's gonna cost you money. Or I could go dump out a big one, get back in here, and just rock big time, right? Fancy free. All right, MC Wolfcat's giving us the update. It would seem putting the garlic in a container and shaking them until dizzy is the top way to do it. I guess yeah, you get the skin off that way. 
unfortunately salaried, so less of a sick burn. Well, when you're salaried, that's what... All of those farts, those are all on company time. Salary, you don't have to worry. If you're working for non-salary, that's when it starts cutting into your work. Oh god, res Q, coming in hot and heavy. All right, did we do it? Where did they talk about Mortal Kombat 4? Why was I under the impression they talked about Mortal Kombat 4 in here? Did I skip right by it? Am I already blowing it? Well, they no, they talk about it on the cover. They have to talk about it somewhere. Where the frick? I want my Mortal Kombat 4 right freaking now. Oh, there it is, the bottom there. I only saw Rampage. Okay, God, this is it. <laughs> this is what we get. Bloodthirsty fighting fans have been craving for the latest info on Mortal Kombat 4, but there just hasn't been any until now. Oh, God damn. MK4 will be series first 3D fighting game featured or featuring the latest Midway hardware that uh, promises a faster playing game uh, and characters composed of over 3,000 polygons each. That means a lot to me. All right, go for it, Wolfcat, says Johnny. I'm gonna try it now. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, look above. A project me and Tendo are trying to track down. Rampage World Tour. You guys gonna try and perfect that one? One quarter it? Uh, I was gonna play that tonight. I just don't have time. I just don't have time anymore. My friend Kevin and I once tried to... a oh man. Rampage. We tried to beat it on NES. And we got like 80 levels in. We were almost going to beat the game. It's a long game. A lot of levels. And then, uh, the Nintendo froze. How do I know the maintenance man wasn't there? How do I know it wasn't involved? You know? I don't. Oh, frick. Alright, we're going to go Mortal Kombat 4. That's what we need right now. Why do all these... Oh, it, it has a logo. Sweet. I hate when these retro games don't have logos to them. Guys, we're going to play some Mortal Kombat 4. Uh, both Raiden and Scorpion are set to return. Frick yeah. MK4 is seeking to decisively, uh, seeking a decisively darker tone uh, by eliminating both babalities and friendships. Check out Game Pro Online. I will not be doing that. Johnny Ball Game, 50% complete. All right. Expectations through the roof. They're into the abyss, way up there. Kevin, we slept in. I wish I could be louder, man. My wife is literally 10 feet away from me sleeping in a bedroom. We got a better place, man. You guys know I'd be killing it. I'd be yelling so loud on stream because that's how you get the, all the likes. Everyone's like, oh, man, it's so funny. He was yelling so loud. Well, guess what? I got a two-year-old sleeping over there. And I got a wife sleeping over there. Okay. I have to just really distort my voice when I talk. This is actually not very loud. Freaking Lobo. Wow. Oh! Okay. Let's quit messing around. Start acting like responsible adults. Name that movie. Quit messing around and start acting like responsible adults. It's going deep, deep cuts. All right, now what the hell? This song is out of control. Someone should have stopped them. They were just getting too out of control. All right, we're going back to the arcade for this one. We don't have to, but we are going to go to the arcade. And I'm not going to do a transition. Oh, what the frick? They don't need that. You guys, it, it might not run 100% accurate. That is what they're telling us. Well, okay. Good thing the maintenance man bought one more Mortal Kombat 4 machine. All right. If I don't get my daily dose of Mortal Kombat violence in this, then I'm going to be really fricked up. Okay? Comfy says, pick Jax's tower. You have to show off his tower ending. Voice acting and everything. Jax is the one you want to see the game beaten with. That is a lofty goal that I don't think I can accomplish in the next 20 minutes. We'll see. We shall see. Now, is this a super quiet game like all the other ones? Thousands of years ago, no, it's pretty good. I will turn it up a bit, though. Shinnok. Shinnok, he's making his, his big appearance here. Or no, uh, Quan Chi. Oh, All right, nope, these things are tough. As nails. Man. Oh, uh, you tried. Wolfcat, you tried. What are you waiting for? Pick some of these fine ass ladies. Alright, you know what I gotta do. Scorpion. Fine ass ladies can wait. Wait, do I have to start from the beginning with Jax? Does Jax have a tower? What is freaking Jax's tower? Man. Right, we'll go to the beginning. Just a bunch of beginners here. One fight. <laughs> 
Oh, it actually kept the controls. Sweet. Oh, man, he got me. Frick him. Oh, that's a new move. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's just coming flying in from the other side of the screen. Oh, he blocked me. Oh, I'm frozen. Oh, frick. No game on screen. All right. Hey, bro, he says. No game on screen, bro. You know what? No, we can't do that. I can't do that to you guys. I would never do that to you. We're starting over. That's what we got to do. Clad saying, Matt, we can't see the gameplay. So That's what I get for just trying to avoid that stuff. We'll start from scratch, everyone. That was a whiff. A big old whiff from your pal, Norn Rat. Sometimes we whiff deep. Zero whiff minimum. I don't know what the maximum is. We don't even know. It could go way higher than that. Hopefully not. One whiff. That's And that's the only whiff. One whiff only. All right. Frick, here we go. Who's this guy? They don't have the names. Like, well, I don't know. I don't, is this Jax? I don't even know if this is Jax. Jax. Right, we'll be Jax now for, uh... Your destiny. Will they even give me an ending if I pick this one? one Alright, here we go. I don't know any of Jax's moves, so this could... <laughs> I like how they do a forward spin kick. Oh, man! Broke his leg. Oh, don't get over there. <laughs> Just whipping. Big punch and miss. Jax. Good sound effects. All right, so a little bit of graphical issues here, but that's fine. We'll we'll accept those just to experience this in the arcade. Oh, damn. <laughs> Trying to do some moves. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, he punched me in the armpit. That is un uncalled for, sir. Oh, I smashed him good there. All right, I will smash him as hard as I possibly can. That's how I will finish him. That's Reiko uh, that you asked about. Oh man, it sounds like Comfy knows about this game quite a lot. Blood texture, basically green material. Oh, okay. Oh, Raiden punched my guts out. No game on screen. Uh, man, we can, there you go. Mythrock is Tiger Woods. All right, this guy's kicking my butt and I'm not feeling it. Whoa. Is that a traditional weapon? All right, that's a perfect. Or is that a little one tick of help? Round two. Flawless victory. Fight. That's a pretty cheesy sound effect. Oh man, he need me in the face pretty good. All right, I need to pick up this. Oh man, he's got me in the trap. Not today. All right, I don't know anything about this game. God. All right, here we go. Come back time. Come back time. I'm smashing him good. He's got nothing. Oh, I freaked up. All right, double spins. Uppercut. Oh, we're close on this one. Oh, Frick. You're too far away. Just for the love of Frick. <laughs> he still gets me after literally pausing. All right, the blue faces are the best part of this map. They do look a little drained. That is a nice little... Uh... Oh, we don't have much time. Falling into the abyss. Oh, they do let me pick. All right, we can't pick Jax. Get my butt kicked as Jax. Getting my butt kicked as Jax. We're going to pick this guy. Because he has a really silly move. Round one, fight. Whoopsie. Oh, you got a projectile too? What the frick? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Just a couple of punches to the stomach. Oh man, I'm, I can't do moves. I don't know what the moves are in Mortal Kombat. Ah, the frick. Derek also has a great ending. Well, damn it. So much cool stuff in this game that I, I can't get to because it's too hard a game for a Mortal Kombat noob. This is what Dogen, if you watch this in the archive, this is what you're going to have to deal with. I don't know how to do any moves in this game. Alright, we blocked one. Gotta start blocking more. Oh, he dodged my thing? They don't even give me a fatality. What are we getting paid for here? Or what are we paying Ying for? What are we getting paid for? All right, Jarek is the Fred Durst of this game. Yeah, definitely. He has that exact look. All right, we'll see some of these characters. 
Man, it's been so long since we played some Mortal Kombat, hasn't it, everyone? Yong Street completely. Oh, frick. The only guy I have any chance with is Scorpion, because I know his move. No! I feel like that should have done more damage. I just punched him in the face like seven times. Alright, does he have a teleport? Down up? Well, I savaged him pretty good there. Alright, well, we earned that one, didn't we? This is sloppy. This is really awful. Fight! Oh, I, I sidestepped. Oh, that is not how you sidestep, apparently. And that, man, he punished me quick for trying to sidestep. Right, we got one. For God's sakes, Riki, Rico, you gotta stop reeking and do something. Oh, see me dodge his fireball with a spin kick? Damn it, Raiden. I think Raiden's just OP. Baloney. Oh my lord, I don't know any of the damn moves. Why can't you just do dragon punch motions? Alright. I guess that one is a fireball motion. That's all I got. Alright. The AI has no idea how to deal with something this badass. That's the only way I know how to finish him. Alright. Give me one special move and we're good. I'll abuse the hell out of him. Reiko's kind of like Pinhead uh, decided to stop... At Hot Topic. <laughs> He's so trendy. Who's this guy? Fujin. Looks like a really silly character design. Maximum damage! See? See? He thought I was going to keep doing the fireball. No. I got it in his head there. Flawless victory is a huge difference here. Oh, snap. This is a Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat 4 is ba- Oh, frick. The Double Dragon 3 move, eh? No, oh. Fujin, you done fooked up. Always silly when fighting games introduce a new character, and so they try to make them just a little more OP than they should be. Like Ron Ron. Alright, am I wrong? Oh, he need me good. That, that character design doesn't make any sense. He's sporting four colors. That's weird. Oh, you gotta block one, Reiko. Oh, I'm choking. I forgot my move. I get out of there. Oh, frick, I'm choking. Finish him. Oh, man. My arm will never be the same. All right. That's fine. Fine will be this fine ass lady. Oh, damn. She fine. Fight. Tanya. It's just a regular lady's name. Tanya. All right. Yeah, big Tanya. Tanya. Gotta have some some other moves here. Oh man, he punched me good. Not today. Oh man, he beat me to it. That time. Damn, these are actually pretty good graphics. Good uh, looking character models here. Though making those three thousand polygons go to work. Oh, frick. <laughs> oh, no, he's got tornado powers. Oh, Jesus. How was I doing that fireball before? No! All right, we got to go to work. Damn it, Fujin. I wish Hot Topic carried whiff tees. You just wait. We're going to get some merch going on this channel. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like yet. We'll get whiffed out of our minds. Not that you guys have to buy it, but... It'll be a fun thing to have. Man, I... Oh, man. Combo City. They didn't give me a combo for that. All right. There, where's my damn combo? Evo 20 to 21. See you there on the main stage. Oh, mirror match for the ages. This is too hot. I can't handle it. Oh, no. Not the creepy face forest. Damn, okay, I'm gonna learn a thing or two about her move list because this character has to know some of them. He's kicking my ass! Oh, Jesus! Oh, she got a weapon! 
Not today, Tanya. Hey, Natanya Henstridge. Round two. Fight! Get there. Beat her to it. I knew she was going there. Not today. Not today, buddy. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. I, oh, not today, okay? Alright, and that's what I do whenever I win a match in real life. You going for it again? Not today. Oh, she oh she crotch smashed me. And it didn't do that much damage. Psychologically though, very damaging. Ah oh, frick. Alright, smash her. Oh my frick. What? She's just running at me with a boomerang? I hope she now knows how it felt when she did it to me. Hurt my feelings pretty bad, okay? Well, that one's personal. You know what? Natanya Harding. This is Yong Street. Square window, welcome back. I'm getting fricked up in here. Too much fine ladies just flying around the screen. Alright, well, now you're done fricked up, Tanya. Scorpion. Scorpion's coming to get you. Round one. Alright, round one. Oh, no. From across the world. Okay, no, she's smashing me. She's smashing me in my Mortal Kombat main. I don't know anything about Mortal Kombat. Ah, oh, for the love of frick, I'm terrible at this game. Go back to Tanya. Alright, gotta get in her grill. Oh, no, frick! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, oh man, she survived that? Get out of my face. Whoa. Man, Tanya is OP as frick. Now, we're gonna have to get Mongo in here to take care of her. We're gonna have to Mugen Mongo into this game. Frick me. Alright, you're not wrong about Ron Ron, says Briggs. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one, alright? Mortal Kombat Gold is the Dreamcast Director's Cut. Is that of this game, Yong? Uh, Natanya, I remember when this game was being play tested. Alright, let's be this son of a rascal. The game was being play tested in arcades. It was so packed with... It was so packed, hard to believe in today's world. Oh, people were like waiting to come play this game? That's, that's cool, actually. Alright, where the hell's Goro? Oh, you done fricked up. I get three hit combos galore now. Alright, so clearly I need to block more. This is what everyone's been telling me. I want to take that main stage on Evo. I gotta block more. Oh, frick. Frick, yeah. Now, is this his first appearance? Because this is before... Uh, before that Mortal Kombat uh, Legend game, or Mythology. Oh, frick, man. She's coming back with a vengeance on this one. Oh, frick, she's gonna flawless me. All right, Quan Chi, get your ass in gear. This is low gear. Low tier ass gear in... Oh, frick. That was me. I gave up too quick. Frick me. Round three. Fight. All right, high stakes here. All right, she returned with a three-hit combo of her own. Ah, frick. Oh, blocked it. See that high-level blocking? Oh, man. That is savage. Oh, where did I get this from, you ask? Oh, well, she managed to get... That is a goofier hitbox than freaking Zangief's spinning pile driver. I like his nice, classy suplex there. MK Gold is MK4 Director's Cut. Interesting. I was trying to make a COVID joke comparing to a, a packed arcade, but changed my mind. Ah, you're free to make COVID jokes here. I mean, everyone is experiencing COVID, right? So I think there's... Oh, no, my leg. Anyone who's talking about... You can't joke about that. Like, oh, man, everyone's affected by it. And sometimes laughter's the best medicine. COVID done fricked up everything, man. Power bomb. Frick him. And his... I did it all for the nookie. And then the seven took And you can take my... And fill it in the head. My way. My way or the highway. Gotta have faith. Alright, kill him. Alright, the game's bone crunching throws are hilarious. Red Durst Soul Patch wins. 
Whoa, I didn't know he had laser beam eyes, okay? Fatality. And I missed the fatality. Well, frick me. Ah, Quan Chi deserved it. Now. Let's see if she finds. We gotta see if she finds. We gotta see if she is comparable to Veronica Vaughn. Yeah, that Veronica Vaughn is one piece of ace. Oh, damn, he brought a knife. Spanish Armada. 1982. Oh, three jump kicks in. Three jump kicks deep. Take that, Jarek. Oh, I'm missing him. Oh, come on. This game is kind of sad, says Young Street. It's not filling me with... Well, you gotta imagine, too, like, this was a 3D fighter. MK had never been 3D, so this was kind of their first approach. The backgrounds look good. I'll say that it plays better than a crappy game like uh, Criticom or something. And if you liked Mortal Kombat 3, this seems pretty similar in terms of, like, how fast it moves. I get what you're saying, but I will also say this game probably didn't seem sad at the time. Sonya, mother effort. Look, that one wasn't, I crossed him up and she went backwards. I mean, I don't know what you want from me, Sonya. Alright, we're trading fireballs here. Not today. Alright, put that sword away. Put those away. Oh, man. Frick him. Loving the rando Billy Madison quotes. That, you know, I don't even mean to quote them. They're just, uh, they're stuck in there pretty good. All right, who the F? All right, I gotta be, I gotta be my boy, Sub-Zero. Uh, I'm gonna break stuff with a careless whisper. Oh, no! Oh, frick. All right, Jarek is just smashing me to pieces here. Give me my giant sword. I'm gonna try to block more on this one. I don't want to. You guys know me. I was going for a throw on him. I don't even know how to do a throw in this game, but I was going for it. Alright. Oh, see a sick dodge. Uppercut for your trouble, sir. No, block more. Oh, I like oh man, he's like Kano. Uh, oh no, my knee. First Farley, that is correct. Boom. Alright, comfy. I don't know if I can beat this game. Raiden's my last hope. Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Teleport. You don't even know where I am. I'm all over the place. Oh man, they got rid of the effect on it? That's kind of a uh, sad, sad day. <laughs> Swiffing. I don't know how to do his... Oh, Kano Jr. is smashing me to pieces. I don't have time for this, man. Ford, Ford, back, back, forward? Is that it? I just want to see his move. Oh, no. Fireballs look kind of lame in this game. Fine, you can have it. You can kick my knee. What a rascal. Back, back, forward, I think. Yeah, this game is so relentless that even if you're trying to do the move, I'm already half health by the time I just try and move. That's kind of a sign, you know? That's kind of a sign of a good fighting game. If you can just turn it on and be, like, kind of good at it right away, that's a good sign. I don't think Mortal Kombat is like that. Mortal Kombat is... Oh, damn. God damn. I've never been a big Mortal Kombat guy. I play them for fun. I, Mortal Kombat 9... Um, I liked a lot. I played that one, and the story mode was great, man. The way they tied it into the movies and the games, like, really well. There, we don't know. All realms of Shinnok's menace. I waged a war that plunged the Earth into centuries of darkness and banished Shinnok. The fighter banter is pretty good, though. Now, after <laughs> the at the hands of Earth's warriors, Shinnok has managed to escape his confines in the Nether Realm. MK9 is dope as heck. Yeah, I don't know about the next game, or was there two games after that? I didn't play them at all. I just didn't have time, but uh, I really liked that game. And the story mode was insane. Probably my favorite in the series too, Grunge Nick. Actually, easily my favorite. Shinnok and Quan Chi. That's Ed Boon's voice as the narrator, by the way. <laughs> I was going to say it's so silly sounding. 
But now I feel bad for thinking that because Ed Boon's a bad dude. Right, that was the Radland Dreamer. Okay, what do we got here? 241. Oh, that's deep. That's way deep, everyone. Oh, frick. Oh, no. We might call it there, everyone. But that's fine. We had a good run. We read the whole magazine. The only thing, there was only scraps left. Like, hey, did you want to play League of Pain? Did you want to play Incredible Hulk for PlayStation? Which is awful. Did you want to do that? I don't know. All right. Hell yeah, good tunes. Um, I don't remember what that was supposed to be. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, magazine talking. Yeah, I got to go to the... Why don't we just go here? Just chatting. Let's wrap it up and just chatting. Good run, he says. It was a good run. We tried our best. They're both solid. MK11's gameplay changed up to be slower footsies. No, my style, says Grungy. Yeah, I want to be in your face. I want to be like... Well, that Darkstalkers game was like, you gotta go fast or else they get their health back. Like, oh no. Okay, well, frick. Very opposite of what a normal fighting game is. Now. Um. What is it that I was trying to do here? I, uh, I screwed it up when I, I did it for, uh, Comfy's B-Day. By the way, everyone, wish Comfy a happy B-Day. He's in the chat right now, I think. At work, apparently. Watching the stream. Getting paid to watch the stream. That is, he's doing it right. He's done doing it right. Great show as always says, uh, Johnny, DARPA chief just subscribed from beyond the grave. He's like, well, if you're going to show the, the conditions in this jail cell were abysmal. All right, maggots on the floor? What the frick? Naked guys outside my cell? What the frick? Just tainting up everything. Taint everywhere. Just presenting their taint to me. That's my only window is that cell door. And that guy's been there for the whole week. He just isn't moving. He's not dead. He's being a rascal. All right, square window. Yo! Oh, they know each other. All right. That's it for me. What do I do here? Ending theme cheers. Oh, that's right. Where is that song? All right, we got to turn it on. Fred, cue up the cheering anthem because we made it through another stream. God damn. It's time to cue up those ending themes. Let's do it. Fred, you ready? Oh, whoa, whoa. he says, wait, wait one sec, Rad. Okay, now you're giving me a double thumbs up. All right, Fred is doing it. He's done dancing for the day. Let's turn this up a bit. Oh, yeah, we got to go. That's another stream in the books, everyone. It's a happy birthday stream for our very own Comfy. Comfy in the chat. Loud as hell. Oh, man. They're just cheering. Rad. 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 You know, it's my it's my uh, pleasure. My honor. It's an honor to do this, guys. I'm glad you watch. I'm glad everyone's having a good time. Lurker Lou especially. Peace and love. And everyone, happy birthday to Comfy. A lol apt tune. Actually, I was just randomly playing this game for the stream last night. I was like, God damn, this tune is killing it. Get it in the playlist, God damn it. And it is there now. And it will live there now. We have to, it's just a short one. Just a little fun one. Comfortably scared. Uh, or just give him a follow, you know? Just give him a follow. All right, Twitch, zero. Uh, peace and love. Peace out, dudes. Oh, man, square window. Thanks, uh, everyone in the UK. Thanks for watching. I know it's weird. I'm on a weird times of the day there. I'm on butt-ass late at night for uh, Grungy Nick and Comfy. These guys are up at, like, 5 in the morning. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm glad the show is worth watching. All of you out there, you're all the stars. God damn it. And you know what happens at the end of a show. You know what happens at the end of a long show. It's not even a joke anymore. This is 100% serious. Oh, man. You watch the show long enough. Oh, man. I know my wife is sleeping in the other room. I know this. But this has to happen. This kind of thing this has, to, thing has, to, has happen. to happen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, you gotta roll it out. You gotta roll it out. Sunday, Wednesday. We'll see you guys on Wednesday for some weirdness. We're not gonna do Game Pro. Ah. We'll just do some random stuff. All right. Might have Star Citizen ready to rock. God freaking damn, we gotta get it. Ah! A little. Ah! 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 No, it's bad. It's bad. It's fine. It's fine. Roll it out. Roll it out. Guys, we'll see you next week. Next week. Next week. And we'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. Ah!